everybody, welcome to another Corner Cross video. Last time we left off on kind of a cliffhanger, we are here at Hermit's Hideaway uh, after saving Miss Riddle and uh, healing General Viper Marcy did. And uh, someone's attacking, so let's just get into it. Wait, Surge, because outside, he Surge heard the voice of Kid, and obviously, Surge is Kid now, blah blah blah. If you guys don't understand, <laughs> watch the past videos. But let's jump right into it. Oi, Lynx, today is the day I finish you off. Bro, I am not Surge. What are you doing, Lynx? She is an enemy, and she is not the kid you know. <laughs> yes, she is indeed kid. However, right now you are the one who is Lynx, and I am Surge. Once our roles were reversed, so were our problems. To her, killing you will avenge Luca. Right, kid? Yeah, I'll put an end to Lynx today and avenge Luca. I think we do I think we'd better retreat for now. Give it up. We have the shack completely surrounded. There's no way you can escape. We'll see about that. Hey, there's my boy Fargo. Surge, hop on. Peace out, homie. Alright, where are we going now? That's the real question. Dang, they got away. Anyway, this is the only the beginning of everything. Yep. Don't worry. We'll defeat him quite soon. Thanks, Fargo, my dude. Good work, Polly. <laughs> well then. Captain, the others are safely on board. Good, good. Cool. I like it. Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for... This is... Like, a flashback, by the way. This is a flashback. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your arse so hard you'll kiss the moons. Just you wait, Lynx. Today is gonna be the, your day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. Headed up to here with you. Yeah, I know this is the end of you, Link. Say your prayers. Surge, tell me, what is the most important thing in your life? Ask yourself what you can do and what you need to do in order to obtain it. If not you, then whom? If not now, when? Right, Surge? True? Alright, what's up? Blinks, not... Uh, okay, uh, uh, just, uh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, please don't let me leave, <laughs> I didn't mean to click that, it was the other button that I was trying to click, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to go see Fargo, Viper, let's settle this, the old score once and for all, prepare yourself, is that you, Serge, Fargo, our duel will have to wait, I need to have a talk with Serge, let's have it your way, Serge, Lynx has, Headed to the Sea of Eden, we must do everything in our power to prevent him from obtaining the Frozen Flame. I shall lend you a hand. We must put a stop to him. And he joins. Man, we're getting so many party members, like, all of a sudden. We're just getting them left and right. I love it. And bosses left and right. Especially last episode, man. We defeated, like, four. Arg. What the heck? I search. I'll help you out, too. You saved my life twice already, and I guess I already know too much. I can't just sit around and ignore the situation. Dude, let's get it, dude. We got our boy... Fargo, dude. I love this. Man, I want Fargo on my team. Viper, I'll deal with you later. Once we put an end to this situation, you're mine. Very well. I will not run from you. I will be happy to accept your challenge. Now, this is going to be the hardest part. We're coming too. I hope that's okay with you, Serge. Oh my gosh. We got two more characters. Oh my gosh. I would too like to help. Oh my gosh. Now we got Zoa too. Okay, now there truly is a lot of characters to choose from. B 
basically these four in this room, three of them are like my favorites. So, oh, this is gonna be hard. Let's take a look at their stats. Cyborg, dang, his attack is 34, that's pretty big. But his, and his hits even higher? Dude, oh, but his magic is super low. Karsha's magic is a bit higher. Marcy's damage is also pretty high. We got Fargo. Um, Fargo's kind of bad in general, sadly. Okay, we got Riddle now. We got Viper. He's pretty strong. What else do we got here? We got Zoa. Man, oh man, oh man. Hmm. I don't know who I'm going to have to pick from here, guys. So, Riddle, I kind of need a mage, to be honest. You know, for now, we're going to stick with this team. I might change it. Even if we do change it, I have to take off all their equipment stuff. Oh, don't tell me we're going straight to there. Man, I didn't know we were going straight into there. Just, just... <laughs> I, do, I wonder if we have to switch discs here. By the way, this game is an old game, maintained like 2000. This is back when games came with two discs. So I don't think we have to do it right now, but we will very soon. A dead end. Do you know how to get through here? You wish to know. The place is called the Pearly Gates. Used to be the only entrance of the sea vent. However, legends say no one has been able to see it or approach it ever since the dragons sealed the frozen flame. Then how are we supposed to get in? You need the powers of the dragons. You must break the seal of the Pearly Gates with relics from each of the six dragons. Relics. Break the seal, you mean here? No, the true gates is not here. It is in the other world. Where Dead Sea lies. So where are we supposed to find the six dragons? You will find them scattered around both worlds. And they will be they will be with all the legends about dragons throughout the islands. Oh, and Lynx. The the other Lynx, disguised as Surge, is already in there. Uh, that is because his appearance is that of Surge. What do you mean? Even if you are able to get all six relics, you will not be able to make it inside. Then what are we supposed to do? Dragon Tear is all I can tell you. Now it's my turn to ask a question links if you had the chance to choose between the world or me which one would you choose i'll choose harley oh <laughs> thanks even if it is a lie all right so now just like she said we have to get the dragon tears or the all the relics from each of the dragons you go sea dog go and find yourself i wish you well so, I think Fargo is still in our party, right? Is he still in our party? Okay, first we got a, a word from Harley. Why must I have to tell him such things? You're such an idiot, Harley. Au revoir, Serge. Oh, is she gone? Nah, dude. Don't tell me she just straight disappeared. Bro, she's gone. She just straight packed up and peaced out. Aw, oh, jeez, man. Now we have to find new party members. Alright, guys, real quick. I'm going to go ahead and kind of redo my party, get all their equips and all their elements, and then I'll be back. Alright, everybody, I've made my team, and you might be a little surprised on the outcome, but here it is. I chose Lynx. Uh, robot and Irene's because I just kind of wanted a mage and also uh, obviously we're a little bit lacking on the magic department even though Surge does do that Surge is also my main source of physical damage which now here's what I did uh, what am I supposed to call him grow back grow whatever man he is uber strong his 34 attack is equal to links but now this way he'll take over like the physical damage roll Lynx can now be both. He can do both. And Irene is solely basically just heal and magic attack. Also, the level 7 spell that we got from the water dragon earlier, I couldn't ever use it. Irene can use it. Now, Irene's whatever. She can use it now, which is real great. Now, the only problem is I'm also lacking a little bit in elements. And I only have two revives. That's it. So, what I'm going to do real quick off camera once again is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna try to see where I can buy revives if that's even possible 
and maybe buy some better elements. So, uh, real quickly, I made a stop by Goldov, and apparently there's a cutscene. So let's take a look. Sir, is there not something strange about this village? Hmm, what is going on? People are... Let's go find what's up. Oh, poor soldiers. Poor soldiers in a small village like this, but something is odd. And who is that lady? You dare resist the poor military? So what if I resist? Why don't you stop hiding behind your men and try to stop me? I'll make you regret that. <laughs> Why me, sir? Alright, don't talk back. It's a direct order. Get on with it. You heard us. Seize your resistance. A woman should be more gentle and ladylike. Yeah, not really. He's about to get kicked. There, that'll teach you a lesson. Okay, soldier man, or do you need another round? Yeah, I think he's just gonna run off to his boat. Why isn't it we cannot arrest this girl on our own? Please help us, sir. There are more of you, but you're still in watch for me. Leave this village now. Bro, I'm not- what? I didn't even try to fight her. What? I mean, sure, but that's kind of lame. I didn't exactly try and fight her. Alright, well, this will be our first time with our new characters, guys. This should be fun. Let's try this out. What is my... Oh, her agility must be real high. Bam, those are some good hits, though. Did you hit hard? Ah, uh, she hits decent. Let's see how strong he hits, though. Oh, okay. This guy should hit pretty hard. I mean, he's compared to... Oh, I missed my three. I really wanted to see how hard that would hit. Okay, a few punches. Let's see, does Irene do any damage? A little bit, but again, her main thing is... What color is this lady? Blue. So we need red. Her main thing isn't... Attack. Although she does hit some attack. Her main thing is supposed to be her magic. So... This should be super strong. Yeah, this should do quite... Yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah, her, this girl's evade is pretty high. I'm just kind of annoying. Multi-punch. Boom, boom, boom. Can't do more than 100. Yeah. No problemo. Bam, bam. Get back to Robot Man. Try to hit the three. Oh, okay. Man, I want to hit that three so I can see how strong it is. It's so tilting. Strengthen. Alright, strengthen yourself. Come on, hit that three. Bro. I mean, her agility is high. I get it. But that's just annoying. Oh, did I hit that? Oh, I hit that three. Okay, she looks like she's going to attack. Ouch. Let's get our elements out. Play a tuna on your harp to heal a party member. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's her special. What's her other special? Exhale a powerful blast. Okay. Oh, wait. She's a water type. This won't do anything. Whatever. I guess let's take a look at what it looks like. Oh, that's kind of gross. Okay. Still did 100 damage. Pretty good. Oh, my God. I missed my last two shots. Genius. What does this do? Ma oh, she's gonna gravitone us. Well, it's okay. Uh, Robot and Lynx are both dark types. That legitimately does nothing. Nope, I don't want to use that. But I could use Photon Beam. Photon Beam is something that I can use. Boom. I should do quite a bit. Only 92. Okay. Well, that's why Irene is the magic user. Okay, hit that three. Yes. Okay, 100. That's not that bad. That's going to take my defense down. Let's try to get her to get her magic up. Um, let's see. Actually, we can use that one. Let's heal. Uh, no, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to click them, but you know what? Whatever. I just kind of want to show off the move at this point. So let's find whoever we heal. Is that like a full heal though? 400 G's, that's a pretty big heal. Oh, oh, come on, you gotta hit at least one. Who's he gonna hit? Oh, he's gonna hit Lynx. Uh, well, Lynx is dead. We're gonna revive him, obviously. I, yeah, that mistake of healing the wrong person kind of screwed me over. Okay, she's weak. I gotta make sure to revive Lynx. 
I don't want to finish this fight without him being alive, so... And hopefully she doesn't, like, go for him right away. Actually, this guy, he has a heal, right? He's not a great healer, but he can heal. So let's make sure to do that, so... Probably won't heal for much, though. Okay, he'll heal for some. Iceberg, ugh. This is a pretty strong attack. This might kill. This might kill. Ooh. Okay, Irene's needs to heal. Please hit. Okay, I need I need my stuff to hit so I can heal. Right now, healing is uber important. Lynx is almost dead again. He's the only one with a revive left. So that would have been real. This girl is strong. Jeez, man. Let's make sure to just defend. Defend. Punch drunk. Oh, she's like drunk. <laughs> Well, she does work in, like, a bar. Oh. oh. I didn't even do nothing. What? Alright, let's just kill her. She should be dead soon. How much health could she possibly have, right? Oh, she does punch... Oh. oh. He's dead. What a madman. Does he have revive? No. Lynx had the revive. Oh, that sucks. Well, I guess Lynx ain't getting XP. That's really bad. Oh, one hit away from being dead and she kills Lynx, man. That really sucks. That really does suck. Oh, well. I'm not going to restart that just for that little thing. So. Oh, that wasn't even a boss battle, actually. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Masterful work, Lynx. I knew we could kind of use her. Thank you for your troubles. Please read the last of us. We will take her into custody. Uh, wait, I order you and your troops to return to headquarters. We will take care of the girl. This village will be under Lynx's command until further notice. Report back to high command. But that will be too much trouble for... Did you not hear? This is an order from your superior officer. If you disobey, you will be court-martialed. Does Robot make himself clear? Yes, sir. We will gather the troops and head back to headquarters at once, sir. There we go. Easy peasy. Boom, 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 boom. You say that you're really Surge, even though you are in a different body. I don't know what happened, but you need to get back to your true self. I cannot believe it. It is possible that such a thing can occur. Hey, even you should not get up sooner. You are right. Even though you are a trained fighter, you should refrain from pushing yourself too hard. I'll be fine, but I almost bit the big one this time. Looks like I'm in need of more training. Oops, that hurts. As proof that you are really surged when you regain yourself, I will lend you this brooch. Orla, is that your sister's? It's alright, for now. Listen, Surge, promise me this. When you successfully regain your true self, come visit me, and I will... Yeah, so basically, once we get our re real body... We can come back and give her that brooch and she will join us on our adventures. So for now, uh, she will not join us because, I mean, she can't believe us. But I am excited when we get our body back, we'll be able to get her. Okay, so let's see. Does this guy have anything, anything new for us? Forge. Oh, so now we have the dendrite things. That's great. Okay, so can we make... Yes, Stone Swallow. We only have one Dinadorite, though. So, basically, we can only make one. Stone Mail. Yeah, we need more of the Dinodorite. And I don't think... I don't think we can make any more, really. Yeah, so for now... Um, for now, only Lynx will have a better thingy, but he also is... 57, Jesus. Okay, that's pretty strong. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, what I do want to go visit is the element shop. By the way, I made a really stupid mistake. I have like 41,000 gold. I ended up accidentally pressing up, not sideways, when buying elements. So I bought like 40 of each element. I have a twin sister. Her name is Tia. According to old legend, twins are signs of tragedy. When I was a child, I was separated from my mother and sister who left Alito. I only had my father. I felt as if I've lost my body. Uh, there was a huge void in my heart. 
Chuckle, I never told this story to anyone before. Strange, sometimes I really feel that there are countless worlds and I'm not the only me. Does this sound odd? But that might just be running away from reality. The one thing that always helped me when I felt weak was the sapphire brooch. It is a token that's been passed down through generations of my family. It is cracked in half now. One half belongs to me and the other to my sister Tia. You don't have to return it just yet. This blue gem, this is the only one that exists in this world. That means that it is proof that you are the real Surge. I don't know why she would give such something so special. So please keep it with you until you gain your true identity. That's kind of a little far, man. I wouldn't... Like, why is Surge that important to you where you'd give him something like that? Personally, I don't agree with that. I think that's kind of dumb. I don't know why you would do that. You could give him so many other things. But no, you give him your only thing from your sister... It's kind of... Uh, okay, someday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go check out the element shop. Also, I wonder... Uh, actually, no, I don't think so. I wonder if we can get Mel in our party yet, but I think I need Kit for that. Let's definitely check out... Oh, they've changed their element, so they got some new elements. Bye. Um... Gravity blow. No, there's really nothing. Meteor shower is new. I'll buy a couple of those. See, now I only have 11G. Because I accidentally... I bought a crap ton of things. You know, I'm going to sell some stuff. Alright, cool. So I did all that. Um, I don't think I was actually done with... Robots allocation, I don't think. Also, I think she has something that I need to place on her. What was it? It was the... Um, was it Cure All? Yeah, this. Okay, this goes on level 5. No, I meant to put the Cure All there. Okay, well, I guess that works. But yeah, the Cure All. I didn't realize I had that. And then we have to go to... Bro, I don't think I finished his off. Or even if I did, I'd probably put some, like, random crap on here. Uh... Pretty sure we have something better now. Let's just put a magma burst there, I guess. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Okay, cool. Real quickly, let's go see what happens if I go to the tower here. I'm just kind of curious. Let's see what happens. I wonder if she can join us. That'd be cool. One must choose their own path, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, guys... Uh, we're gonna end off the episode here. Next episode, we'll finally start going towards the dragons. Probably the coolest part of the game. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. I support my channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're gonna finally start uh, gathering some of those dragon relics, but before we do, I do want to do a couple of side quests. One of those is getting the sparkle flower from inside the hydra, mar hydra marshes of another world uh, to get that neo little dude of our party and then through him we could get that mad scientist person um so this place is now like really acidic and stuff um i kind of forgot where to get like the hazard suit uh i know we're supposed to get one i do not remember where to get it from, but I guess we can just take a ton of damage. Does this guy have one? What are you guys doing walking around these marges? Uh, don't expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. Bro, you gotta give me some of that good protection, you know what I mean? Well, um, I guess let's go over here. And I'm pretty higher level at this point. I can basically just out heal. The poison so you know what who needs that suit am i right um you have to go this way who needs the suit i'll just live through it uh, and i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to get some like sparkle flower does that not seem odd to you are they quarreling among themselves what should we do dude let's help out maybe maybe that little guy can give us the sparkle flower stop are you not comrades what you be looking at he be not one of us, and neither be you, and we finish him off later. Alright, dude, let's get it. Y'all think you can beat me? I bet you can't. Bum, bum, bum. 
Alright, I'm pretty sure we just one-shot each of them, basically. If we don't met you know what? Okay, come on, Lynx. Bro, what are you doing? Thanks. Alright, hit him with that three. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, Lynx will get hit, but that's his own fault for missing a million shots. You know, let's hit him with that three punch. Get out of here. Ain't no ain't no problems. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to do this part of the game probably quite a bit ago. But, oh well, it happens. We're doing it now. Alright, what up? Thank you for helping me. You Biba Brave is Biba, a token of it. ancient fruit which grows in the ancient ground. Ancient fruit? What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know if that be but you're liking, but that be before. If you run out, don't uh, to ask for more. I have plenty. Okay. I don't think that's what we're supposed to get. Um. I'm not gonna bother saving. I'm not gonna die. I can guarantee you that I'm not gonna die. I think we're supposed to get a different flower thingy. Electric Joel doesn't really help me at all. I wonder what the ancient fruit does, though. I think that calls... I think that calls the... Hey, hey. Gotta be crazy. I have an extra set with me. Take them. This way you'll be able to... Oh, okay. Thank you. Well... Now we get the safety gear after we walk through all that poison? Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored these parts yet. We don't know how to get there. Alright, bro, if you want to go deeper into the forest, you need to proper equipment, um, yeah. Alright, we, well, we got the safety gear, jump in the big hole, let's go for it. Why not? And, uh, I think what that ancient fruit was used for is to call that, uh, flying centipede thing. And with that, we'll be able to get to the grass dragon. Pretty sure. Humans. Mankind. Who's talking? Oh, it's a little dwarf. This forest is dead. Our hydra perished. Our hatred of mankind. Listen to the planet's woes, humans. Oh, there's a boss. Let's do it. I didn't even realize there was a boss here. Oh, it's like a bony hydra. What up, D... D... <laughs> I gotta see that name again. Gravitone. That won't do much. Two of my characters are dark types. That won't hit him very hard. Oh my gosh. Dehydrate. <laughs> I get it. Because he's bony and he, yeah, he has no water in his butt. I get it. That's funny. Oh, oh come on, Grub. Why not? Why not? A... It's black. Okay, I'm not going to hit him. Well, you know what? I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's go back to Lynx, though. Boom. 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 There's things should be dead pretty quickly. Like I said, this boss isn't really a tough one. I mean, just looking at his damage, it's clearly we're a little bit higher level than we need to be for this, so. Boom. No, not seal all. What is it? It's black, right? We need a, we need a photon beam. For now, though, I'm not going to bother with elements. We're just going to hack it to death. There's really no point in any of this. It's just going to keep casting Gravitone over and over. Yeah, so I think the trick with this boss is just constant healing, really. Although, again, it's... I think I was supposed to do this earlier, so I don't really need the constant healing. You know, let's just switch back to links. I'm basically just going to switch back and forth and keep attacking. This is a fairly boring boss fight, just because of the fact of how easy it is. Black Hole. Okay, this one should do a bit more damage. Uh, but it shouldn't do more than... My guess is around 20 to 30. It shouldn't do anywhere more. Probably no one's going to have more than 20 damage. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe that's the trick. Maybe I underestimated it. <sighs> Maybe I underestimated it. Oopsies. That's fine. We got heal all. 
no problemo, but we should probably kill it before it does that again. Though, I don't even know how we would survive that if we came here earlier. Maybe we are at the right level. And I was just underestimating the crap out of it. Because it is taking quite a few shots. Man, I don't know. Gravity blow, that's fine. That's... That shouldn't hit anybody too hard. We'll probably go for around 60 damage. Man, my, my estimations nowadays are just gone. 60, it does 4. It should do, like, not less than 20. It does 100-something. Jesus, man. Come on, hit it. Nice. Oh, okay, it's weak. Alright, we can finish it off pretty easy here. Nice, two good hits. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping it'd be dead. Uh, less than 10 damage. Well, one did 14, but you know what? That was close enough. See if we hit that three. Nice. Okay. That wasn't that hard of a fight other than the freakish black hole that did like 100 plus damage. I don't know. I don't even know how we would survive that if we came here earlier. But you know what? It's whatever. We got past it. Have we brought about any change by defeating the Hydro? Did we do, did we do the right thing? Who knows what is right or wrong? Nobody has the answer. Surge, we should get going. Surge received Hydra Shadow. It's kind of cool. Oh, I have sprains. Um, let me go ahead and fix that. That's a brace, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see what this is. Okay, cool. So we just got some items and whatever that Hydra thing is. Cool thing is now we're able to go deeper inside of the Hydra, and I'm I don't know where to find this stupid sparkle flower or I think that's what it's called. But I think Man, I always hated this part. The like the location where to jump is so weird. Oh, don't let me. Uh, I don't wanna mm. Bro, why do these goblins have to get in my way, man? Get out of here. I don't wanna fight you fools. Oh, there's four of them. You know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. You know what? As long as we don't miss. Oh no! I'm killing them too quickly. Gallop. Oh, that's gonna do like five damage. Six. Close enough. Alright, I'm. Bro, why? That's what I hate about group enemies. They're so easy to defeat, they do no damage. But they just slow your game down from all of these dumb animations, man. Come on, just let me, let me kill you. Stop trying and let me kill you. Bro, why you gotta miss? I'm trying to show them who's boss here. People are missing and stuff, man. You know what? Bro, why do you gotta animate again, dude? Get out of here with that. You're not doing... I shouldn't have fought this battle. The animations are freakishly long. I don't like it. Alright, you know what? Link's... Hit him with that three. Get out of here. Alright. So I probably shouldn't have fought that, but you know what? Oh well. It happens. I might even cut that part out of the video, honestly. Let's continue to find that stupid sparkle flower. Let's check this chest. We found a seed. Okay, I don't think that seed will help me much. Let's see what else we got up ahead. More poison. Another car of space. I don't no, I don't think those are better than what we're using now, honestly. Let's go ahead and do up a quick save. Just in case something busts that happens. Better safe than sorry. Just in case something happens. Let's go over here. Is there anything going on? I know this is where we fought the Hydra the first time. Let's see if there's anything... Okay. There's a chest. A rare flower that can only be grown. Oh, that's the flower that we need. Humans destroy the eco that kept the water. That be why the Hydra died out. If the ruler of the forest dead, the, war the doors be gone now. The forest has belonged to us. Bro, that's my flower. What you be looking at? Pretty impressive making it through the poison fires, but there's nothing here. Get lost, beat it. Bro, give me that flower. 
They must be weak from poison. Let's have fun with them. Mwahaha, not a better as tear them up. Dude, really? Man, these are the, these are like the type of people, mob enemy things that I most enjoy crushing when they're like stupid and smug about it. Dude, get over here. You know what? Okay, well they're gonna animate forever. Bro, just let me kill you. Why do they why do they keep trying? I'm just gonna go irons, you know what? I'm gonna disrespect them. Disrespect. You know what? Do it again. Get out of here. You just got beat by a mermaid whose attack isn't even that high. Hey, how do you feel about yourself? Is this only single art? You know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go with Lynx. Two hits right to the face. Let's hit that three. Dude, get out of here. Let's go with Robot. Come on, hit your shot. Okay. He missed the first time, but he made it up with that second shot, so that's fine. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Let's get that flower now and head back to the... Is, what is it? Sparkle flower? Life sparkle, yes. Sparkle flower, life sparkle. What's the difference? Am I right? Let's try to avoid... Oh my god, I'm trying to avoid these goblins. I don't want to fight them. They're weak and dumb. Okay, let's see if we can grab the chest and avoid that goblin. Alright. Hey! Look at that timing. Just walked right past them. Easy peasy. Okay, let me walk past you real quick. What's over here? Oh, it's just a wraith. I'm not about to fight a wraith for no reason. Um, let's see what's over here. Oh, there's something on the ground. There's something, bro. What do you mean there's something on the ground? Oh, oh, hey. Okay. I wonder how she's doing. Okay, so that's another piece of skelly. I didn't even know that was there. Okay. On the tablet. Uh, what is this over here? Is this the exit? I don't want to go towards the exit. I want to check out everything. Yeah, this is the exit. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, why? All right, let's make our way to the Hydra Marshes. Thanks, homies, for the... For the protective gear. Also, the ancient fruit. We, we will need that ancient fruit for one of the dragons so that is not like a useless item that we needed to get that also now we can get two more people in our party which is also very very chill but now comes the long part i have to walk basically wait i can't go in right oh no if we can go to the back yes maybe we can go to the back now, I wonder what happens to our boat. I think we'll have to come back for the boat the way we came, which is kind of dumb. But let's go ahead and try to get back into the manor if it lets us. Uh, I don't know. I've actually never done this before. But I guess we can try. And I have to wait for these stupid... Bro, okay, well, I got, we got the chest, but I mean, it's... Really garbage stuff like tablets that we really don't need. Can I get through the front door, please? I have orders not to let anyone through. Okay, so we can't go through the front door. Can I go through the basement? That's the... I literally just want to go to Lucia. I want to see if we can... Uh... Bro, I... <laughs> Finally. Bam. You stupid bugs, stop coming. Dang, something's in the way. Oh my god, we have to go all the way back, don't we? Alright, everybody, I think it's time to start hunting down uh, some of the dragons. So, I guess first up, we will take the Earth Dragon. And, like, I think a couple episodes, or last episode, 
some of the dragons are in different worlds so we might have to like we'll check here if it's not here we'll go to the other world this big hole is underground some of us men are down there now yep so we're gonna check it out if it's not here hop for because obviously if it's not here it has to be in the other world and the other way around if it's here it's not going to be in the other world so there's no point to check obviously there's not two dragons and I don't know if the, the dragon is in this one there's no point you'll find okay well might as well be able to check I don't even want to fight that thing let's check um, this might, oh, I should probably just get that chest for giggles. Let's go see where that, if that's like a capsule, I'm going to cry. I, I love how it literally was a capsule. Wow. Well, I told you I would cry if it was, although I wasn't being serious. Although I should probably like to my word okay so we have to get one of those things to be on this hole right so I think I have to kill one of them right okay well I want it to walk like over here can you walk like the other way okay well I guess let's fight it right here and these things are probably pretty beefy honestly they probably don't hit that hard, but they're probably beefy. Tom, is there two of them? Oh, there's three of them. Bro, 300 damage right off the bat. And feral cats? Dude, come at me. This should do quite a bit of damage. I didn't really check what innate color there were. I'm just gonna guess they're yellow. Slash, slash, slash. Boom. Okay, so th they have about 600. They are yellow guessed it. Boom. Then we can do hair cutter and this should kill that one and then the last one will have like a tiny bit of health. Zoom. Nice little laser right there. Oh wow, one of them's not dead. Spin off. Yeah, like I said, they have pretty high defense but they shouldn't be able to do a lot of damage. Boom. Oh, eh, only 70. That's more than I thought, but it's actually not that bad. Dude, Irene's accuracy is garbage. Holy crap. I might need to put um, a silver pendant on her or something. I forgot which item increases hit accuracy, but jeez. Definitely need to put something on her because she didn't hit like a single shot. Let's go to Grobic. Try to hit that 82. Let's go to Lynx. I'm trying to kill this thing as fast as possible. Let's try to hit that three. Bro, why do you got to miss? Okay, let's try three with him. Okay, he's low, but still not dead. Try to hit another three. Missed. Okay, Lynx has got to stop missing. Okay, I was like, robot never misses. Apparently, that's what it seems like. Maybe I need to put something more on their hit accuracy, honestly. Ooh, Deno right. I need that. Oh, I need that. Wait a minute. It's still alive? Alright, guys. So, clearly, I thought by defeating it, it would, like, drop its shell. And then we could put that shell onto that hole. Apparently not. We do need to go get something else. Alright, everybody. So, clearly, there's nothing we can really do here. So we are going to head over to the other world. Before we do that, I did collect some denodorite or whatever it's called from those things. So we can forge a couple new things uh, for some of our characters. So, um, yes, she has a... Okay, so let's go ahead and make a pebble pick for Irene. And we need a glove for... Yeah, a granite glove. There we go. And... Should pro How much is a stone mail? Okay, we can make three of these. What do we have? To oh, dude, I don't have any money. That's kind of... Oh, dude, I wasted all my money on the stupid... um. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah, I wasted all my money on those elements that one time. Well, either way, we can equip... Oh, I already had something on him. Let's give him the bronze glove. No, not the bronze glove. The granite glove. And give her the pebble pick. And, by the way, we have to change her stuff. Uh, she's gonna need... Hit percentage. And what else? I think her stamina recovery rate. Okay, so those will be better items for her, especially as a mage. Because I need her to hit her attacks, and I need her to gain stamina often so I can pull off spells. Uh, but like I said, let's try to go to the other world and go to the Earth Island and kind of see what's up. First, let's go to uh, the Earth Dragon. And then after that, we'll head over to the cruise ship with Fargo, and hopefully, maybe we can get that one quest done. Um, I have no idea though. Let's let's talk to these people. Kellen told me our next exploration site would be safe without this place. Um, perhaps there's blah blah blah, whatever. So I can't carry any more capsules because I bought 99 of them. Let's see. Uh, boy is it hot, why the heck, blah blah blah. I'm gonna make sure to talk to each one of these because I know one of them is going to give me the dynamite. Do, 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 do. Um, um, hello. We've searched every square inch and found nothing. There has to be something. The only place possible uh, is a quicksand. Alright. Let's go inside of the quicksand. So yeah, in the other world there was a hole, in this world there's quicksand. Hey guys, it's quicksand over there. Step in there, you'll never see the light of day again. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Love how it still has that ladder animation, but actually it's just falling into quicksand. Hello? I warned them. Dang it, amateurs. Bro, we're not amateurs, bro. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, there's a police siren outside. Someone's doing some bad things. Um, I guess let's head over here the first time. Okay. I don't, because I don't really think it matters. Oh, that guy is holding a chest for ransom. Mithril. Okay. It, we might go back for that chest. Maybe. Oh. What are you doing? What is this thing? We cannot get through. Can we not just push this thing out of the way? No. Doesn't look like it. The thing will not budge. I do not think the three of us can move it either. We should probably head back up for now. There is no... S okay. So we're going to need the dynamite for over here. That is for sure. So let's go see if any of them are willing to give us some dynamite. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. And he thought we were amateurs. Are you guys alright? I thought you were goners for sure. Oh, so the quicksand is the entrance and the sand boil is the exit. Now, why can't I figure that out? So there's something blocking the way? Let's take care of it. It may take some time, though. Let's see, now we need to assign some men to investigate prepared explosives. Would you mind coming up back in a little while? We have some preparations to do, but thanks for your help. I don't know... How long is this preparation? I... Are we far enough inside the game? I think if we leave the island and come back, he should say that it's done. I know, basically how it goes is he's going to keep saying it's still being prepared until we get to that part of the game where we need to. So let's go talk to him again and see if he still says it's under preparation. Our investigation is finally underway, thanks of course. We were also... Okay. Yeah, so like I said, the, now that we are part, we are at that part of the game where we're supposed to be doing it, basically it's just an instant right away. Like, yeah, it's Gucci. Let's head down there. And I still think... We need to grab some dynamite, man. We need to grab some of that dynamite. Alright, let's head... I don't know. Oh, okay, let's head this way. What? Because I want to see what that person says. How you doing? Uh, every time you go down, you get sand in your mouth. Real quick, 
I want to know what's behind this. I'm gonna might as well fight this thing on camera. We I fought it already, but I didn't show it on camera. Might as well show you guys, because of course I do want to show you guys every mob and enemy. Oh, okay, there's two new mobs and enemies. Well, let's go ahead and kick some butt. What is this thing? A yellow belly. Let's go ahead and take care of this thing. If links would not miss, that'd be great. Bombs away. So yeah, this dude holds bombs. It doesn't do that much damage, but this dude does... Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's make sure we kill him before the bomb goes off. We just gotta not... Oh, that thing should be dead. We gotta not let that bomb go off. Okay, he's dead. Took a lot of damage. Jeez. Nice. Good hit. Let's just kill this thing before that bomb goes off. He should be dead. Slime, dude. Come on. What do you... Why you gotta slime us for, man? I was gonna, like, paralyze him or something. Bro, why are you gonna do that? I hit. Nice. What are we going to do with the bomb? How ex how explosive is it? Is it... Bro, I don't think we can do anything about it. Can we even attack it? Like, can we defeat it? Suicide... No, we literally can't even defeat it. This is going to blow up in our face. 199. It's actually not that bad. It didn't even kill us. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm definitely gonna have to heal Lynx before the next fight. That's fine. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. The first time that I fought one of those things, it didn't use the bomb because I basically killed it in one turn. Okay, so we did all that for a piece of mithril. <laughs> Just kind of dumb because I'm past the mithril phase. But you know what? fine let's go see what's up because the thing has moved now you see that monster over there sitting it's called a rock roach it won't attack you as long as you don't approach it it's pretty harmless but I tell you that thing is way ton or explosive I've just barely by the way I was the one who blasted that thing and it was okay cool why don't I give you some of my explosive they really pack punches for the come in handy yes we're gonna need some of them I told you that we needed some dynamite but hey I'll get into you Blah, blah, blah. Here you go. I told you guys. I knew my memory was correct. We did need some explosives at some point in time to take care of this place. Now, I wonder. I think we might have to bring the explosives to the other world? Or maybe it's in this world. Either way. Um. Okay, let's use some dynamite. Explosive. Okay, now, do we just blow it up? <laughs> oh. Okay, so maybe we just gotta blow up each of them one by one. Real quickly, if this is a capsule again, I'll repeat my earlier statement and I will cry. No, Denodorite. Okay, that is actually very nice. I'll take it. Very nice. Now, I wonder if there's a time limit to this thing. Oh, this one we actually have to fight. That's gross. Okay, well, you know what? Each time we defeat one of these, it does give us Dinner Did Right or whatever it's called. And we need some of that for armor and helmets and stuff, so I think you can push it. What? I thought this thing was like too heavy to push. All of a sudden, they're light as a feather? How does that make any sense? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, can we push this? Okay, now we have to fight it again. I'm gonna fight this thing over and over again. I need to stop doing that. Okay, let me push it. Let me push it. Okay, push it. Yes, please. Let me push it. There we go. Now that one should be working. There we go. Now, should we... I mean, I guess, would it matter where I jumped in from? No. No. All right, let's go down. Yes. So I think now we will be able to fight the Earth Dragon, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a save point. 
cool. Let's go ahead and save, save. And yeah, let's go fight the Earth Dragon. This should be quite a fight. Quite a fight. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like a dead end. Could this be a natural cavern of some sort? It does not seem like a ruin. There's no point seeing it. There's absolutely nothing. Nope, there's something. Thou who is bound by fate, what powers thou thou seeketh? Above, look up, my dudes. Mm -bon. Oh, we have to walk up to it? <laughs> okay. The time has come. My power I shall grant to the ones who seek to break the eternal chains of fate. What is it thou seeketh? The dragon's blessing, thou the powers of sleeping across the Dead Sea. Uh, blah blah blah, son of man to challenge the goddess of fate, fascinating to confront my trials. So one thing that I do kind of don't like what I'm doing is each of the dragons, if you steal from them, they have a very thing like certain plates that basically like make you immune to certain things. And you need either Fargo or Kid or Mel, but I don't have Fargo because I didn't want him on my team because he's weak. Kind of sucks, so we can't steal from him, but whatever. At this point, we just gotta do what we gotta do. This guy shouldn't attack too hard. 57. Okay, 57 is not that bad. Let's just go ahead and back off with Lynx. Try to hit some good hits with Mr. Roboto over here. Let's just go back to Lynx. Oh, I missed the three. Okay, I hit the second three, though. Okay, let's see. How much damage is it going to do to him? 46. Okay. Not that bad. Miss. All right. Let's go to Irene. Let's make sure. Okay, good hit. 28. 43. Oh, I didn't mean to... Okay, well, I didn't mean to go full out on her, but oh well. It's fine. I just want to make sure I don't... Okay, good. Wait, no, I want Lynx to get hit. Because one thing that I do got to be careful is these dragons tend to have, like, some really powerful... Like spells, I'm gonna make sure we're not gonna all die. So I'm gonna heal all. Make sure none of none of us gets one shotted, because that would suck <clears throat> quite a bit. Just for safety. Man, we do some damage now, so this guy should giddy breath. Ugh. 24, that literally didn't do anything. That's fine. Okay, we, we got two threes. Let's go to Irene. Hit maybe like once or twice. Make sure her ability bar is full. There we go. Her ability bar is full now. So in case something big happens, we can basically just insta-heal. Which is a good idea. Let's go over to Mr. Roboto. One hit. And he hits quite hard. Does he hit harder than Lynx? He does hit a tiny bit harder than Lynx. It's actually interesting. I mean, that's good, I guess. We need really two really strong attackers. Ooh. I'm getting some shots on him. Let's go ahead and just safety heal with Irene. No use in letting... I think this is a complete guess, but I think he has a spell called Earthquake. I think Earthquake hits quite hard. Um, you know what, I'm just going to go over to Lynx. Oh, I missed. Also, another thing that I want to do is I've never used the summon ability with Irene. I'm tempted to pull it out. Let's see if we can get her up to it. One more. I'm pretty sure we can use our summon. Wait. No, we can't. Why can't we do it? Oh, it needs to be an all blue field. Okay, so I need. Hmm. Ah, whatever. That's fine. We don't need to use it now. No, no use. 
And the guy's almost dead anyway. But yeah, to use that, I need to make the field blue, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's my best guess. Yeah, this dragon, I thought, was going to be a lot harder. Unless, once again, maybe he hasn't pulled out his like ultimate ability yet. A lot of bosses tend to do that. This guy is not that strong. We've thoroughly crushed him. And there goes him. Boom. Obviously, he's not dead. We didn't kill him. But we did pass the trial, so that's good. There we go. Make sure we heal. And we got Thunder Snake, which is... Uh, basically like the water the yellow summon uh this strength is worthy of take one with blah 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 something about prayers okay so he has given us the blessing lynx has bestowed the yellow relic i too shall watch over thy fate how thou shall struggle to live and how thou face death okay cool that's basically all we needed let's make sure there's not anything Okay, uh, okay, so, yeah, he basically just tells us, seek the other gods, okay, cool, uh, okay, that's gonna be it for the, today's episode, guys, thanks for watching, uh, next episode, we'll get more of the dragons, obviously, so, yep, thanks for watching, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and comment as a Brisbane channel, and I will see you guys later, God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Last episode, we defeated the Earth Dragon. This episode, I am not really sure. I guess we can, we can kind of just pick Water Dragon Isle. You know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and do it up. So, once again, there are two different worlds, so I don't know which one the dragon is in. Uh, but we'll figure it out. So let's explore this one. If it's not in here, it's in the other one. If it's in this one, it's not in the other one. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and see what is up. I'm pretty sure it's in this one. I think. I forgot because I know we've seen the drag water dragon before. Uh, because we had to get the dragon tier to go to Mount Pyre. Real quick, I'm going to save just in case it is here. Obviously, we don't want to lose our progress here. I think it should be here. Let's go up. Yeah, the water dragon fight shouldn't be too hard. I say shouldn't, but then it might be hard. I think it is this middle ladder right here. And I think in today's episode, we might do two or three dragons. Uh, because last episode we did a lot of exploring and puzzles. Uh, this one's not really puzzly. This one you basically just fight and then you win. And those Lagoonates, those things are probably pretty tough actually. I'm not going to fight them now, but if I ever need to grind some maybe levels, I will come back and, you know, beat them up. And there's another save. You know what, might as well save one more time for good measure. Of course, now in the nowadays everything just auto saves, but in this amazing game, you do have to manually save, so it's always good to remember to save. Oh, those are like big dragon crab thingies. Do I need to kill one of those? Oh, can I just run past you? I think I'm gonna need to fight this one. This one is necessary to fight. That's fine. We, we can kill one of these to get through. How tough could this thing be, right? Let's just go ahead and demolish it. Yo, let's go for that three. Easy. How hard does this thing hit? Aw, oh, it doesn't hit that hard. It hits pretty hard, but I'm just going to downplay it like it's not to be cool. Let's go ahead and give it a good blast right in the face. Two, 100. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I'm going to go with the 2 this time. I'm not going to go straight for the 3 because yeah, this thing's not hard at all. It's already low health. We'll definitely be able to beat it with Irene if this doesn't kill it right here. Hopefully she hits her shot. There we go. Bam. There you go, Irene. Finishing off the battle. 
Yeah, so she doesn't do a lot of damage, which is, which is a little bit sad, but of course, she's a mage. So, she relies mostly on her magic. Add another Kara space, Kara pace. Alright, uh, the water dragon is just beyond here. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, beat up the water dragon. Get that water relic so we can peace out the place. What up, water dragon? Time has come. My power I shall grant to the ones who seek to break the eternal chains of fate. Uh, the dragon's blessing. Let's do this. Yep, that's literally the same line as the earth dragon. Do you seek my trials? Blah, blah, blah. It's going to the Dead Sea. Yes. That is why I am here. So, let's do this. I know he has a strong ability. A strong water ability. So, I will have to watch out for that. Kind of keep myself constantly healed just in case. Alright, try to hit that three, nice. I had two good hits right off the bat. And uh, let's use Feral Cats. That'll put Lynx quite low, but I think just getting some hardcore damage right away. He's not going to hit too hard in the beginning anyway. This should do about 100. 200, okay, I'll take it. I was about to say 200, but then I was like, eh, maybe that's a little over. 36, 43. Alright, not very good hits, but... Water types in this game tend to rely more on magic than physical uh, attack. So, ooh, I still did 100 even with only the second strike. Let's try to get Irene, oh my gosh, up to like her magic up so we can pull out a spell if we truly need it. Which we probably will need it in a second here. Too bad she like missed all her shots. Try to hit 1-3. Okay, good. And then try to hit. Oh, okay, maybe oh, I missed twice. But Irene is up. Let's try to get her. Oh, come on, Irene, Irene, please. Try to hit at least. Oh, this is bad. This is the thing that I was worried about. That's gonna hurt quite badly. Oh, it didn't hurt that bad. But I still need Irene to hit a shot or two. So I could heal all. Yeah, I'll just heal all. I could use her special ability, but you know what? I don't think it's needed. Let's just go ahead and pull out a heal all. That should be at about 215. 250, good stuff. And search, it's like a truck. Yeah, this thing's gonna be dead in no time. Especially if we're hitting that hard. What does this do? Oh, this hurts quite a lot, I think. Ah, uh, okay, I'm, I'm like overestimating all of these. All of his shots. We could probably even go with Irene and heal again. Does she have heal on this page? Yeah, let's just go ahead and heal all. Once again, always better to be safe than sorry. In case you close out some, like, move that I just don't know about. Nice, Sir just hit all of his shots so far. I'm pretty happy about that. So, okay, Grobot missed one, but that's fine. Alright, he is already low, which is good. And his Tsunami Beam and the other thing aren't doing a lot of damage, which makes me happy. Basically less than 100. We should be able to defeat this guy fairly easily if we don't miss. Guess let's just go to Irene. Come on, bro, you gotta stop missing, Irene. Like, for real, you have to stop missing. Um, I guess we'll just wait a turn, go to Mr. Roboto over here. Try to get some good hits in. Nice, those are some good hits. Deluge, okay, so... We're definitely gonna go with Irene and try to heal up a little bit here. Is that... Now, a bunch of us are down about 200. Okay, good, she didn't miss. And actually, we could maybe pull out her special ability... Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, okay, that's only a singular member. I'd rather cure all of them, so obviously we don't all die. 500 each. Okay, that's a good heal right there. Maybe? Can we finish it off? No, but... I think Robot over here should be able to. Yeah, there we go. I knew he could do it. So that was a fairly easy fight, honestly. I expected that to be much harder. 
I know when I fought it in earlier earlier times I thought the dragons are quite hard maybe now I'm older I know what to fight how to fight maybe I don't know either way the fights seem quite a bit easier nowadays so I don't know what that means we got blue whale so that is another thingy well done son of man the strength is worthy of my powers take with thee thy prayers okay so we got the blue relic and we'll definitely be able to do another dragon in the minimum because well that didn't take very long okay so yep basically the same lines for every dragon I shall watch over you uh, but we gotta do is we gotta cure the flu so let's get some what is it, medicine yeah and then also he gave us blue whale can we give that to her if anything, it's probably going to be on the 7th slot. Let's see, it might be on the 8th, though. Thunder Snake. Oh, it is 8. Blue Whale is on 8. Okay, so we're not going to be able to use that yet. We need to get Irene to her 8th element spot. Or we need to get, like, Fargo to its 8th element spot. Okay, I want to miss this crab. I don't want to fight it. Okay. Um, I haven't really decided which dragon to go towards next. Um, I guess the, uh, what is it? I'll just say green dragon. I don't know. I don't think it's like the grass dragon. I don't, I think that's a little, yeah, I don't, I don't think one of the founding, like, people of the world would call themselves the grass dragon. I don't even know. Is it the wind? What is green? I know yellow is like earth, obviously red is fire, blue is water. Like, what is green? It probably has something along the lines of, like, wind, maybe. Because there's arrow saucer, that's like wind-like. And leaves. I don't know. But, either way, I think we're gonna go for him next. And I know his quest is a little bit longer than most. So his will probably be perfect for the amount of time we have left in this episode. Now it's the long journey of riding the lily pads all the way there. And I think the way we get to... Oh, I took the wrong lily pad, didn't I? Yeah, I took the wrong lily pad. I think the only way to get to him is... Uh, if you guys remember last episode or two episodes ago, we got the ancient fruit. We have to use that to get the Biba thingy. Uh, the like the centipede flying thing. I think that thing is gonna take us over to the island because I'll, I'll show you guys the island. But basically, the island you can't get there with a boat; it's all walled off. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys. But I think I don't know which world it is. I'm pretty sure it is this world though. Yeah, if you see this, we can't really get into Gaia's navel because it's all surrounded and very, very hilly. But if we go to uh, the Hydras, I think it is of Homeworld. Obviously, if it's not, we're just going to go back to the other one, but I'm pretty sure it is this one. Also, if I'm correct, I remember the Grass Dragon, whatever Grass Dragon. Out of all of them, he is the hardest, in my opinion. I remember fighting. I mean, obviously, like I said earlier... All of them were kind of difficult for me as a kid, but overall, the hardest was the grass dragon for me. I'm pretty sure uh, we have to go to that wide open space. Remember last time we called the we called the stupid thingy to fight us. We kind of just killed it, but it wouldn't let us ride it. I think now since we have the ancient fruit, it will let us ride it. Oh, there's a biba again. How did you get that flute? It Biba handed down in the Biba family. That Biba mine too. Um. Are we really gonna have to fight this dude? Why? Why do we have to fight this thing? We already killed it like twice. Whatever. Time to get us another small fight out of the way. We could probably kill this thing in two hits. Not let it call its friends. If we don't miss, that is. Oh, come on. If we would have just killed it, we would have not had to deal with this. Lynx, why couldn't you just hit your shot? Yeah, there goes one of them. 
Let's see if we can kill this one before it calls its friends. Okay, it didn't call its friend. As long as we don't miss with Lynx, this fight should be over fairly quickly. I'm gonna hit a two so I don't miss. Yeah, there we go. So, that fight was over pretty quickly, which is nice. Alright, let's just kind of like speed run through this. We got some fur, which we don't really need. Alright, what is he going to give us this time for defeating him? Here, he gives you this. This be but ancient fruit. Um, okay. Uh, if you blow the f uh, you blah blah blah. Okay, we already got ancient fruit though. We don't really need it. Why do you have ancient fruit? Oh well, that Viva. Okay, so we got a second ancient fruit, which we didn't really need, I guess, right? Oh well, might as well save. But now that we got two Viva fruits, we'll or ancient fruits, not Viva Viva fruits, we'll definitely be able to get that Wingipede. Alright guys, I don't know, do we have to go to this guy? Oh, yes. thought we had to fight this guy. Oh, come on. And call, use your Viva Flute. Okay, so we have to use the Viva Flute here. Alright, let's use the Viva Flute. Come and get me, Wingapede. And then we could give it some Ancient Fruit. There we go. And now it should take us to Gaia's Navel. Nave, whatever. Gaia, Gaia. I don't know how to pronounce things in this game, man. Overall, I'm just not good at pronouncing stuff in general. Yep, this is where we're supposed to go. And here we also get one of the strongest characters in the game. Some say the best with the strongest attack. But we'll see. Okay, so if we blow this thing again, we'll be able to go back. Booga Booga. You friend of father? Father. You know father. Father is, um, brave warrior. Leah lose father when Leah very little. Grandma said father went to sky. You come from sky, so Leah thank you, father. <laughs> we are sorry, Leah. We do not know your father. By the way, where are we? Leah don't know either. Uh, Leah land anger up here. Villagers not here. Only Leah has come here. What was that? The green dragon? He pretty tough. Leah help if you fight. Leah winning so far. There we go. So, uh, yeah. This guy is, if you look at like stat pages, he is pretty much, people say the strongest in the game. Even Lynx, he has 37, he has 36. And of course this guy isn't super high leveled. I'm not gonna use him, but he is most people think top tier in this game so this entire place is basically like a giant puzzle this is like one of the worst parts of the game in my opinion it's a lot of just walking around it's kind of like the, um, the 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 pirate or the cruise ship where you have to like you do all the gambling you just have to go a million random places and especially the enemies are the most annoying part so overall, this is one of the hardest dragons just because the place you have to go and the enemies are super annoying, but we'll get through it. So let's just make our way through the place. Okay, so yeah, apparently that's what we have to do. We have to just basically cause an uproar and kill a bunch of stuff.
every single thing on the island. If I haven't, then I don't know what there is left to fight. But everything should be dead. And this means that it's time to fight the dragon, which, once again, uh, in my opinion, is the hardest dragon out of all of them. Why is it so... There we go. We did it. Okay, oops, I just hit my table. Let's talk to Leah, Leah, whatever. He come. Yes, he does come. Oh, no, that is a big T-Rex thingy. Okay. Let's fight, I guess, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so apparently this thing's supposed to come out. If we defeat this, then there will be a big enough ruckus to wake up the green dragon. Cool. I didn't know we were fighting this. I forgot, but, I mean, it's not that hard to kill, so that's fine. And even this thing we might be able to kill, like, right now. How hard does it hit? Ah, uh, 35, that's it. Man, I thought these things were going to be strong. These things are weak. Only about 30 damage, right? A little bit more than 30 damage. It's fine, though. We can Feral Cats. And this will hit both of them for a good amount. <clears throat> pew, 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 pew. Hopefully this kills the bird. I don't think it will, though. It'll get her low for sure. No, I want to hit the other thing. Yeah, let me hit the bird. I just want to get rid of the bird. Just get it out of the way. Oh, it's still not dead? Alright, you know what? Hair cutter will kill it. Hair cutter, and this will also uh, kill the Tyranno, whatever. So, this is good. Boom, that should do around 200. Yeah. Alright, the bird is gone. Now we just have to worry about this stupid... Failed Tyrannosaurus Rex looking creature. Is it red? Hopefully it's red. That would be cool. Oh, Irene's almost dead. Oof. You know what? Um, let's heal ourselves. That'd be great. I've actually never used this ability before. This will be cool to see. Okay. That's cool. So get two hits right on it. Let's just beat it to death. Oh, oh, we got some nice hits in. I like it. Crunch out. Let's see how much damage this does. Only 120. That's fine. Now we'll just go to Irene and attack. But you know, I think we like basically kill it right here. Ah, very close. We'll kill it with this next punch. Yeah, there we go. Easy, easy. Bum, 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 bum. And now the dragon should come out. And let's make sure and heal. Yeah, because I think we're, we're not going to have a chance to save in between. I think we just fight it, basically. Yeah, the green dragon's woken up. What is that? Okay. Uh, Leia, and then we pretty basically just run after her. Yeah, the green dragon has awoken. Oh, Boguga. Oh, Gabuga. Leia, not know he here. Oh, he's here now. God, this is the worst dragon out of all of them. He's so annoying. Silence, what is all this ruckus? Hmm, I see thou ru Come here there. So, yeah. We're gonna try to get the ruck. This guy is so annoying, though. It's unbelievable. You guys will see in his dialogue. He's really cocky. And now for lunch. That's literally what I mean. He doesn't even talk to us like the other dragons. Like, oh, something about fate. No. He's literally just like, ooh, lunch. I really don't like this dragon. He's, again, the hardest, the most annoying, and the most that I'm glad to beat the crap out of. In my opinion, this is the hardest dragon, all of them. And you'll see in a little bit why. He's gonna, near the end, spam a move called Carnivore very often. And it usually does around 150 damage to everybody. And he uses it over and over again. So basically, the trick with this boss is to just have constant healing and I do have heals on basically every single one of my members another thing that doesn't help is that this guy has a very huge health total so you can see right away he's already gonna start to use carnivore 
and it does about 150 damage all around. I'm actually gonna, you know what, I will use heal with this guy. So basically, I want to make sure to keep everyone alive. If something happens, I do have revives, but I only have two. That's one on Irene and one on Lynx, so... Worst comes to worst. I need to... Yeah, and this guy's just gonna keep spamming Carnivore over and over again. And we're just gonna need a constant flow of heals, basically. Let's, of course, heal all one more time. Make sure to keep everybody alive. And defend, defend, so we can get... See, he's just gonna keep spamming Carnivore again. Again, and again, and again. So basically, I can... Try to attack him as much as possible. Um, hmm. well, let's go over to Lynx. Try to hit one shot. Good. Oh, he's gonna use. Hopefully, this doesn't kill anybody. I'm really hoping this does not kill anybody. Okay, it didn't kill anybody. That's really good. Okay, so let's heal all. That's what I'm saying. This guy does not stop with <clears throat> using Carnivore, and it's really, really bad. Okay, next carnivore should not kill anybody. But man, we gotta stop missing. I really need to get Irene into health range. She's our main healer. Oh my god, but that miss is... That miss is... Actually catastrophic. I really need her to heal at this time. And she's not ready to. Can I heal now? No, I need to get one hit. Okay, and... No, wait. No, his heal's over here. Whoops. Yeah, I really need Irene to be able to heal next. Because I've already gone, I've already like burned through a bunch of heals with everybody else. I really need her to hit. Okay, it's good. Okay, and I guess let's go to Lynx. So her heal is ready. I need Lynx to hit his shots. Good. He's gonna use Carnivore again. He's just gonna keep spamming this ability. This ability, once again, it's not a small damage. It's 150. That's a lot. That was even cutting it close right there. So I just need to keep spamming heals and slowly chip away with physical damage. But, like, and wow, okay, that was a big heal. It's a good thing, like I said, Irene is our mage. She's our main healer overall. But at the same time, while healing, I do need to also keep pressure on the guy. If I don't keep pressure on the guy, of course, he'll just keep using Carnivore until we run out of heals. I do need to be careful. Hit him twice. And then I guess we'll use a heal. And yeah, basically, most of us are almost out of heals. So this guy, compared to like the earth and water, this guy is actually a challenge in my opinion. This boss is hard. Especially, even he likes to dodge stuff too. He's just gonna keep spamming Carnivore over and over again. That hurts, man, it hurts. Please tell me I have another heal. Okay, I have two more. I have three more heals. Well, two more now after I use this one. Definitely, these heals come in handy. And Irina's a good healer. I really need her to hit her shots. Please? Okay, good. Man, Carnivore again. Alright, well, that's fine. At least Irina's ready to heal again. At least. But, man. Carnivore over and over again. That's it's not easy to take. It's really not. He attacks so often. I really need to hit big shots like that. No, I don't want to use that. Let's go to. I think right now we need to slowly push for damage a bit. Wow. Oh my god. He's going to use Carnivore again. At this point, it's really important for me to hit shots. Especially with me running low on healing. I guess we'll have to heal again this fight is hard guys this fight is hard like I said hardest out of the definitely the bosses I think I need to get Irene up to heal I don't because I think he's gonna use carnivore again very very soon okay good so I got her up to heal let's go to try to push some damage in nice two good hits heal plus okay so now he's at the point where he, he's gonna start healing himself which is good. It gives us a little opportunity, but the problem is he does heal for quite a bit. So unlike other bosses who heal about 100, 
we can't straight like out damage it we actually need to let him heal and then basically redo a lot of shots while he's still spamming carnivore man well it's a good thing Irina's ready with a heal or is she oh she doesn't have mass heals anymore cure all hmm I think I have to cure all here. Either way, two of my members are going to die without it. Problem is, I'm really running low on heals. So I need to do something to him now. That also means I need everybody greenfield. Okay, that gives us a little opportunity. That means I need everybody to stop missing. Like, really badly. Everyone needs to stop missing. And it's greenfield. He might use some, like, big ability. So I'm going to make sure to not let the entire field be green. I don't want him to use some like special big summon, so I will make the field a part blue so he can't use it. Okay, we've gotten a few... Oh, no, that's da that's really bad. Bad breath. Okay, that's really good. It's really good. Now, he's just got to keep using abilities like bad breath so he can get a chance to attack. Okay, we need to get Irene up so she can attack soon. That's some de actually that's some decent damage honestly. All right, this is our chance. No, that's so bad. Stop missing, man. Like we've, I mean maybe it's just me like over exaggerating every time I miss, but it seems like we've hit, missed so many 80% that it's ridiculous. Is he dead? Oh my gosh, we beat him. I didn't even realize that was his animation for being low. Okay, good. He must have ran out of carnivores or something. It's good stuff. That's good stuff. Bum, 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 bum. All right, nice. I was really getting worried there. All right, we got genie, which is a special ability, and another recover all, which is always nice. All right, impressive. Links received the green relic. Serge, you always fight monsters like that. Looks like, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe Leah find also Leah need decide something. Leah decide return to village. Leah, booga booga, let's go. Okay, Leah, Leah, whatever. Join the party. Cool. Um, and she is pretty strong. Yeah, she's. Ooh. 39, 40. She's pretty strong. Is she better than Crybot? No. Not particularly. Yeah. Uh, at this moment, Crybot's a little bit better. Cryobot, Robot, Mr. Roboto, whatever. Ooh. Okay, I need to do some healing. Yeah, I definitely need to do some healing. And I need a brace. Wait. Uh, okay, and all of us are full health. Alright guys, let's get off the island. Basically, that was everything we have to do here, is come over here and just fight the green dragon. So if we come back over here, and we blow the Biba flute. Uh, where's the Biba flute? There it is. It will come back and get us. Nice. So, next up... Um, I don't know what dragon's next. We've defeated the yellow, the green, oh, the fire dragon. I think we should probably do the fire dragon next, although we are not going to do it this episode, obviously, because we're already a little far on time, but I think the fire dragon is a good next dragon. And then, of course, we have to do the dark dragon and the white dragon. And I'm pretty sure I have to do the white dragon last. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's either the blue, the white or a black dragon. One of them is the last one. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today, we're going to be doing the fire dragon and trying to complete some side quests here and there. So first, what I want to do is 
I wonder if the whole Marbul, like saving Marbul thing is ready yet. So I'm going to quickly head to Fargo. All right, let's go see what he says. He should be right inside of here. All right, I grabbed the other Fargo. Let's see what this guy has to say to himself. Uh, he should fall kind of in line. I landlubber. <laughs> Are you me? Don't even associate yourself with me. You're being a sissy, Fargo. You're pathetic. I, too, had the possibility of becoming a jelly like yourself. I know about the plan. We're moving the ship along with Nikki, with Nikki's to Marbul and showering the island with this song at full volume. Once the dream spirits awaken, we'll defeat them one by one. My ship is Elvis. The ship cannot lo can no longer set sail. I cannot steer it. Ah, uh, who's asking you anyway? Listen up, mateys. The ship is no longer the Zelbas, but the SS Invincible. Set course for Marble and man your stations. It's useless. We'll see about that. So yeah, I knew I had to get my other boy, Fargo. Except for... Come on, everyone. We're going to take our beautiful island Marble back. Hopefully I can switch characters, because I don't want to fight with Fargo. I want to get... Robot, Mr. Roboto back in my team. So hopefully they'll let me do that. Oh, Eve, oh. Uh, I don't know. Na, na, na. How the? You don't even know that? The desire to return to ones is steering the ship forward. You mean the demi humans? Once the ship reaches Marble, Nikki will begin this concert. We gotta do what we can to wake these monsters from their nightmares. So long, Fargo. I've come to my senses. It's time you did the same. Hehe, <laughs> looks like they finally did it. Behold, my people, Mar... Mar... Man, I can't say words. Well then, it's about time we get down to business. Oh, that's dumb. That's actually... That, we didn't finish a battle. That's just their music. <laughs> oh boy. Let's defeat some Lagoonates. Adrift, adrift. For how many dreams have I awakened? How many marrows have I passed? The days when victory meant everything have come to an end. Yesterday's friends become tomorrow's foes. So flow the days filled with betrayal and um, something something. One, once one reaches the summit, all that remains is one inevitable downfall. All has become lost. The innumerable wounds, once decorations of glory, have become instead to ache. Ah, have I awoken? Where I be? Could this be the grave of the narwhals that is said to lie hidden in the sea? Bro, I don't know. But there's Mickey and Nikki and the two other dancers who I don't really know who they are they're probably not important they don't even have names uh, they they took Nikki down now he's probably gonna start singing isn't he but we shall free the island bam he's up where am I you're on a ship my dude so, I am alone, just dessert, just desserts for the likes of me. I like desserts. Except I just had like McDonald's, so I'm not really hungry. Betrayed by the very ones whom I trust, that gone are the friends with whom I shared my dreams alone, with no lover to share my sorrows. Oh, hither. Someone behind you. Someone in front of you. Is someone hither? Oh, hither. Be it thou, my savior sweet, I... Oh my god, I don't want to read all this. Be thou not a mere maiden, but a mermaid. <laughs> thou art surprised. Only that one such as thee would help a human like me. My internal gratitude is thine, sweet siren of the sea. So she's supposed to be like a mermaid, obviously, for Marble. Uh, Twas but the proper thing. Why art thou alone here? Whence cometh the wounds that afflict thee so? Tis too sad a tale to tell so far. 
though fair. If thou wishes not to speak of such things, I shan't enforce thee to tell them unto me. Instead, kind sir, may I inquire as to the world from which thou cometh, comest. Man. I, I never said I was greatest reader, though. Enough, that shall suffice. What a wretched, woeful tale thou ha hast. Thou need needest not fight er more. The world from whence thou comest lack any form of pleasure. Pleasure. Dear sailor man, let me hear the song that thou dost like best. A splendid song from a faraway world, unknown to the likes of me. A song of such a thing I know not. Wherefore wouldst thou hear my cronies, Neptunian nymph? Surely this is not to be gained from it. Bro, come on, man. Just sing your song. What a poor, miserable man thou art. Songs be the soul's delight. When one is sad, songs gently envelop one's sorrows. And when one is happy, songs are there to share the joy with thee. That be the very essence of song. So thou sayest, unfortunately, singing has no relevance to me. I long ago forgot how to laugh and how to cry. I need some water up in here. Oh, God. She gonna start singing? How awfully nostalgic. I feel as though I have heard that song before, somewhere long ago. A mysterious melody that bathes thee in a warm glow. It is a precious song handed down generation to generation on my island. It seems to have reached the heart of thee who knows not of song. Now make me a promise. Repay me for saving you by singing the song for me. Hold on. Such a thing I cannot do. Cannot is different from will not. Please promise to grant this one petition. Wait, do not go. Where'd she go? Wow! He's got a guitar now. Sigh, as thought, I am unable to perform such music. Thou seem troubled. So this guy is literally performing a play. Who might ye be? Our sister shan't come out again until thou singest. Please, I beg ye, teach me how to sing. Music and song are not something that thou canst teach. There are things that thou must feel first. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I've never, I never really liked Nikki as a character. I'm just gonna be honest. I think I said this earlier uh, when we had the decision to either pick him. I never pick him. I don't really like him, honestly. This is terrible. Tis void of all emotion. Even this, this is a little bit stale. Thou dost need to be a bard, so as long thou express thy feelings, the thoughts of thy heart that words cannot. Probably just shouldn't have started the episode off with this. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Let thy instrument tell us what thou want to say. Just better keep it up. <laughs> okay, keep it up. Thank you. This is the song of Marble. Thou art a kind man, we can tell from the sound thou makest. Hee hee, thou hast got it. A, hey, tis becoming fun. Hmm. Alright, where's Mickey at? That's a real question. There she is. Well, what dost thou think? This beautiful each note enwraps my very soul. 
If ever thou art sorrowed and at the despair lim- oh, but then croon this song, I remember, dear, at this very moment. The time when our hearts began to beat to one rhythm and know that our song will continue on forever mere. Lo, the star th- the stars doth twinkle in accord with our song. The brighter one is the star of something, and next to it the star of Grania can be seen shining so faintly. We mar- mariners, mariners, navigate our vessels by these two stars. Thou art a knowledgeable man, and not know the names of such luminaries. I just saw them as jewels that shine in the night sky. I didn't realize that stars could look so beautiful. I never took the time to gaze at them like this before, nor ever heard the song that they had been singing unto me. Now that I have spent what seems like days singing here with thee, I have come to the realization that there is no more than what seems to be. The twinkling of the stars, the waving of the waves, even silence itself, all sing in harmony with thee and me. It is strange to think that both thy world and mine share the same stars. Speaking of which, I must soon return to my world. Wherefore, dear sir, thou dost not like it here? My pursuers are nigh, my staying here will endanger thy folk. Then allow me to come with thee, sweet sir. I cannot allow such thing. One step out of here lie treacherous temp- tempests and woeful war- warfare. Yet even then, even then thou dost say thou shall come with me. I know that for a certainty. Yet for this place only to have a peace while the whole world is at war is a selfish itself. Perhaps the love we share can be shared with the whole world. Both nature and mankind must surely desire to live hand in hand. Thou comest thou to me, my sweetest sea sprite, until the whole world hath come to live in heavenly harmony. Upon the day shall I bring thee back to the idyllic isle. Then, only then, will both our worlds have peace between nature and human folk and resonate in chorus with our national anthem dear national. Together, let us build the whole new world. Come, my maiden, come. Like, come on, bro. Like, I like this, but... Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Speed this up a bit, you know what I mean? The only reason I'm even doing this is because I want <laughs> Mickey in my party. Or, not my party, but like, I, I want to grab her as a playable character. Zelbez, does this song call out to your heart? You taught me this song for long. I've been trying to regain what I've lost, but to no avail. But now I feel as if the one important thing I finally returned, thanks to the irreplaceable treasure you left behind. So you're happy for me too. Even though she said that, I too was unable to fulfill the promise made to Zelbez. Her dream is also my dream. I promise never to use this attack again, but there's no avoiding it. Please forgive me. This time I'll protect you. Oh. So that is a new move? That's interesting. Alright then, I'll show you how serious I can get. It's time for me to let loose some marble. Alright, let's get it. Um... Do I have to have Fargo on my team? You know what, guys? I think I'll leave Mr. Roboto out of this battle this one time. Great Explorer. Yo, you guys, I'm sure you noticed, but something ain't right. I know they're harmless, but they've grown in number. And if, teams, if these monsters are somebody's bad dream, then whose or what's dream? Then does that mean that if these monsters die, someone or something will wake up? I bet the dreamer is ten times as nasty as these nightmares. There's probably something big. Uh, I think we're about done here. Er, yeah, well, I think I'm through with my investigation here. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not that I'm scared or anything. We'll take care. Alright, let's beat up some Lagoonates, man. Get out of here, bro. What's up? Fight me. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight each of these Lagoonates. And they shouldn't be tough. I think they have about 500 health, 510. Just four kicks. Though, although I. They're pretty strong, I think. Never mind, they're pretty weak. I take back my words. 
But they do still do have a bit of health. So let's use Infernal. That would probably hurt quite a bit. I'll probably hurt hurt him. It should probably kill the one on the right if it does enough damage. 250, jeez. You know, I will use Fargo. I don't have, like, anything equipped on him. But he should do a decent amount of health. I don't know how I don't know how much Irene does. But we could probably just go in with Lynx and finish this one off. If he hits it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, these things aren't as hard as I thought. Maybe we could come to this island earlier and I didn't know. Not sure. There we got two resistance rings that we can't really do anything with. But yeah. We gotta clear all the lagoon in, so at this point it's just kind of grinding. Gotta get these done. Alright everybody, we've cleared all the lagoonates except one. So we're gonna fight this last one on camera and I don't really know what to do after. Do we have to go to the hut? Do we have to go to the map? Does it automatically do something? I don't know. But just in case it is automatic, we're gonna do this last fight together. And of course, for the first time ever, Lynx misses twice. He made up for the beginning where he missed two by hitting that crazy critical. Alright, let's see. Let's heal just in case there's another fight, which I don't think there is. A dragon's cry was heard in a far off distance. Okay. I mean, I know which dragon that is, I think. Is there a dragon in here? There's not a dragon in- wait. Alright guys, real quickly, I'm gonna go to the other world and see if it made a difference. I don't see why it would, but I, I just didn't want them, so... Oh! Hey, look at that! They're back! If you're with a human, get out. Bro, you wanna fight? The black dragon, it's awake. Okay, so maybe... Doing that did wake it up. Maybe it did. This is the sage. The black dragon has awakened even without our song. What could have happened? Well, the song has been sung in another world. That's what happened, my dude. Is there a safe point? You know what? We're not gonna die to this dragon. This is probably a really dumb idea, but you know what? I'm going in, boys. Oh, I still have Fargo with me. Oops. I still have Fargo. Run. Yeah, yo, can you not wake up yet? Yo, 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 don't wake up yet. Don't, don't wake up. <laughs> We're going to go and uh, quickly switch out Fargo. Because that's probably a great idea. Dragon uh, is also black. So my elements won't be super effective against them. This should be fine, though. Yo, what's good? dragon yo want a duel and this one's actually the only one that actually looks like a dragon yo can i talk to you it hath been a long sleep i am you shall provide some much needed exercise all right bro let's do this and he's not in my opinion he's not as bad as a green dragon this guy's like all right i just woke up need to get him some cardio you guys could help me out no the green one was like dude there's some lunch so although the black dragon is also kind of a jerk at least he didn't call us lunch. That offends me. Alright, we're gonna get some big hits on him here. And then let's get a Photon Beam. This dude is black, so Photon Beam should do quite a bit of damage to his face. Boom. It should do quite a bit. 193? Okay. Anti-white. Oh! We literally just pulled out a white spell right before he made us not be able to. That's, that's fine though. I don't want to miss, so I'm just going to go ahead with a 1. Aw, uh, man, he's not... Okay, that last one was a pretty big hit. Let's just hit him with everything we got, you know what I mean? Let's just hit it. With Irene. I'm going to get a heal ready with her. Oh, he stopped me. He stopped me from doing another attack. I, th I don't know if that's going to reset. Ooh, oh, that doesn't hurt that bad. Oh, that hurt kind of bad. I'm not sure if that resets my percentages. It doesn't. But he might missed. Right, let's go to Lynx. Don't miss. Good stuff. Ah, oh, you missed the second one, you butt. 
All right, let's go with her. Let's make sure we get our healing up. Okay, there we go. I want to make sure I'll be able to heal. Dark Breath, how much does that do? And is that to everybody? That's the real question. How strong is that? Show me. Okay. Not that strong. Okay. That is a okay. Uh, you know what? Nah, I won't even heal. I might heal with Mr. Roboto over here. Since he doesn't have the best healing, I just I'll just do it with him. If it'll let me heal before he attacks again. Uh, okay, that's fine. He's not gonna kill anybody. Yeah, that's actually the probably the best person he could have attacked. And actually, now it's probably is useful to heal, so I'm gonna go back to Irene. And use... Now, I'm not gonna even use the big heal all. Let's just heal the... Let's just do the normal heal all. And this should be about a 200. That'll be more than enough. Yep. More than enough. Please, let's hit the three. Nice, hit the second one. Nope, not seal all. Let's do... Let's hit him with an ice blast right in the middle of the body. How about that? That probably feels good, don't it? Boom. Nice. Ooh. Let's see. Ah, why well, you gotta miss, bro? All right, hit the second one at least. Genius. I'm pretty sure that just raises his stuff up, right? His defense? Magic defense. Gravity bomb. Uh, wait. I don't think this is... Is this, this, is, a, is this a big attack? I don't know if this is a big attack. Is it? Oh, it looks like it. Okay, okay. That was pretty strong, pretty strong. Not too strong, though. Luckily, um, we got Mr. Healing over here. Let's just heal up. Probably not gonna heal us to full. Probably not. Yeah, yeah, actually, now we're all full. Okay, good. Please don't miss. Yes, good. Is he low already? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I can't. Oh, I still hit. Look at that. You know what? Let's hit him with that meteor shower, bro. Let's do this. Since my um, accuracy is so low, might as well just hit him with a spell while I'm at it. Probably got nothing better to do anyway. Either got to heal him or wait for that black to wear off. But Lynx is... Uh, mm. His main damage comes from healing. I wonder, do I have like a heal? I don't think I do. Hmm, that's fine. Let's just defend, defend. Oh, that's good. Um, well, that I think that'll take away his. Maybe. I, I guess we'll see. Does it go away when he gets hit? Man, I'm at like the end of the game. I still don't know this. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, let's just try to hit a 35. Hey, my boy still got it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait. Maybe I can use that that P whatever medicine to get rid of that. Looks like this dude is low though. So I'm just gonna maybe I should just like rush him now. Just make him dead. Damn. If I make him dead, you know, that's that's good stuff. Lynx, can you attack yet? Okay, let's see. Good. Good. Gravitone. Ah, eh, won't hurt that much. Maybe about 60 to 70 each. Even lower. We could use this on me. Oh, I can't use that? Dang it. Can I not use... Oh, I can't use white stuff. Oh, that's dumb. Ah, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, let's go and, uh, let's burn them all. Why not? Let's go ahead and make this place explode with some infernos. Okay. Uh, man, I still can't hit. When will that go away? For now, though, uh, let's just do an ice blast. This fight's gonna end real soon anyway. There's no reason for me to just not do anything. Oh, he's low now. Okay, now he's low. Let's go ahead and defend. Free fall. Oh, this might hurt a bit. And actually, Lynx, is, his, his color is black anyway. It won't hurt him that much. Oh, okay, I heard him quite a bit. 
Okay, let's go to Irene. Let's try to get a heal ready. Hopefully this doesn't trigger him to attack. Good. Uh, let's just cure all. I probably shouldn't have used cure all for such like a low percentage. But, eh, he's gonna be dead either way. My accuracy is back, and I miss anyway. Alright, he's gonna go for Lynx a little bit, that's fine. Lynx is probably the highest defense. So it's probably good that he's getting hit. Let's go over here to Mr. Roboto. My hit, nice. Boom, good. Back to Lynx, tag team up in here. No, Lynx, bro. Lynx is a really bad habit of missing near the end of fights. I don't know what it is. Go through all 25 or so videos so far. Check every boss fight. I bet you more than half of them, he starts missing at the end for no apparent reason. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, that doesn't hurt that much. Yeah. Wait, is he gonna do it again? Or... Oh, no, okay. Let's go up in here and... Just for shape, safety, just for safety measures, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of that heal heal real quick. Bam. Bam. Well, what am I doing? Let me go attack with Lynx. Try to finish him. Please hit both. Yes, nice. Is he dead? No, but he's going to tag him, but that's fine. He's not going to do anything too badly. Boom. Is he dead? Yes! We done it. Good stuff. Oh, he's angry. Boom. The black dragon's dead. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We got Grim Reaper, that's a good, that's, wait, we could put that on one of them, I think. Hey, that'd be sick. Aha, I thank you for the excitement. Uh, Black Relic. Sick Areno. Nice. All right. Cool stuff. Let's see if we can actually equip it. Uh, yeah, by the way, Marble, sorry for, like, uh, uh, destroying your dragon. Uh, let's go, let's put it on Link, since obviously he's, like, my main character anyway. Let's go see if we can put it on him. Does he have... No, it has to go on 8, don't it? Yes, it has to be on 8. Does he have 8? 4, 5, 6, 7. No, not yet. Alright. Well then. We shall give it a bit more time. By the way, I can never use... Her... Like, ultimate ability? Because I don't have turn blue. I need, I need to turn the field blue. I don't even know if I have it. I definitely need to grab it, though, from somewhere eventually. Anyway, um, I don't think we're going to do another dragon fight in this episode. But let's for sure at least head to Mount Pyre. Uh, let's at least head there. And... Uh, I, just know why, I don't know why I walked back in here. I'm trying to think of what world he's in. I'm pretty sure it's in this world. I'm almost sure it's in this world. So let's go ahead and dock up. I'm pretty sure. If we see the if we see the big boy, then we'll know that it is this place. We just gotta see if that big spooky dragon's here. And everything's already pre-frozen for us, so that's pretty good. And obviously I'm just gonna run past these guys. I don't really have no beef with them. And obviously, I'd like a one shot him anyway. Basically, I just want the dragon itself. No! That's alright. We, we Gucci. There we go. Alright, now try to get past this coyote without getting hit. Bro, I was like, don't, don't chase me, bro. Alright. We should be good. We should be good. And the fire dragon should be past this next room. We can dodge this lava boy. We're in the clear. Alright, we're in the clear. Wait, wait, no. One more. There we go. I just gotta run past them. Like that. Good stuff. And there's a safe point here. So, guys. Uh, let's save here. Um, 
real quickly. I'm not gonna end the episode. Let's check if he is here. Because if he's not here, obviously I'm gonna have to go to the other world. So let's just walk in here and take a quick peek. Is he here? Yes, he is here. Uh, but obviously we can't just like go there. What we're gonna have to do is go around, sadly. Alright, you know what? I just defeated the crap out of that one. I didn't feel like dealing with it. I'm pretty sure... Do we have to go here? No, but there's a chest. Tablet. I really don't need a tablet. I know it's, I know what we have to do. We have to go... Don't hit me. We have to go down. Towards the right. Left. It's the right. Oh, we just gotta... Oh, we gotta dodge this. Alright, let's go to this side. Pro dodging with Aqua. Alright, we just gotta dodge this boy. No, get away! Oh, okay, that one's just facing the wall. Like a complete idiot. Okay, we've never been here yet, but this is obviously where we're supposed to go. Sadly, that stupid lion thing is not stuck. Alright, we are back up. Let's try the other route. Let's try to run this way. Oh, okay. Uh, magma bomb. No. Oh, I was so scared I slipped. Now. Oh, this is the way. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do another freezy freeze. Uh, freeze for me, bam. Right, let's try to dodge these doggos. Dodge the doggos, dodge, dodge the doggo, the doggos, the doogos. Alright. Oof. No. Oh, so many. Oh, oh, we made it. We're geniuses. Look at that. Oh. Okay. We will end off here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, next time we're going to fight that fire dragon. Make sure to like. Oh, totally messed up my outro. Make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today, we're going to start out big with the fire dragon fight. And you might be a little bit surprised on this one. So, uh, there's this big dragon here, right? Where'd the little one go? Can we talk? Oh, yeah, you. Come here. Can I, can I, hello? Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't let me talk to him. But, uh, well, we got attention now. Hey, hey, lad. So we meet again. You look a bit different, but I know it's you. Come on, challenge me again. What do you say? If you beat me, I'll give you the dragon relic and my pet salamander. So you thought that dude was the fire dragon? Nope. This little one is the fire dragon. That big one is his pet. Don't don't get it twisted. This little dude is the fire dragon. It might not seem like it, but y'all just wait. Once we get around near the middle of the fight. All right, real quick. Oh. Let's try to oh two good hits all right what i'm also gonna do i don't know if he's even gonna use this move but i'm gonna lay down a trap with links that might do absolutely nothing but you know what i'm just gonna say it'll be one turn i'm not really scared of this guy beating me fury breath that that's not gonna hurt too much yeah Let's go ahead and place Volcano. I don't know if he has it. I have no idea, but you know what? If he does have it, I don't want him to use it. So... Okay, nice miss. Nice miss. Alright, Irene, let's get you up because she's going to have to heal soon. So let's go ahead and hit some of these. Aw, oh, she's going <clears> to... <throat> also, we should probably change the field effect off of... Actually, it won't matter. Okay, he's transforming. I think we've hit him enough. This is where I was talking about. I said, y'all just wait. Boom. Boom. This is the real fire dragon. That dinky one? Yes, it was the fire dragon. But this is the real... Oh, how bad is this going to be? Oh, it hits everybody. Oh, please don't kill Irene. Wowzers. That killed Irene. Alright, well, let's, let's hit up a revive. Yeah, I didn't think that would kill her. Like, jeez. Alright, and then let's hit up a heal all, why don't we? 
Yeah, let's make sure we don't get killed by that. And Irene basically needs to stay at full health this entire fight. Because that thing does around 330 damage. That ain't... Aw, oh, bro, why you gotta miss? That sucks so much. I really needed that cyborg damage. Who is he hitting? He's hitting Miss... Oh, no, he's hitting Lynx. That's fine. Lynx won't take that... Okay, come on, please. Good. I like it. Actually, let's go to Irene. Let's make sure she's able to cast a heal if she needs it. Alright, nice. We hit the three. Honestly, she doesn't do that bad of damage. Like, I keep saying, like, she's weak. She's really not. Um, let's go to Mr. Roboto. No, actually, let's go to Lynx. Let's try to hit a two. No, that was an accident. I was scratching my nose. I hit a two. And then, let's do an Ice Blast. This should hurt quite a bit since he's fire. This should hurt quite a bit. 300. 230. Okay, not as much as I thought. Fury Breath. Oh, that's gonna hurt mm, not at all. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna hit twos with him now, because truly... Yeah, uh, he can't hit threes, evidently. You know I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna defend, defend, defend. I'm just gonna defend with all of them. Um... Is this the big attack? Oh, it is. Don't kill Irene. If Irene dies, it's Ripperoni. Don't kill her. Nice. She still has 100 HP left. Look at that. And it's a good thing that I left Cyborg's abilities up because now I could go ahead and heal and not really have to worry. Although it's not a major heal. Uh, yeah. Irene's gonna still need more healing. Bro, come on. Hit, like, at least one element. But I definitely gotta heal her because um, if she gets attacked, she's going to die. And again, my only revive is her left. So I 100% need her to stay alive. I'm not gonna take a chance at it. I will here plus her. So she won't have. Actually, she still will have a healing ability when she comes back up. Inferno. Wait! I put a trap down! I put a trap down, though. What? I put another metal trap. Look. Oh, wait. I put Volcano. Not in for... Oops. Uh, wrong trap. I'm delusional. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. No chances. Remember, guys. No chances. I need Irene's alive. Oh, she's not still, still not at full health. That's gross. That's fine, I guess. Let's try to hit him with that, too. Good. And then let's hit him with an Ice Blast. I'll let Irene take care of the healing as long as she doesn't get wiped out now. But she really shouldn't fight. Oh! Guys, you gotta hope right now that she... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That was her single attack. Never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh... No, I think we're gonna have to... I don't want to heal all. Uh, let's hit up a heal all. I really don't want to do this, but I don't want her getting wiped out by like one percent percentage point. So strengthen. Oh, that's not gonna do too much for him. I'll make him a bit more beefy, but it's not too much stronger. Oh, nice crit. That is a nice crit. Oh, miss. Hit a second one. So that's good. By the way, guys, after this dragon, we will go fight the other dragon. I think we only, after this, we only have one dragon fight. That's it. So, we're definitely going to go, obviously, defeat the other dragon today. Let's do a heal all. Um, basically, I probably should have just done a cure instead of a heal all. Oh, well, ah, uh, whatever. No, no chances no risks ah oh, bro why do you gotta miss Ooh. well maybe it's a good oh that literally did nothing that, that that's basically that attack is just to burn us but i mean he's oh those are some spicy attacks please hit nice good attacks man is that singular no i think this is the multiple yeah Please don't kill Irene's. No, Ripperino, please. Oh, 36 HP! Oh, that's brutal. Okay, let's hope she hits this. 
good. And let's go ahead and heal all. Make sure she don't die. Except she still might if she gets hit with a fire breath. No, actually, no, she won't. And we... Really, he should be dead right here. Yeah. That heal was just for safety, but we really didn't need him to. We defeated him anyway. Alright, it looks like he's gonna go back into a small form. Bam. Easy peasy. Is he just gonna stand there? Okay, I was like, what's going on here? Is he just gonna stand there and sleep? Is he gonna regain HP on me? What's going on here? Alrighty! Another battle down the drain. And we did get Salamander, which is really, really cool. But, uh, hmm, we'll meet again. Okay, nice. We got the Fire Relic. Coolio. And real quickly, let's use an ointment. And everyone's basically full HP. Nice. Cool, and we even got his little pet Salamander as a summon thingy. Alright, let's head to the last dragon. I don't know what world he's in. But, ooh, let's just take a bright, oh, ooh, <laughs> quick dodge. Let's take a bright and educated guess. No, the stupid, oh wait, no, the cat's not in the way, haha. -ha. This game tricked me. All right, let's go this way so we don't have to fight that dude. Except we might have to fight a lava boy here. Please don't make me fight a lava boy. Bro, why do you gotta do this to me, bro? Can I dodge him? Oh, I juked! Oh my god, this game is literally... This game is not even fun. The greatest part about this game is juking these enemies. Alright, uh, let's, let's go ahead and board the boat. And, let's head over to the Sky Dragon Isle. Now, quick little fact. Uh, you might be wondering why I didn't maybe fight the dra I, uh, Sky Dragon first or something. Well, actually, you're not allowed to fight this dragon until you defeat all the other dragons. If you go up to him, he'll literally tell you, uh, go away, fruitcake, uh, you gotta beat the other dragons, I think. Although, I don't even know if he's here, I, like, I don't know. Uh, that's what this game's about though, exploration, am I right? So, let's just go check, let's see if he's there, if he's not there, let's see what item we have to get. I don't think he's in this world. Uh, there's explorers, usually explorers means that there's nothing here, that's usually the telltale sign. Except there might be something else here, wink wink, maybe, nudge nudge. Yes, he is here, okay. That's surprising. Well, how you doing? Welcome humans, I am the sky dragon of the white element. Well done, thou have gained the protection. So yeah, we have to do all five dragons before defeating him. Let's test thy skills to see if thou art truly and Okay, so he is basically like the final boss of final bosses dragon wise. He is the last dragon. I guess he's supposed to be the strongest. The, I mean, obviously, they put him last for a reason, so maybe he's supposed to be the strongest. I don't know. Either way, I think we'll take him down pretty easily uh, if my controller wants to work. Oh, oh, geez. Okay, are we good? We're good. Okay, let's hit a two. I'm not confident with a three. Oh, boy. This guy is weak. What? I do so much damage to him. Oh, okay, but that is a, that is a lot. That's a lot of damage. Um, man, come on, control, bro, why you gotta do this to me? Uh, do we have another, okay, let's hit him with that, uh, bro, let's hit him with that feral cat. He won't even see it coming. He won't even see it coming. Q, 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 fly, fly. Bam, okay, I was hoping to do a little bit more than that. Basically, my basic attacks do more. Nice. Honestly, both of these characters, I have two black characters, so this should be a fairly easy fight. This should be an easy fight, considering the uh, people that I have. So I shouldn't brag too much about beating him easily because I do have a team comp really aimed at beating white things. But I don't want to under, I don't want to underestimate him. Okay. Irene, I've learned, is terrible with her accuracy. I honestly think I'm, I think I'm gonna switch her out. 
after this battle, I'm kind of done with her. I'm kind of annoyed that she doesn't hit anything and doesn't do any damage. And even her magic skill isn't... I think Surge has better magic than her. I might switch her out low-key. Uh, let's just go to Cry... Prob Probic. Nice hit. Holy healing, what does that do? How much health? 500. Nah, I can hit that with links in like two hits. That's fine. That healing would be terrible if I wasn't hitting so hard. No, I didn't mean it. Mm, whatever. Maybe. I wonder if I can try to get the field of blue so Irene can use her ultimate. That would be kind of cool. No, he changed it to white. What does that do? Oh, his magic. That's so annoying. Okay, well then we're just going to have to beat him to death. Man, that was a good hit. Go back to Irene. Let's make sure she's up at full level. Bro, really? I, I really want to get... I want her to use her ultimate. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with wanting to use it. Oh. 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 Oof. Alright, you know what? No, no ultimate for her, man. Let's go ahead and, uh... Do I have a heal up in here? No, I don't want to use a heal all. There's really no reason. Wait, I could use her ability. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that on Lynx. Make sure he don't dead. That'd be great, right? No, no, no dead with Lynx. I need him. He does a lot of damage. That should heal him all the way up to full. All right, please. Nice. Go ahead. Hit. Dude, he's already low. Dude, we're demolishing this guy. Jeez. What are these hits? I I don't think we're even gonna be... He's not gonna even get to use his, like, big, big attack. Because we're gonna kill him so quickly. Dude, what a fight. We demolished this guy. Unless he has a second form. That I don't know about. No, it looks like he's... Okay. Uh, great. Um, cool. I didn't think he was supposed to be this easy. I'm okay with it, though. Oh, free boss fight. Neat. Saints. Sick. Thou skills, I acknowledge. I will grant thee the protection of the Sky Dragon. All right, there is the white relic. Nice. Naisu, the Dead Sea has disintegrated, and the gates of time have been opened with the divine protection of the six dragons. Venture deep beyond the pearly gates across the dimensions. Let's do this. Sick. Guys, we have beat all six dragons. How sick is that? We've beaten all of the dragons. Now, let's head to the Dead Sea. Let's see what's good. <clears throat> yeah. And man, I should probably, like... I don't know. Like, I, pro I should probably, like, fine-tune my team before I go into here. But maybe we'll be fine? Alright, everybody. So, I've remade my team. I basically just replaced Irene's with uh, Leia, Leah, whatever you call him, her... I don't even know. Uh, but I did redo like everybody's things, except I didn't add a couple to links. You know, whatever. But all of his elements are done, and I equipped him up. I also bought a stone helmet for those who needed one, and stone mails for everybody. And then everyone is using stone tools already. So we're pretty much all set in the equipment's apartment. So now, let's go ahead and go to the Dead Sea. Now, I don't know which world it is in. Alright guys, it seems like there's a few things we have to do before we actually go, in, go into there. We actually probably won't go there for um, maybe another one or two episodes. I thought we'd go there now, but we don't. We're not going to. So, uh, just like that guy said in the other one, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to Guldov, uh, go up to the shaman person, uh, show her the six relics. She'll give us a dragon emblem and then go back to the other world and 
then we'll show her that and she'll give us another item and with that item uh i think we'll head to viper manor all right guys let's go ahead and uh blah 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 blah, blah. let's get in here and yes one must choose her own blah 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 no i want it okay How can this be? This is without a doubt a piece of the dragon tear, sir. I shall bestow upon you the dragon emblem. It is a symbol of a dragon shaman. Okay, that's what I needed. Uh, cool. You should be able to receive aid from the other shaman with this emblem. Make haste to the alternate world. All throughout the entire thing. Okay, so we're gonna have to be at home, right? Is that the item we're looking after? Hi. You halt, judging by your appearance, you are foreign. Uh, bro, okay, actually, I know what to do. I gotta show him uh, that emblem. Yeah, that's what I was. Okay. Can I show him? Hello? Uh, yo, let me in. That is a dragon emblem. How did it. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Welcome, travelers across the dimensions. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, if it is your wish, Miss Stina, you have permission from the chief, you may pass foreign travelers. Bro, I will knock him out. Let me in. Alright, what's good? Oh, wait, I should probably save. What? Is that the frozen flame? Bro, what is the frozen flame just chilling there for? Hello? Why do you have that? Why? <laughs> Can I come closer? Why do you have the frozen flame? What? As promised, I will lend you the dragon tear. I shall accompany you to the fort as well. Oh, sick. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if she's any good. I might. Man, now I'm tempted to trade her out. 34. Ooh. Uh. Now nah, I'll keep. I'll, I'll keep. Uh. Leia in for now. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Blah, blah 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 blah. Okay. Cool. So next up is Fort Dragonia, where. We will hopefully get our body back. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, spoiler, spoiler. Easy peasy. All right. So, next destination is Fort Dragonia. Sadly, though, guys, we're not going to do that in this episode because we already fought two dragons. I think that's enough for this video. So, guys, yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully, we get uh, Serge's body back, maybe? Never know, never know. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And my controller stopped working. God bless and goodbye. Alright, we've made it through there. Now time to go to Fort Dragonia. Now this... Oh. Place the dragon tier here. The fort shall open itself for you. Okay. Uh. Place. I have placed it. Oh, so that thing wasn't the frozen flame. It wasn't the frozen flame, it was the dragon tear. I am a genius. Clearly, I'm a genius. I have gone to Viper Manor instead of Fort Dragonia, and I have mistaken the dragon tear for the frozen flame. So, my IQ level is that of a Rick and Morty viewer. But, uh, the nice thing is, we won't have to go through this entire dungeon again. I'm gonna save real quick, just in case. <laughs> I don't know if I'll die to this next boss, but just in case, obviously, I don't want to. But we will go back up. Let's do this. Hey, look who it is. It's our boy Dark Surge. What's up? Hey, so you finally made it, but this is as far as you will get. It's a little too soon for you to, to get your original form back. Oh, we're fighting him. All right, let's do this. Let's kick some butt. I am ready. Bump, bump. Na, 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 na. All right, let's kick some butt. Please hit. Nice. Okay, we hit pretty hard against them. Man, I love how he, like, switched. Like, he took my body, but this idiot is still using his weapon. Bro, if you're going to come to my body, at least still use, like, a sea swallow, my dude. Like, what are you doing? But you know what? That's fine. He can do his own thing. Please hit. Ah. Let's go to Leia. I haven't even seen how hard she hits, so... No. Please don't miss. 
Okay, she doesn't hit super hard, but you know what? She hit... What? How? He's Surge, and he's still using Feral Cats. Everybody, welcome back to another Chrono Cross video. Today, we're going to go to Fort Dragonia, because last episode, we did get uh, the Dragon tier, I think, which will allow us to do something. I don't even exactly know myself. This game is confusing. And because I would heal with Lynx. But the thing is, I really don't want Lynx to use because I want to attack with him. Since he does an uber amount of damage, apparently. And then with him, we'll just attack like normal. Please hit. Nice. And we're doing some great damage. Oh, it's going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, okay. You know what we're going to do? We're also going to heal. Uh, I don't want him to use some huge attack and wipe us out for some weird reason. So I am going to go ahead and heal. Let's just go for the 66. Let's do it again. Okay, he hit the second one. Now let's go for this. Oh, let's go for the 70 again. Okay, he hit the second one. Man, I, I should... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a trap card for this. I had a trap card for this. Ouch. Okay, I'm definitely going to heal with Lynx this time. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal all. Lynx, I think, is a better healer than the rest of them. So this will do a bit more. Oh, he missed a 72. Man, why do they always hit the second ones? But I think he's low already. No, maybe not. Either way, let's try to hit some good hits. Okay, he's going to go for Leia. Oh. <laughs> Those are some attacks. I'm pretty sure Leia has heal all still, though. And, yeah, basically she's just healing herself. You know what? Might as well take all precautions. Nice. I had two good hits. Go to Mr. Roboto. Hit. Nice. Nice. Two good hits. I like it. Forever Zero. Ooh, this is... Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, what is going on with your neck, buddy? I wanna watch your neck. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty cool animation, though. Like, this is a sick attack. But, man. This is definitely gonna do some... Zoom. Forever Zero. Yeah, that did quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Actually, I'm gonna go over here. Let's heal all. Bro, oh. No, no, we're gonna go in links. I wanna set down Volcano also, too, though. I guess we'll just heal all. I really don't wanna die, so. We'll heal all with him. And then, uh, you know, we don't need to heal a second time. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh. Mm, you know, let's just go to Leia. Try to hit some with her. Man, Leia's accuracy is so bad. I definitely need to put like an accuracy pendant on her. I, he's low. Those are a bunch of good hits. Black hole. This should hurt. Not too badly though. This might kill Leia. Might. I really doubt it though. Oh, that actually did kill Leia. Okay, well then, you know what? We're just going to do a single attack and then go over to Lynx. And then we're going to revive Leia. And then hopefully he gives me one turn to be able to heal with Grobic. Please give me one turn to heal. Give me one turn. Let's try to heal everybody. And if we don't get everybody to full health, we'll heal with Leia again. That's definitely not going to take us to full health. But let's do another heal. This should put us at full and hopefully we'll be able to keep attacking here. So let's just defend, defend. Okay, he's going to hit Grovic, but he's defending. Which is perfect. Alright, let's go back to Grovic. Please hit. Good. Two good hits. Lynx, if he gets some good... Please? Nice. Alright. Iceberg. Yeah, this should... This sh Man, he's got a lot of, like... A lot of 
elements that hurt, man. This stuff hurts. That hurt uh, quite a bit. Um, let's go ahead and heal again. I don't want him to use instantly some other element next time he attacks. He's almost dead, but I do want to make sure that I don't instantly die from something. Man, Leia's accuracy is so bad. Alright, please get some good hits. Ah, Hit him with that second one. That's good. Okay, he's just going to go for the standard attack. He's not going to use an element. That's pretty useful. It'll give him another chance to hit some... Oh, there he goes. Okay, good. Okay, that wasn't too hard of a fight. We managed his, like, strong elements pretty well. Leia died, but that's fine. Okay, cool. And we got revives anyway, right? So we'll be fine. But don't think this is the end of it, guys. Impressive. I may have underestimated you. Anyway, I must get on with my affairs. Besides, it's too late. Goodbye, Surge. So, yeah, it, the fight's obviously not over yet. He's not going to give up that easily. But before we go and fight him, we will get a new character inside of our party. If we go down here, I'm pretty sure I have the item. If we go here and we place the... Uh, where's the big egg? Yeah, we, we get a little a little dragon. War, what a good sleep. Good morning. Yeah, he's kind of just... Hey, where did everybody go? My big brother. My big sister. Uh, they might be dead, my dude. My kid brother. And my little sister. Where did they all go? Are you my mother? Ugh. Really? You look more like a father to me. Sniff, will you take me to mother and father? Yeah. I don't know if we'll ever find them, but I will take him on the party. Let's see how strong he is. Okay, he's not uber strong. Leia's at 42. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have him in our party, but hey, it's a good addition. Where is everybody? They must be around here somewhere. He's a good addition, though. I'll take him. Rawr. But he's kind of cute, you know? He's just jumping around. Where are you? I know, they'll probably left the fort and are playing outside. Is he? Bro, I need that. Bro, why? I need to go up that elevator too. Why couldn't he just like take me with him? <laughs> I need to go up there too, bro. We got a carpool. Oh, okay. Uh, controller, hello? Okay. <laughs> the controller stopped working for a minute there. Man, he couldn't have just taken me with him? What a waste of electricity. All right, let's go up. And go up. And then we will fight Surge once again. Back at this scene for the third time, guys. For the third time. This time, we are Lynx. That's kind of funny. First two times with Surge. Third, times with, third time with Lynx. And we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to take on this next fight. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the stairs are still there from last time. Can I still not grab this? Yeah, I can't carry any more of those. Oh, no, I can just press X. There we go. Oh, before I go to the fight, I probably should put an accuracy item on uh, Leia. Because her, I, I, I think I finally decided that Leia is a girl. I mean, that would make sense. I don't know. I am not judging, but um, let's definitely put on. Oh come on, an accuracy item on her. Uh, so instead of a stamina ring, let's put. Uh, where is it? Improves hit percentage. Yes. I need her to hit her shots. She she's not even that strong, but I need her to hit her shots. Alright, let's go inside the fort for the second time, technically, but really for the, th for the third. Serge, you must proceed from here alone. You must see and confirm for yourself who you really are. 
Truth shall manifest itself once you believe in your heart. Bro, what is she even doing here? <laughs> oh, didn't she say that she's gonna occupy us to the fort, but I didn't put her in my party, so she probably just, like, like poofs here. All right, well, I guess that makes sense. But we are alone this time, guys. Bam, dragon tear. Oh, story time. All life on this planet was born in the sea. The life form softly slumbered within the womb of our mother sea. Until eventually they developed free will and were able to swim about the ocean freely. Then there came those that, not satisfied with life in the water, looked up from the ocean floor towards the blue skies and dreamt of the feel of land. Aeons passed before their preposterous dream became reality, and they rose up from the sea onto the earth. The land became full of all kinds of creatures. Among these, the dragon lizards and the more evolved rep reptites thought they would reign over the earth forever, and for a long while it, was, it seemed like they would. However, the unforeseen coming of the Mighty One from the heavens suddenly smashed the kingdom to pieces. The One was known as Lavos, the Great Crimson Flame. Wielding absolute power, Lavos buried the dinosaurs, the kings of the land, and in the space of a night. However, the timid apes who had lived hidden in the forests <clears throat> came in contact with the Crimson Flame that fell from the sky and evolved into humans. So basically, we're only humans because of the frozen flame. Or perhaps it was not evolution, but transformation. In this way, humans increased in number and filled the earth. The fearsome progeny of Lavos, who, like the progenitor, began to devour our mother planet. Man, I can't read. Cool. So, do we get our body back now? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that animation does look slightly creepy. And this looks also slightly creepy. And we're naked. But hey, we got our body back. <laughs> so that's cool. We have got our body back. I like that. Now, uh, where are my where's where are my clothes? And he's got huge hands. And he looks back. Look back. And smile. Yep. And that what we have is broken. Cool. Well, we got our body back, so that's uh, pretty good. I like that. I wonder if we'll have to like redo everything that we did. Hey, I got my clothes back, too. Look at that. Hello, fellow Surge. The Surge. Yes. I love how they didn't even check if it was Dark Surge. They just assumed. Surge, you have regained your identity without being held astray. Your eyes, which foresaw the truth, shall help you regain your trust among your comrades. There's nothing we can do about the Dragon Tear. Shattered result does not come as a surprise, however, you also carry the fate of the Dragon Tear from another world. The broken pieces of love and hate, although contradictory, they are the two sides of the same coin. A mysterious force may come to the light when the two pieces are united. Perhaps this force will be the legendary Chrono Cross. The only problem is, the shrine which is said to give life to the Chrono Cross is nothing but a cavern inside divine whatever. Surge, you may hold the key to bring forth its powers. The Dragon Tear shattered and transformed into the Tear of Love. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. 
all right guys real quickly uh i did i do need to redo all his powers so we can finally get level eight saints can we do level eight on these people too can i really six oh i can okay so i can put grim reaper on him and i don't think leia has it locked it but these two do so that's cool okay guys so <clears throat> we've gotten our body back and we can head to the dead sea but before we do that there are there is a couple of things that we probably should take care of uh so let's just kind of do them one thing <clears throat> i do want to get the master hammer from let's come back here and yeah actually there's two things we can do here another thing that i have to do Oh, no, I'm not supposed to do something in uh, Goldo 2. All right, well, I guess we'll do all of it. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. All right, I just got to figure out which one sells this Master Hammer. Which one? Do you sell it? Uh, welcome to G-Shop, baby. Bye. Oh, he's got some... He's got some traps, my dude. Um, okay, I don't really need any of this stuff, honestly. Um, yeah, sadly, I don't need this stuff. They're all basically traps, so he's selling a bunch of traps. Oh, I don't really need that. Um, all right, please tell me this guy sells it. Oh, I'll sell you my handcrafted master hammer. Yes, that is, yes. Stop by. Yes, th that's actually that. Okay, so that guy had it, man. And I checked with every single dude, and of course, the last one that I checked actually had the master hammer. All right, let's. Um, sadly, we're gonna have to switch in Zappa for a minute here when we go to Termina. Um, I think. I'm hoping I don't need any other material than the master hammer. But I guess let's check. But also. I know I'm getting like all these storylines confused of what I'm supposed to do before we go let's go ahead and talk to Mickey because I think she'll be able to join our party now so I do want her to join if possible so let's go and I don't think it really mattered which like body I was supposed to be in I think she'll join with whichever body I'm in but she should be. Um, is it this room? I forgot, man. There's so many rooms. It is this room. Yes, she's right here. Oh, it's you. I've always uh, pretty sad. Ain't it a grown woman like this? Won't be like a little girl. I know our gig is just a show, but I do have a feeling for him. Anyway, we're on a vacation now, so why not just take me with your party? Yes. So, bam. There we go. We got Mickey. So, basically, she's allowed to join after we do that whole Marble quest. Now, real questions. Is she strong? She's really not. I really want her on my team. But, um, yeah. I really want her on my team. I think she has a cool design. But, ugh, she's weak. I'm really not going to put... I mean, look, for me, it's not all about the looks, obviously. I want cool... I want strong characters, though. Like, I still want to defeat the game. I, okay, here's the I don't want to struggle to defeat the game. I want to have cool characters, but I want to have the cool strong characters. So at this moment, basically all I have to choose from is Mr. Roboto over here, Surge, and like maybe Karsh, and Zoa, and Leia, obviously. Uh, but okay, anyway, we got Mickey. Next, let's head over to Goldove. Alright guys, we're here in the other world. Let's see. Let's see if we've done. I don't. Yeah. Okay. We've we have infer that this black thing makes weapons for the dragoons. There's no use hiding it. We are hereby order you to halt all our operations here. Stand. Blah blah blah. Do you understand that? Bro, he's about to get smacked, bro. Ah, oh, stop it. That's dangerous. <laughs> a craftsman workshop is a dangerous place for a layman. It's your own dang fault for coming near it. Besides, what do you need? Dude, I can't read these. By what need do I have to listen to your order? Ah, I'll take no orders from ye, be gone with ye, for I've got work to finish. So you're not going to stop no matter what? Don't make me tell you the same thing twice. I've got a short temper. Alright. Alright, goodbye. 
I love how the little dude is like hiding behind the counter. Alright, we should be able to. Yeah, hey, there's a other oh, Zappa. <laughs> ah, over overworking myself. Ain't standing in front of my own eyes. Ah. Dude, I can't read this guy's sentences, bro. Alright, let's give him art everybody. So I've kind of put a couple pieces together. And I've kind of realized that I need to defeat or I need to go further in the game to actually get this rainbow stuff. So we're not able to make it just yet, but we do have the master hammer. So we'll be ready when we need it. So we're kind of ready. We just need to defeat another boss, which isn't a problem. Let me put Surge up front. But I guess while we wait for that, um, we'll do some other things. So can I still not go in here? Can I still not go? Okay. So, I also wanted to get Lucia or whatever her name is. I guess I can't do that yet. So, I can still not make rainbow weapons. I still can't go back in the Viper Manor. So, we only have one thing left. And that is to go get Orla at another world. And then, if this doesn't work out, well then... We need to go back to the Dead Sea. But let's see if this is the right world to get Orla. Hopefully. Hopefully she is here. But at least we bought the Master Hammer and like... So we don't have to save 10 grand. We kind of just paid it off. Now we can kind of just wait a little bit and then we'll get rainbow stuff sooner or later. Is Orla here? Yes! Okay, I'm going to show her the Sapphire Brooch. Someday I'll find, um, wait, no, I needed to give her the, it's not the, sa is it the sapphire? This blue gem, oh, it looks like you've re regained your truth self, now it's time to do my part. Okay, now she's joined our party. Now, Orla, I'm kind of excited because apparently she's a really good character, actually. 38, her attack ain't bad, honestly. And she's blue. I kind of want a blue character. Honestly, I think I might switch out Leia. Yeah, um, alright everybody. So Orla is fully equipped. She's got uh, all of her elements set and ready. And I've also equipped her with everything she needs. So she should be good. I guess now we head back over here. Now, I don't know if I'm in the right world to the Dead Sea Ruins, and now we should be able to go in there because we do have Surge's body. So I don't know which one of the three I should go in, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I deem you worthy of entering the Sea of Eden. Let the path be known for the ones facing fate. Okay, now there's... Oh, those are the relics, right? Is that what it is? Oh, oh, big shiny light. Alright. Coolio. Let's please insert disc two. Okay. Now, here's the weird thing. I'm using an emulator. How do I insert disc two? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I get it to work? Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. I got it to work. Whew. Okay, uh, I was a little bit scared there. I wasn't able to get the disc 2 to work with my emulator, but I clearly just did it wrong. Cool. Whoa, hello controller. All right, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm pretty sure here you can see three islands. Let's stop at the future. Let's do future first. So let's see. Uh, blah, 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 measuring the thread of life. And then the triangle just like floats away. Maybe we don't fight anything. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I guess let's try the... Maybe we have to do all three and maybe there's just one boss. Present. Let's try present. Let's see what... Let's see if it's the same thing. Clo Clotho. Let's see if this does the same thing. 
spinning the throw. Yeah, may maybe it is just all three and only one boss. Okay. Well then, let's defeat that boss then. Why not, right? I guess why not. Even if the episode's a bit long, oh well. Alright, let's do the last one. The Atropus. So this is past. So let's try this one. And cutting the thread of life. Okay. Dang, man. And there's all three. Yes. Art thou worthy of accepting fate? I'm guessing we have to fight this now. Yeah. Are we being tested? I think so. Alright, let us fight then. Let's do this. Alright, let's fight this thing. Then I'm pretty sure. I think this thing's not that tough. I don't think this thing is that tough. At least I don't remember it being that tough. Ooh, I'm low on health. Why is that? Uh, I mean, I, it's fine. We can just heal. That's kind of annoying, though. I don't know why I'm on low health. Man, those are some good hits right there. Let's go ahead and... You know what? No, I won't. Let's go to... I'll make him use a heal. Because we don't have to heal that much, and he's clearly the worst healer. So I'll make him heal real quick. Bam. He should do heal about 150, yeah. So not full for himself, but it's fine. How much is a cure? Aw, oh, that's nothing. I hit that with like one hit. And this shouldn't hit that hard. Maybe about 50. Zero. Eagle Eye. Is this guy at this point just like casting random spells? Like I'm getting the feeling he's just casting alright. We've never hit with her yet. Let's see. Oh, that is. Okay, I was going to say, that is a hard hit. I like it. Greenfield. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. I stopped functioning. Um, I don't know if Greenfield is a sign of something coming. But I won't let it. I'm just going to use Inferno and then make part of the field red. So he won't be able to use something if he's green. I mean, he has that element for a reason. So... No, come on. Come on, bro. Why do you gotta miss? Alright, let's defend with him. Just in case a big attack is coming. Bro, are you serious? Dang, man. Three misses in a row? I mean, I guess I shouldn't go for threes right away, but... I'll go for a two. Man, that was a good hit. Flying arrow. We've actually never done this tech yet. Because, obviously, we just got surge back. So I've never done this. This should be cool, though. Okay, that's... That's kind of cool. How much damage? 400. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Nice, we hit both. Volcano. Ooh. I'm hoping this doesn't kill anybody. It might kill Grobic. Maybe. No, it kill. What? It killed her? That's nuts. Okay, well, and this guy doesn't really have... No, 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 no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> he didn't do much. Let's go ahead and revive Orla. I was hoping he, w he wouldn't hit him like a million times. Man, Orla died. That sucks. So there goes one of our heals, or one of our revives. And maybe this guy's a little bit tougher than I originally thought. Okay, and, and let's also heal with her. Nice. Okay, let me hit one more time. Don't do anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal all again. If he pulls something out, then it's going to hurt. So let's definitely heal again. And almost everyone's full except Mr. Roboto, but he'll be fine, I think. Wow, dude. Cure plus. Why? <laughs> you have to miss. That's so tilting. 200. Okay, that's not too bad. I can out-damage that in like one turn. Yeah, basically, there's his thing. And let's go ahead and use Ice Blast. Oh, no! He's blue! Don't tell me I just healed him. Don't tell me I just healed him. Okay, no, I just did no damage. I was hoping I didn't heal him. Man, I'm glad I picked Orla. Orla, man, it hits pretty hard. Not as hard as the other two, clearly, but, like, hits way harder than Leia and doesn't miss. Oh, nice. Two criticals. I like that. 
Let's use Luminaire. We've used this one before. We basically got it right before we had to switch bodies. But it's a pretty cool ability. Should do about 200. Okay. A little lower than 200. Okay. He's really good about hitting his shots. So I kind of trust him to hit his twos. Here plus. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get the feeling that this boss basically has like one thing. One big damaging spell. And the rest is basically super easy. Um, what's her punch drunk? Oh, I, she actually used that when we first battled her. Um, I'm not going to use that stuff because it's not going to hurt him very well since she's blue. Man. Yeah, well, Grobic can hit with two. I trust him. Yeah, Grobic always hits his. And the thing is low. That's good. Okay, we'll be able to finish her off really quickly here. Let's go back to Surge. Oh, come on. Nice. Good hit. Is it dead? Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't really a hard fight. It was not really a hard fight, which I'm kind of glad for. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. And yeah, I'm I'm way happier with Orla than Leah. Although Leah's really good, her strength is I think the best in the game, other than Surge's. Her accuracy is just so garbage. It's unbelievable. Or maybe I just didn't do it right. But I'm pretty sure her accuracy is like 80, while Orla's is 90. Okay. Let's try to at least find a save point here. Hopefully it lets me save. Oh, okay. So now it, the place opened up. Alright, so we can go in here now. But guys, we're going to save it right here for now, guys. We'll get into that next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and comment. Add support to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to finally be entering Chronopolis and uh, seeing what's up. And by the way, before we start, uh, if some of my controls are a little bit funny or I'm a little bit slow, I changed up the controls a little bit, so you're going to have to forgive me for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and go into Future Ruins. So yeah, I didn't really make any big changes. I basically made my controls instead of my directional pad. I made it like my analog uh, because of some issues with my emulator, but... Yeah. I heard Group 3B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. They're releasing the flame's lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. Yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it'll be working. By the way, this is Balth Balthasar's lab. This is where they experimented with the frozen flame, like uh, with time travel, stuff like that, dimensions, you know, some weird stuff. So they did a lot of time based research here uh, during the simulation fate guaranteed that they would be able to use the flame as an uplink to extract the anti-annihilation energy associated with it don't worry it'll be a success i hope so so this place um oh i didn't realize it was a boss right here is this a boss i'm guessing it is so this place was used a lot for um experimentation so this is basically like in my opinion, the most important place in the entire game overall. Oh, and like, that's what I mean by this is going to be a little bit awkward, because I'm not used to... I'm actually using the analog for this, so it's going to be a bit weird. But I'll get you it eventually. Those are some good hits right there. Like a ton fist. Oh! Jeez. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Wow. 600-something. <clears throat> Definitely gonna be reviving my boy, Gro uh, Mr. Roboto over there. Jeez. Let's see. Get some good hits. And then, do we have... Um... Wait, do I have Nostrum on this guy? No. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll just use a cure. Yeah, I was just gonna use a cure on ourselves then. <clears throat> I wanna make sure... I don't get one. That's it? Oops. Okay, I'll definitely have to heal a bit more than that. I mean, I have some really hard hitters at least. Oh, why is he going for him? Okay, good. Good. Nice. That's good. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't die. No, man. These controls, like I said, you're going to have to forgive me a little bit. Um, hmm. I don't want to heal all. Let's just use a cure plus on him. Because we're not going to need to. We don't need to heal anybody else but other than him. 
Okay, he's still not at full, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do, donkey. It'll do. Let's go to him. You know, let's try to do a three. And I was gonna defend. Oh, it's already over. Alright, never mind. Wait. No, it's not. Uh, no. Okay. Let's defend. Let's go back to Surge. Is he, like, broken? Good hit. Let's go to Orla. Okay, nice miss. Ugh, two misses from Orla. Bazooka. This is gonna hurt. Probably. I'm guessing this is gonna hurt quite a bit. It, it's gonna hit Surge. Insta death. Cool. There's some good hits. Let's go ahead and just use revive. Yeah, let's use revive on Surgeon. This guy's so annoying because his hits just insta kill. Can't really deal with that. Uh, let's go back to. Uh, Grobig is not really good at healing, so let's try to hit with Surge a couple times. Hopefully he doesn't attack. Okay, well he hits Orla, who has like full health. Man, this guy is really bad at hitting. He's missed, I think, half of his shots thus far. And then let's go to... Here, I'll use this one. I don't want to go to the 3 plus. This should heal all of us up to full. Surge is a pretty good healer overall, so that should be fine. Alright, good hits. Is he dead yet? Okay, good stuff. Man, that was close. That guy, like, isn't a hard boss. The problem is it's hard to finish the fight with all members alive. He just hits so stupidly hard. His things basically... I mean, like, I don't know if there's, like, a way to prevent that, but... Any of his moves other than his basic attack basically one-shot me. Let's go over here. I don't really want to fight this thing if I don't have to. If, if I have to, I'll come back and fight it. For like XP and stuff, yellow brooch. I don't think I really need. Oh no, I'm stuck, aren't I? All right, you know what? Well, we're gonna fight one of these things then. Uh, like I always try in my videos, I like to fight one of each creature just so I can show it on camera. Okay, they don't hit super hard, honestly. Uh, okay. Okay, I hit the second one. Is it already weak? No, it doesn't look like it. So it has over 400. Nice miss. Okay, it so it has about 500 health. That's not too bad. If we hit both of our threes, Orla could probably kill it. Nice. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. So they're not too hard. <clears throat> what I'm scared about here is I might have to face the second one right away. Because it was like right behind me. So I'm just going to start running right away. Okay, so we don't have to fight the second one. That's good. It was, like, right behind me, though. Let's keep moving now and see what we can do up in here. Okay, so we need... Uh, there's, we need, like, a pass for that. Um, yeah. I don't think we can go the other way. So, basically, this is, like, linear. This is the only way we can go. <clears throat> what does this do? Okay, so that... Okay, and we need to get the second bridge open. That's obvious, right? Uh, Robo Sewer Wash. Yes. Okay. So, what do we do with the little robot? Do we just... Oh, what? Oh, I get it. We have to stay on the path. I gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> oh, we gotta, like, fight against the current. Okay, I feel, I feel. Well, I'm gonna go for that chest. Ooh. I'm gonna go for the chest. White brooch. Okay, I don't know if that really helps me at all, but... <clears throat> you know what? An item is an item. I'm gonna go for that second chest. Alright. We found a cure. all. Oh, that doesn't really help. Oh, it's gonna be, like, a treacherous road back. That's right, we'll make it slowly. 
The easy thing about this is basically the the um, the current only pushes in one direction, so I just have to like fight against one direction, and we're pretty much good. Like in here, we go fast, so that's pretty easy. Okay, and then we come over here with the little roboto and uh, do the clicky click. Yep, just like that. We have a second bridge. All right, I don't know why is it work why it wasn't working earlier, but you know what? Whatever it it works now. Like yeah, I don't know. That was weird. I was stuck there for a good like five ten minutes. So uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just keep going. No worry, no worry. <clears throat> we got another little roboto. Just gonna juke him real quick. Don't want none of that action. Not now. Okay, so these are other little robots. Okay, so we have like four places. So we have one to the left, one to the right. Okay, we only have two places. One to the left, one to the right, and then a door. So let's go to the left first. Why not? Okay, so this is little seaport with a save. It's probably a good idea to save. Well, it's probably a good thing we came left first, just so we can go ahead and save real quick. Bam. There is the save. Now let's go check out what's up here. I don't think there is anything. But it's probably good to check. There's only this little... <clears throat> what's up, dude? Perhaps uh, we will be able to control time. Okay, right, so this is basically what I was saying earlier. They're doing experiments with time here, so... Yeah, they could basically just screw with the world, space, and time if they succeeded. Okay, let's go the opposite direction and see what's going on here. Oh, this one's got a door instead of just open. Okay. Um... Can we go down here? Oh, we can. Let's see what's in the chest. Forget me not something. Okay, let's keep going up. Maybe we'll be able to get a pass up here or something. Bum 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 bum. Okay, why can't oh oh there's there's doors. Okay, never mind. Um, you need to go away. I don't want to fight you. Okay, there's a door right here. Let's see. Please, okay, I was like, okay, what do we do from here? Oh. Oh, okay. Security level two, please release the lock. Okay, we probably have to, I don't know if we have to kill this thing to release the lock, but let's do it anyway. Again, I want to see kind of what it looks like, how it attacks, how strong it is. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I guess we'll attack one of the flying boys first. Missed. Oh, that was a good hit, though. Still sucks, because I could have killed it if he would have hit the first one. Let's hit a two. Three. Okay. So both of them are going to be fairly low. Oh, okay. Let me just finish it off. Oh, this thing doesn't... Oh, yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. Let's go in with Orla. Yeah, basically one shot. We could kill this thing, especially with Surge. Ah, we don't miss. No, okay. If Surge hits both of... I don't... I keep not meaning to do that. If he hits both of these... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be dead. Yeah, what I'm definitely going to have to do is after this uh, episode or end of my recording session, I'm going to have to go back and maybe change it back to uh, the buttons, not the analogs. The analog is a little hard to attack with. Oh, well, maybe going here would help. Let's see what's in here. Um, I'm guessing we can't go in here yet, no. So I'm guessing we have to go in here to unlock either the elevator or get a pass. So this is El Nido. Originally, El Nido is nothing but an ocean. The El Nido Archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was remodel it was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. Planet include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido are Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, and Black Dragon Isle. 
the development of elements using the energy of the natural, the distribution of memory terminal devices called the records of fate that could survey and guide people's lives, a research center of staff who had their memories of the future erased left the center and began a life outside of missed nature. This is how fate's paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. That is until 14 years ago when a boy came in contact with the frozen flame on the night of the storm, which is, um, surprise, surprise us. There's nothing behind the computers, right? I'm guessing we have to go tap the big buttons in the middle, right? Maybe here. Maybe here. Uh, maybe here. Oh, maybe here. Releasing lock. Okay, boom. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Make sure he doesn't wear... My mind's been blanking out. Okay, well, it was right beside him. But, yes. Let's, let's continue on. Now, hopefully... Uh, let's go to floor three. We're on two. One is the one that we were originally on. Let's go to three and four and I guess just see what's up. I don't even know if it'll let me there. But we definitely need to... Some things still need a, like a key card. Right, let's go in here. Check out what's going on in here. Hmm. Oh, chest. Rainbow shell. Okay, we actually need those to craft rainbow stuff. That's Lavos. Lavos. Um, yeah. So that's Lavos. We've heard plenty of him. Uh, said to from the with yeah. So it's basically just telling about Lavos and kind of its story. However, a group of young time travelers, which was Chrono Trigger. Okay, um, blah, 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 I don't want to read all this because there's so much. I'll be here for the rest of this episode. Um, those are people. That's a lizard. A lizard person. I, do we have anything to do here? In there. Um. Please let me through. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, there's a brain. There's two brains floating. Model of Blaine or not Blaine? Brain. Why is this one have needles? Uh, lower animal brain. What is this? Okay, so that's a bunch of brains, my dudes. Some creepy stuff right there. Life. The life forms on this planet developed from single cell microorganism to protozoans, then from the fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, eventually to humans, beginning with the cere uh, cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals. Um, could the reason for abnormal development of the human brain be biological contamination caused by la Lavos? That would mean that humans are really a heterogeneous life, heterogeneous life form. Of foreign matter, as far as the planet is concerned, humans are a sudden mutation caused by the big contact with Lavos and alien life from that fell to this planet from space. This is why humans are biologically speaking unbalanced and half finished, internally inconsistent and disconnected. The human existence is plagued by contradictions, an incomplete species torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self contradictory. From the planet's viewpoint, humans are just destroyers and cursed, yet perhaps pathetic blight to the world. It's true. So, basically, it's weird to think that. Humans in this game only happen because of Lavos, and Lavos came here to destroy the planet. Uh, fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come in contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take in their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. So, uh, fate is basically kind of god in this world. Um, I'm going to just call it a she because uh, you'll see in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, she basically controls everything. And like like the, the dude said in the earlier with the whole map. She basically built the island, erased memories of the people, put them on the island, and has been watching over them, and kind of like guiding them towards where she wants them to go. Well, she's basically like playing God. Right, let's go. What's going on with this room? Only personnel as, as Arbiter may enter. Please evacuate your... We will do the same in case... Okay, so we can't go in here yet until we obviously do some form of action. It's just kind of how this game works. 
What is this? I don't I don't think that matters. So let's go and see what's up in here. Everyone gather round. Let's see. In the 11th century, scientists by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still a subject of intense debate and, not conclu and no conclusions have been made. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls everything else in into a ring of formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-time. I've heard that the time egg already existed during the legendary ancient dynasty. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this, but it's been said that time was altered using the time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be started soon after we dis after we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren area of Sierra you Leone. Know, we built several artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our research is about to come to an end. Once the final adjustments have been made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned, has he? Then we'll have to hold off till he gets back. Okay, so we still gotta to think the time is not absolute but elastic, relative uh, that there can be individual differences caused by changes in time. Perhaps the same people and life forms can even exist in several different space times and independent time that flows with the will. Ha, huh. So guys, one thing about this game that you're just kinda it's just kind of something we have to accept is it's very complicated and uh, deals with space and time and there are theories so the one thing about this game is there is not a set like this is what happened this is the conclusion basically everyone theorizes their own ideas kind of what happened. we know like the common baseline of what happened but we don't know like 100% sure and even if we do know 100% sure, it's still kind of riddled with uh, different kind of bugs and loopholes. So we, it's in a, in a sense a lie. We do know the story then itself, but kind of how the story works and it's like really deep uh, ideas and involvements are not 100% clear. Now I don't know where I'm supposed to get a key pass from. I'm kind of lost in that sense. I don't know where I'm supposed to click, but we still haven't gone down to the basement. So I guess we might as well check there first, right? Percent sure. Please present the central lab zone registration card. Okay. So guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight a bunch of these enemies so I could like level myself a bit, and I'm gonna try to find that key card. Okay guys, real quickly here, they talk about humans and reptiles. So, if you guys have ever played Chrono Trigger, obviously, you know, um, reptiles for a while, also it tells you in this game that reptiles, uh, took over the world for a little bit, they controlled a lot of it, and basically what this thing says is that in separate universes, reptiles could have been rulers and not humans, uh, so that's another thing that's, I don't, really don't want to get deep into it because there's like so much involved with it, but... Um, also, we'll see a little bit more progression through this game, kind of more of the reptilian people kind of thing. I don't want to do any spoilers, but uh, I, again, I highly recommend Googling the story. It's really interesting. Okay, uh, we didn't check this room in the brain room, did we? And there's some... Uh, I need to get past this. So, uh, looks like we're in for another fight. I'm guessing the key card is behind this big uh, robotic creature, so let's go ahead and uh, defeat the crap out of it. What is a combat? Uh, well, might as well take the arrow guards out of the way first. Uh, if we don't miss, just so we can just I don't know, just get them out of the way. Might as well. Let's go to this one. Let's try to hit it with a two. Ah, it won't let us. And oh well, I mean it's 11 damage, but still, I wanted to hit it first. And that should be dead right there. See, does this thing hurt? Eh, 
it doesn't hurt that badly. Okay, maybe, maybe it hurts a little bit. But, I don't know what kind of, like, spells it has, so I better be careful. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try to kill this thing in two hits. Ugh, it's very, very close. Orla can, like, barely two-shot it. It's very close to two-shotting it. Pretty sure we could kill it with, like, literal, just single slice. Let's just go for little pokes. Gunner get ya. <laughs> gonna get ya, gonna get ya. Ha ha ha. That doesn't even do that much damage. I think I'm basically just gonna spam attacks. I don't think it's gonna kill us. I'm just gonna mash buttons. Then next up, go to Orla. Keep smashing buttons. Well, we do quite a bit of damage. And this ability doesn't really do much. Literally only like 42. That's actually nothing. Uplift. What? Why? Oh, she's confused. Orla, why you gotta do that, man? Why you gotta drop a rock on my head? Alright, well, that was a pretty easy... Other than just kind of the annoyance of... Orlia, or, Orlia, Aura, Orla being a bit confused. That's just a little bit annoying, but nothing, nothing really bad. This has got to be the key card, right? No, it's Hellbound. Okay, time to keep looking. Oh, what? This door opens? Okay, guys, so apparently, this door right here, uh, apparently we got clearance at some point? Apparently, okay. What's in here? This cannot be. This is the ancient super weapon. What is it doing here? It looks complete. Okay. Cool. So we got a thingy. Do any of these have a thing? Enter release code. Oh, we don't have that. Okay. Um... What does this have to do? Okay, I don't know. Um, I guess let's just get out of here. I don't know. But guys, I think I do know what... Oh, it's another thingy. I do think I know what we are supposed to be doing. So up on the fourth floor, or the third floor, or some floor... Okay, you know, for this one time, I'm not going to fight this one. Because I defeated everything else above me. We're supposed to go see the chief. That's what I think what we're supposed to be doing. And yeah, so... I defeated everything, 4th floor, 3rd floor, 2nd floor. Now I should be defeating these ones, but you know what, I am I started talking, and I don't feel like stopping talking, so I'm just gonna roll with it, and it's okay. <laughs> we don't need to fight those real quickly, uh, because I know once we talk to the chief, we're probably gonna get into something. So I'm gonna save right now, just in case. I don't remember having a boss fight. Uh, <laughs> here but might as well do it just in case okay appear on nowhere in the and those headed up by sending balthazar that's the guy i was talking about earlier in the episode i've read the peak of his here he's simply vanished we continued we've continued his work and i've come this far our work is almost complete well it's about time i headed back the experience about to begin all righty tidy why can't i walk or why won't it let me walk while he's walking Okay, cool. So he didn't drop a key card, sadly. I wish he would have just dropped the key card. That would have been great. All right, let's head into the room and see what's good in the hood. Did all the? Maybe they come back. Never mind. Well, I did defeat them all, but they came back. Okay, so we weren't allowed in this. Ooh, there's a lot of triangles. Um, the record of fate is exp that's where we save two worlds that are so close and yet so far in nature exist in different dimensions. Wow, 
under the surveillance of the main computer of Chronopolis. Fate, in other words, fate has always been observing the two. So fate has been watching both worlds as we speak. Fate has manipulated the world of El Nido in order to avoid any major change to the history that it knows. In an event, an El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400 in which fate exists. What changes paradox could, out, could potentially lead to great disaster. The records of fate, fate's terminals collect data from around the world that input guidance directly into the minds of its users. So the things that we've been saving have literally been brainwashing us, basically. In this discreet way, fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Guided by fate, the people of El Nido learned a something life. In a sense, they are nothing more than puppets of fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie to give up going past me as a poet. An instruction to the man in to give up becoming a fisherman. A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect history. However, ever since the formation of the Dead Sea ten years ago, Fate has been unable to intervene directly with the World 01. The best Fate could do was cross the dimension and receive data through the records of Fate, and with much difficulty, Fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the, uh, uh, to the Dead Sea. Okay. Um, there's another big uh, spooky monster. The main computer is called Fate. Yes, I know this. Um, let's see... Do I have to, like, talk to all these people? Uh, blah, blah, blah. What does this do? Okay, well, I guess let's go to the other room, right? But first, I'm going to quickly defeat this thing and find out what's behind it. Okay, let's see what's behind box number one. Card key. Hey, that's what we needed. I, okay, it was there. Cool. It all began with the notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. It contained my grandfather's distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. We were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like such and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid, kid. Radical dreamers. What is this? Radical dreamers. What does this mean? There's a conversation with a comrade. So this is written by kid. Very ready, kid. I know you're anxious, but stay in your toes. Yeah. Like otherwise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that surge. Come on, Miguel. Let's go. That bastard Lynx is gonna get it. What does he say? Your praise. Not that it'll do you any good. So this is this is a kid's notebook. It seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times also exist. Just true. Real quickly, let's uh fix that burn. Y'all know what I mean. So yeah. Uh, no. We will be able to go up into the experimentation room, but. Um, I don't know. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna fight these two things and then... Alright, I have beaten the two things and once again, I've gotten burnt so quickly. Let's just use an ointment. Fix up that straight burn and let's see. Uh, I think, I think there's a only personal registered as arbiter may enter. Please conduct security check for verification. Unauthorized entry or tampering with security system will result in death. Operate at your own risk. Luckily... Please step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Luckily, Surge is the Arbiter because he has touched the Frozen Flame. So, most things would be dead about now. But, uh, that is last blah blah blah. So that is why. So that is why Lynx needed the Surge form. Lynx must be inside already. Yes, along with the Frozen Flame. So yeah, that's exactly, that's why I told you guys earlier that why Lynx needed, needed Surge's body for this exact reason, man. Oh, we got a big ball of something. That's, uh, where are we? And you know what, guys? I think we're going to end off this episode right here. I know I'm ending it off at the worst possible time, but next episode will come soon. And we're going to figure out what's going on here. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. So we just got access to this room, and apparently Lynx is supposed to be in here, because of course he like stole the body in the frozen flame. So I, I don't know. I think we're going to have a cool boss fight here, so let's keep going. Uh, where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Indeed. Exa exactly. Question mark. That is indeed the frozen flame. Or 
I, th I think so. But yeah. Music. Interesting music. Kid is on the floor for... Kid is on the floor for some reason. The hearer of people's prayers, the provider of the richest fame and power, the bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. Lynx. This is the essence of what descendants from the heavens in the prius uh, the living crimson stone, the frozen plain. Spooky. Lynx. What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have per perished on the way here. Bro, why is kid on the ground? Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from having from us having to talk. Who are you? What are you what are you after? You still don't know. I am the human incarnate of fate. Spooky. So remember how fate's like basically fate is God, controls the world. Well, that is fate in basically human form. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Living interface of the fate computer system, or put simply, I too am fate. 14 years ago on the night of the terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazupi, Wazupi, Wazuki and Miguel set out to the sea carrying a sick young child in the boat, which is Surge. That child was you, sir. After you have been attacked by that panther demon, your poisoned wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Terminar or even Goldove. So they set sail to Marble in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm, but they were blown off course and came to ashore on this island where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then, you have touched the frozen flame. Contact with the frozen... With the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. So basically, we locked fate out of being fate. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old mother brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of fate? That hidden circuit was based on the intentional ash tier model circuit board with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that the circuit was, was present within the core of its system, or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its uh, findings. Dr. Luca Ashtier, unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic, you might even go as far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't believe it was Luca alone that devised this plan. I'm sure that the first curator of this research center, a man named Balthazar, had in hand in it. So basically, Luca put a fail safe inside a Fate that if she did something crazy, there was something to fall back on so Fate didn't have complete control of the world. Fate, bring out the traitor Prometheus. Affirmative. Ah, you have finally released me. Welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between Fate and the dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Affirmative. Now elim eliminating Prometheus. No, you cannot. Surge, please. For the future of mankind. For the Horde? Alliance? Future. Dang it. It's not World of Warcraft. Idiot. Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx, why you? Haha, -ha, come search. Alright, fam. Let's, let's do a little battle. How about that? So, that is fate. But that is the robotic fate. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. So, um, last episode, when I kept calling fate a girl, I said I wasn't going to tell you why, but you're just going to see in a minute. This is what I was talking about. I mean, clearly, Fate is a female. It's kind of clear, in my opinion. But, um, that could be taken in many different ways. But, let's go ahead and, uh, beat up Fate, why don't we? So, and it's funny, a lot of people throughout this game keep looking at Fate as like, oh, like, Fate, like, what's gonna happen? No, it's actually a robot. <laughs> but it is a robot that controls everything. By the way, what color is Fate? It's black. Okay, so that's a little... Okay, well, Grobic is black, so he's gonna do a little bit less damage than normal. That's fine. Commencing countdown. Five. So, uh, that... When that countdown happens, uh, it's gonna hurt. A lot. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. You know what? Elemental damage is have. That's fine, because we don't even do elemental damage. We're like... A straight physical attacking team, so that's completely fine. 
Okay, I really gotta... Man, Surge does some damage. For We basically just have to not miss Graviton. This is gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt Surge a little bit more than the rest. Okay, it wasn't that bad. And I'll heal in a little bit. Um, you know, we'll go back to search. Literally, whenever search can hit, we're gonna try to hit. Ugh. Man, two misses. That's really bad. Whenever search can hit, I'm gonna try to get him to hit. No! Okay, mmm. We missed a lot of shots. That was kind of bad. Heat ray. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, no. He's still alive. He is still alive. Somehow he's still alive. We're gonna go in and use the th the plus three uh, because I need to heal him to full health. That hurt like really badly, and he's still actually not at full health, but he'll be fine. Try to get some good hits in there. Go back to Orla. Get some nice. Get some good hits in. Two. Whew. Free fall. Okay, is it on? Okay, it's on Orla. I was like, is it on Surge again? I swear. We might... Oh, that hurt quite a bit. Man, we might just heal all again. Surge is hurt anyway. Uh, might as well get some healing up in here. I don't know how much healing that is. 180. Okay, that's not that bad. That's basically... Don't miss this time. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks a lot, actually. Don't miss again. Dude, I'm missing out on so much damage because we keep missing. That's so bad. Let's go ahead and defend with her. Please, just go down. There we go. No, still defend. One. Ugh, what is she gonna pull out? Gravity blow. Okay, this... This shouldn't hurt too much. Especially Grobic. He has the highest health. And he's a black innate, so it shouldn't do too much. Is she gonna hit every single one with a gravity blow? That'll hurt Surge a little. Eh, only 52. That's not that bad. But, man. I love how Grobig is hitting his shots, but I really need Surge. Please hit. Good. He's missed, like, 11 other ones. Zero oh, wait, I'm not defending with Surge. He's gonna be dead. Dark. Oh, no. Surge is probably gonna die. Ugh. No? Is everyone alive? Everyone is alive. That is crazy. Okay, let's. Well, good to know. We we do have. If we, if most of us are at full health, we do survive. So that's good. Okay, so we do survive the big attack. That's basically all that matters. As long as I could keep recommencing. As long as I could keep at fairly high health at that last countdown, we're pretty much good. Okay, so Fate's attacks do a little bit. Not too much. Alright, we're gonna go back over to Surge. I really need Surge to hit his shots. Why does Surge keep missing, man? That's not good. The one character that I need not to miss always misses. Man. She, like, buffed up her, like... Her, uh, def uh agility stat or something, because dang... That is uber annoying. Let's go ahead and um, heal, I guess. Because I think some of us are kind of in the danger of dying here. And we still kind of are. Okay, come on, Surge. Please, please stop missing. Okay, two good hits. Nice. And let's use... Um, let's use Photon Beam. White should hurt Fate quite a lot. I don't think it'll do way too much, but it should do... That didn't do anything. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother with that anymore. Okay. Three. Gotta be careful, man. We gotta be careful. Heat ray. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Who's it gonna hit? Orla. Okay, I didn't kill her. Good. We can even, even cure herself. Now, I'm not going to use Cure All. Um, you know what? Maybe we will. Let's just use Heal All. 
We honestly have so many heals, and we're gonna defeat it before we go through every single heal, so... We're just gonna make sure to heal everybody, and Orla's still fairly low on health, but she'll be fine. Okay, that's a miss. Second miss. It's really not good, I don't... Okay, fate is low. That's good. Fate is low. Come on. Y'all have to stop missing. Two. So we're gonna have to survive one more round of... Uh, like a big spell. Boom. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna make sure to get Orla up to like... Oh no. That's gonna suck. She has Cure All. I really want her to use her Cure All. Guess that's not happening anymore though. She's gonna die actually. If I don't heal her, she's gonna die. So let's use... Uh, cure plus. I don't know how much this will heal her for. Hopefully it'll heal her enough. Please be at least like 200 something. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. One. So we have one more turn. Gravity blow. Hmm. I wonder. I'm pretty sure Grobic has magnify, right? Which lowers elemental damage by half, right? I wonder. And Grobic's ability is pretty far up. I wonder. Let's just do one, two. Do we have magnify? What is this? Temporarily increase? No. I need the exact opposite. So, we do not have... We needed the other one. Yeah, we needed the other one. Hmm. Okay, well then, we're just gonna go back to Orla. Uh, no, we're gonna go back here. Man, she's still... Okay, she hit something. That's crazy. She missed. It's not a surprise. Let's go back to Surge. Let's just try to go for a three. Okay, we actually did hit it. But we're gonna get hit with a big blast here. Let's please hope this doesn't wipe us all out. It didn't wipe us out last time. It is, oh, okay, I think we all lived again. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's go to Surge. What? Here, go to, oh. Surge can't do anything right now, okay. Let's make sure to heal all. Make sure she doesn't start attacking right away and do something really, really bad. Okay, that's how, that was actually a pretty good heal. We should be able to finish off Fate pretty soon here. Just gotta get in some good attacks. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, it looks like that's it. Okay, cool. So, guys. The computer that controls the entire world and has been controlling us for thousands of years... We just beat in a battle. That seems crazy, don't it? We just beat the thing that basically wrote history. Nice. Let's make sure to heal all. I don't know if there's a second battle, but considering it's Chrono Cross, I wouldn't doubt that there'd be a second battle. No, how could you? I, Fate, the goddess of fate, was not meant to die. Did we just kill Fate? And we do we kill Lynx? Aha, uh -huh, where in blazes am I? Surge, what happened to me? Aha, uh -huh, that's it. What? What's it? What is it? Oh, jeez. Just climbed up there. Non, stop. Don't touch that. Do not touch it. Kid, I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself down the cliff of destruction, but that would be imperative, but do not drag Surge and the others down into the destruction with you. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now. What did she do, actually? Hopefully she didn't just kill us all. Oh. Carl's on the ground. Uh... Uh, a is this 
fate has fallen. By the way, you also have to remember, the only thing keeping the dragons in line was fate. Fate has fallen. Fate has died. So you know the dragons are real happy about this one. You know they're real happy. Finally, the time has come. Ugh. This doesn't look like a good sign. Indeed, the long endless night shall finally come to an end. Now, for mankind. Ugh, I don't think for mankind. Dragons aren't too fond of them, are they? I shall make you bleed. Alright, dark dragon. Chill out, homie. You ain't fighting. And your boy, sky dragon. Feel a million years of this planet agony, pain, and suffering. Alright, 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 alright. Cool animation. And that is what you call a Dinopolis. I think. Pretty sure it's Dinopolis. So, if you guys remember, like, I kept talking about the whole two-world thing. Uh, in one world, I think, or something about, like, the Reptilian, uh, they didn't really die off. They kind of took over the world. Oh, world, you can see that in Chrono Trigger 2, there was, like, an existence. So, basically, that is what... No, it's a Terra Tower, not Chronopolis, Dinopolis, whatever. That's basically the thing... If the, I think the reptiles would have never been wiped out. I think Terra Tower has come back to life again in the year 2040 during an during a counter time experiment. The flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex. Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Perhaps it was the awakening Lavos who pulled the frozen flame back through time. Maybe so that Lavos who saw the possibility that some young adventurer might destroy it. Could create a backup plan that but that in all at the same time another city from a different dimension was also thrown back in time denopolis hey i was talking about that the future city of the reptites azala's descendants who have evolved more closely with the planet just as lavos in an attempt to save itself summoned chronopolis from the distant future perhaps our planet beckoned to denopolis into the past maybe as a measure against chronopolis and humanity it wasn't the dragon gods who sealed up the frozen flame it was fate who used the fl flame's power to divide and seal the dragons in slumber. Now that fate has been defeated, the dragon gods will join together again and start their revenge. And I don't know, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Um, this is, this is quite an animation right here. So I don't know, Did the dragons coming back, is this good? Is this bad? I, I don't really know. I mean, fate wasn't all that good, but I mean, fate kept the world going thus far. Oh, by the way, Harl's the seventh dragon. Just putting that out there. I don't like this dragon. Look, look what this dragon does. So the green dragon is the only one to straight up bite them. Now. The rest of them just kind of get in line, and then they just join up, right? Honestly, my only complaint about this entire game is when six dragons form together to make a bigger dragon, why do you gotta make it look so stupid? I'm just putting that out there. I feared it I feared it would come to this. I didn't want to have 
to fight with you if it could be have been avoided. Aduo, Serge, adio. Aduo, adios? That's Spanish, I think. Whoa, there goes Harl into, uh, center of the machine. Oh. I don't really know what happened there. It was a little, it was a little confusing. All right, we are back at the cruise ship. Cool. Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me that, to tell me we were being used all this time? Yep. The dragons have been using us. Kill fate, basically. What is done is done. Although we may not like it, in our case, we need to make our way into the floating tower, the Terra Tower. Yes, we cannot just dwindle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is, so we have to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can... Uh, there has to be a way. Mm, at least our objective is clear. I don't know how, but we must find... We must find the way. So, like, whatever happened to Kit after that, doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed, she is resting at the Radius's place. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. There is no reason staying here. Come on, mateys, let's shove off. Yes, I will find a way to wake up kid. Um, did we get any new members? I don't think so. Okay, well, we're going to keep these members because, um, yeah, they're, they're fine for now. Though, I will warn you, if you guys have grown a strong attraction to Grobic, he's going to be gone pretty soon because I'm going to replace him with kid if I can get her back alive. All right, everybody, next stop, Hermit's Hideaway. I don't know if this is the right world, but it should be. And this next part of the game is going to be very... The ground is hot. This next part of the game is going to be very, very interesting. You guys will see why. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this could be technically considered a spoiler, but we're going to see a little bit into Kid's past. Kid is resting in the bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. What's up? Okay, guys, so to revive Kid, like I kept saying, we have to do the whole Karsh Daryl side quest. And I didn't even realize, but I basically didn't even start it. Uh, so we're going to have to do... Oh, and right there is Terra Tower. Uh, I don't know how much of it we're going to get done today. Um, but we could. let's try to get a bunch of it done. So... We have to go find Salt and Pepper in Viper Manor in this world. Okay, yeah, let's go. So I think it's over here, right? I don't think we've ever been able to go over here. But I think now... I think now this is like part of the game where we do need to go over here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. So we need to move all of these things to their positions. Right, so let's move. Oh, this is a little bit easier with an analog. I'll give it that. So that is the one good thing about having an analog now. Is these are a qu quite a bit easier to move. And one more. Bam, there we go. And that should bring up a chest. And inside the chest should be nothing because we've fallen into a hole bam there's a letter inside so this is going to be a, a letter from salt and pepper there's a good reason why we barrel the con if you want to if you want it back come to the isle of the damned and bring sir karsh okay so now what we need to do is head over to uh the island of the damned with my boy karsh and uh yeah we'll get an item and with that item we'll be able to go to uh, Dario's place and fight him real quickly though. I want to see some other things So guys remember this neo thing that we had to get like a flower for Let's try it now So let's see what happens if we get I'm pretty sure we had what was it like the sparkle? Uh, what was it? What was it called again life sparkle? Yes, if we give this thing a life sparkle it becomes a thing neo Fio, blossom Hi, I'm neo Fio. You must be my master. Nice to meet you, bud. <laughs> bud. Flower. Bud. Haha. 
Okay, there's a new party member. Neophio. Uh, let's see, is it any, is it any good? Uh, no, it's not good. So we're not gonna add it to the party. But that's fine. Take me with you. Okay, well, we did take you with you. Okay, so, bam. Uh, if you guys remember, like, a bunch of episodes ago, we went to the Hydra Marshes to get, like, a little flower. Well, that was to wake that thing up. Now, real quickly, we're also gonna visit Luca's, Lu Lucia's lab. Okay, so we're here in Lucia's lab. Let's talk to her. What is that you want? Would you like to join us? Sigh, without Pip, I really do not have any research here. I guess the time is right. I'm sure I could find some interesting research material if I tag along with you. I will join you. Ho ho ho. Bam. There's another party member. Look at that. So let's go ahead and confirm her. Now she is pretty cool. Uh, once again, I don't think I'm going to add her to my party. Okay, where is she? I want to see her stats. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything super special about her, but hey. Please call me anytime. I'll be waiting. Uh, but, bam, there is another member, just so we could say that we have her. Uh, but yeah, now, time to put Karsh on our team, and head over to the Isle of the Dam. Also, guys, you know what, real quick, we might as well check this out. Let's see if the whole Zappa thing, if we're even able to do that now. Um, a couple episodes ago, I tried this, and it just wouldn't work for me. I have no idea why. So, you know what? Might as well give it another try, I guess. Obviously, if it doesn't work, I'm probably just going to cut it out of the video. And I'm pretty sure uh, Zappa is already holding the Master Hammer, which we got, like, from Marble a couple things ago. So, let's see. So, yes, I think we're finally able to do it. You be me. I need your help. I want, I want to hammer this thing to make the, you know what... That thing you have, it's the rainbow. So ye know this ye be talking about is a rainbow axe that I knew I could count on myself. So shall we start hammering? It may be a wee bit hard by myself, but two of us working together should be a breeze. Sounds interesting. Good timing too, and just another finish. We'll see what we can do. Bam. So this couldn't be done earlier for some apparent reason. I might have needed to get past uh, either fate or the island. I'm not sure, but either way... Now we're able to get the rainbow axe done. So this is the rainbow axe. Hmm. Probably radiating such beautiful colors because of its promistic nature. The response from the hammer is as satisfying as its finish. It be truly an amazing material. We should be able we should be able to do this on our own next time. That sure was a brilliant job. I hope she can work with you again. Zappa learned how to forge the rainbow material. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to forge that um like rainbow material which in i think is the strongest material in the game to my knowledge and i don't really know what materials we need so i don't know if we can make them yet but we'll check all right guys so real quickly let's check out the smith spirit see what we can build so forge weapons now we got the prism stuff Oh, to get the prism stuff, we need a bunch of shiny stuff, man. Yeah, like the spectral swallow, we need shiny dew, shiny sand, shiny leaf. And rainbow shells? Dang. I mean, maybe, can we disassemble stuff? Uh, accessories, right? This stuff gives us a lot of shiny stuff, but I don't think what we need. So yeah, we, we won't be able to make it yet. Hey guys, I've put Karsh in the party. I've equipped him everything that he needs and his elements all I did basically was put heal all on him because he's gonna be mostly attacking anyway and the salt and pepper fight shouldn't be hard now when we do the second fight with Dario that's gonna be in my opinion the hardest fight in the entire game so that one with riddle because we'll have to bring riddle we will prepare for but for this fight Karsh with good equips and just some heals it'll be fine and this will be the last thing we'll do in this episode, guys. But, yeah, next time, we'll try to defeat Dario? I mean, if I 100% just can't do it, I guess we're not gonna get Kid. Uh, but it's gonna take a heck of a fight for me to let go of Kid. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 no. Now, let's see. Okay, I found it. Haha. -ha. 
I, at least I think so. Oh, come on, please, analog, help me out here. So I think this is the right place. This should be. Um, let's, let's just go up here. Where would they be at? I'm guessing the same place that we fought Garia? I mean, that would make sense. Yes, there they are. All right, let's quickly beat the crap out of them. Sir Karsh, you actually shook it here. Do you, do you knowingly know why we are here? Heck no, what am I supposed to? Don't shake ignorance. We came to investigate what happened here. Sir, Karsh, we have stood by your side, unable to shake loose this one suspicion that we had. Suspicion. We believe you have killed... You may have killed Sir Dario. And by shaking it here, our suspicions have turned to conviction. Sir, Karsh, we are executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. Dario. Bro, all these kids are about to execute Karsh. Even He might have done it, but come on, bro. You really think you could take down Karsh? How was your training going, everyone? Miss Riddle. Brought something special for everyone today. Oh, really? What is it? What is it? Viper churros? It's little Glenn in the background. Wrong answer, Glenn. Next. Are they really that good? Hmm, I can chomp down 10 of those easily. Haha, you're always like that. Those churros were originally iron rations for knights. Overeating is not good discipline. So, Miss Riddle, what have you brought us? Please don't make us hold our breath too long. This is it. I found it in Fossil Valley. Isn't it pretty? Ah, shoot. It's just a flower. Miss Riddle, did you go to the valley all by yourself? But I'm not allowed to? It's just a valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. Eh, not really. I have enough for everyone. I will give some to you boys. Glenn doesn't want any, right? Since you're done, gone through the trouble of getting it, I'll take one too. If I plant it seeds, I might get some good fruit from it. Oh, how silly of you. So, yeah. Um, basically, what happened with like the whole... Garia radius thing is basically happening with um, Karsh and D Dario. Here you go, Glenn, but I don't think it will grow any fruit, though. Oop, did I unplug my controller? Dude, I think I just unplugged my controller. Hello? Okay, you don't know until you try. Oh, dude, why? She looks different. Karsh might not like things like flowers, but... No, it's not that. You brought me one, too. This is beautiful. What kind of flower could this be? It is a bell flower. Miss Riddle, if you ever wish for this flower, I will go for you instead. If anything should happen to you, then let us go together. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, very well. Karsh is getting jealous. Ya boy, Karsh is jealous, man. Karsh, are you listening? Uh, oh, sorry. What is it? What's with the formality? Um, how should I actually? I why are you acting so strange? I'll tell you the truth. Karsh, we are pledged to marry. I have already told Daddy about it. That's what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Karsh? Mary, so that's it. Well, congratulations. So when it's gonna be and where? We haven't decided on the date yet, but we still need to finish surveying the island of the damned. Why would you want to go there? It's just that. Just what? I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams together. You never changed, Ariel. Then I'll have to fill this, fill this dull vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help you in any way. Thank you, Karsh. But your boy, Karsh, is secretly heartbroken. Bam, throw that flower away. Feels bad, Karsh. You got friend zoned. Oh. This is. This must be it. Karsh, why are you in such a hurry? The enemy is not going anywhere, and the footing here is bad. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? The Mass Immune may be in here. Any Dragoon would be hyped to see that thing, you know. The Mass Immune once again strikes. Shaker Brothers, you stay here. Salt, pepper, sir, sir. Let's get going. Fine. 
So, you saw what the Masamune made Radius do to Garia? Now, with Karsh's jealousy, what do you think the Masamune is going to make him do? Is that the Masamune? Oh, he, he just got hit. Boom. Wait a minute. Maybe the Masamune's not even there. Maybe he just straight up hit him. Was I really just... Was I really just possessed by that devilish sword driven by such intense hatred and envy maybe deep inside me i was filled with hatred dario the one whom i could never beat no matter how much i tried the one who stole riddle's heart from me what if that sword does not oh so okay the sword was there now i'm better into the but instead draws out the ink and ignites the flame of hatred hidden within the heart of men and if that hatred was something deeper within the wilder then what have i okay so yeah karsh obviously killed there or hit Dario and Glenn is just in the background you know Dario's little brother you know just chilling so you do know something about it take it easy why the hell do I have to fight you guys N no time for questions bro <sighs> salt and pepper man like you think it's a really good idea trying to execute like okay obviously Karsh is in the wrong I mean he murdered somebody but come on man why you gotta be going about this Oh, come on, why you gotta miss search? I mean, this is this should be an easy fight. Man, ooh, he hits hard. Jeez. I'm pretty sure Karsh is the opposite color, though. So, And these guys do not hit hard at all. This is actually just a little bit sad. I'm gonna try to get this fight, like, over as quick as possible, because I'm pretty sure we're already, like, over time on the episode. Yeah, Salt's already, like, weak. Bam, there he goes. So go, let's go back to old Thick Boy over here. Get some good hits on Thick Boy. Hi, Rez. And I'm pretty sure we were supposed to do this fight like a long time ago. So that's also why we're defeating it like so stupidly quickly. Bam. My car should be able to finish him off. If he doesn't miss. Actually, you know what? Ah. I hate having to wait through this. Thunderstorm. This should hurt actually quite a bit. Not too much though, since his level is probably really low. Okay, so that, that hurt quite a bit. Let's just go to Surge. Let's finish this boy off. There we go. Easy fight. No problemo. Oh, I meant to heal by accident. Oh, well. I don't think there's a second fight, so we'll be fine. At least not a second fight right now. Karsh learned Axiomatic, so that's cool. Listen to me. I did not kill Gary. I know the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand, Sir Karsh. I have come to the understanding after that battle we just had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your own best friend. Please forgive me. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under our wing, even though we were Dragoon Outcasts. You were very special. You are very special to us. We believe in your Sir Karsh. We must be on our way, but we hope to see you again sometime somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you will be readily, readily to tell us what really happened. And we're sorry we took this from you. We're shaking it back to you. So there is that little pendant. Thanks. One day I'll promise to tell you guys the truth. Take care. So Karsh did not kill Dario. Uh, stay assured, he did not. Because obviously we're gonna go see Dar. Wait, maybe he did. I don't know. Either way, we got that pendant back, and with that pendant and Riddle in our party, we'll be able to go to the little, uh, this little island, and we'll be able to go do something and get something and then revive Kid. So that's gonna be really cool. But for today's episode guys we're a little long on time uh so guys this is going to be the end of today's episode uh by next episode i'll make sure to get uh, riddle kitted out already so we'll just jump right into the battle and it's gonna suck a little bit because i did not steal the black plate from the dragon which that's gonna make this fight a little bit harder but guys either way i'm sure next episode will be great so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel and i will see you guys later God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Last time, we defeated Fate, and we started the side quest with Karsh and Riddle and Dario to get back Kid, which right now is at Hermit's Hideaway, kind of passed out. So to wake her up, we need to get um, something from, I think the Masamune or something. Uh, so 
we needed to get that pendant which we got of course from salt and pepper and we need riddle in our party so i put riddle in my party i went ahead and equipped her elements and her equipment so let's be sure to save one quick thing that i'm going to tell you guys about this fight in my personal opinion this is the hardest fight in the entire game overall so this is going to be attempt number one i don't know how many attempts this will take it most average players it'll take at least a couple uh for me i'm i consider myself a good player at this game because i've played it so many times uh but i don't have the black plate so i didn't steal it from the dragon so that kind of sucks a little bit the other world okay there you go he's still alive look at that so he didn't die yes this cannot be. Are you Dario? But of course you are. This is another... <gasps> maybe he did kill him. And... You are alive and well in this world, so maybe he is dead in the other world. Are you saying you know who I am? What did you say? No, this cannot be. Do you know this man? I thought we just walk into strangers' homes. It has been four years since this man washed his sword clinging on for dear life. Every day was a battle between life and death, but miraculously he made it. However, this man has no recollection of his past whatsoever. Yes, dear, do you not remember me? I may be the Riddle from another world, but every day I have always, and yet you do not remember who I am. Riddle, a name moves my heart, and I have a feeling I have lost someone very dear to me. Forgive me, I just cannot remember. If only there was something to reawaken your memory. Yes, and I'll take a look at this. This penda is a memento from your mother, and a gift you gave me when we got engaged. This is... Try to remember, we have been together since we were little, and we continue to be. I will always be there for you, Dario. Riddle. Run. Bro, what do you mean, run? Oh. Arg. Bro, he's got the mass immune with him, right? Riddle, riddle. That's right, riddle. This is bad. Uh, woo. You better stand back, lady. No, don't. Yo. Yeah, I was gonna say, yo, lady. Don't, don't, don't touch that guy, man. Karsh. What the? Bam. Sword on the ground. Amasa immune. <laughs> Dario. David. That's my name. No, Dario. Do not touch that sword. And he picked up the sword. Mm, riddle. Mine thirsts for something. I knew it. Amasa immune never actually disappeared from Death Gate. It just returned to its owner. Wait a minute. Then that means Dario still... What really happened? I thought Dario died fighting demons on the Isle of the Damned. Actually, now we get to find out what actually happened. Let's take a look. Is that the Mass Immune? Oh, I get it. So maybe he picked it up, went insane, and Karsh had to hit him. Is that a thing? Dario, what do you think you're doing? Oh, die. Oh, dude, bro, that's like your grandpa. Death to all living creatures. Bro, he's about to kill his own like, grandson. Don't tell me it's that sword, Dario. Let it go. Oh, Oh, and they're fighting. So that's what happened. Stop, Dario. It's me, Karsh. Dang. Karsh could literally be dead at this moment. Kill me, Karsh. Hurry. No. Do it, Karsh, or else I'll know Dario can't. Please step out of it, Dario. Hee hee hee, you idiot. I gave you a chance. You cannot beat me. You are but a mere mortal. Who the? First, I will dispose of you and then riddle. Oh, that's gonna make Karsh mad. I shall let the Mass Immune sate, sate itself on Riddle's blood. He 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 ha ha ha. Dang, yeah, that's not what you say to Karsh. Yeah, the second you mention hurting Riddle, Karsh is probably gonna hurt somebody. Dario, what have I done? So that's why Dario went insane touching the sword and Karsh had to kill him. Pathetic fool. You are. Dario was killed by demons, understand, Karsh? But are you going to tell everyone about what you just did? Are you willing to tell Are you willing to tell Riddle that you murdered Dario because he was possessed by the evil sword? Do not worry. Do as I say, and everything will be just fine. Dario. And Lynx picked up the sword. I mean, Lynx is already evil, so I guess it doesn't really affect him, right? And now I understand. Dario was possessed by the enmity of the Mass Immune too. Prepare yourselves. I guess there's no way out of this. I cannot face Dario in battle. 
To abolish the darkness, we must defeat the monster mutant. It is the only way to save Daria. Let's fight! Except this is gonna be a really hard battle. Face the enmit enmity of my. Oh my. I can't read, man. This is a hard battle, guys. I'm telling you right now. I said this, I think, earlier in the episode. This is the hardest battle in the game, in my opinion. But we have to get it done. So what is it? Okay, so he is black. I don't know how much HP it has. I didn't do much research, but... Ooh, that hurts. A lot. That hurts quite a lot. And Riddle does, like, no damage, but we need her spells to be up. Orla should do a bit of damage. Dash and gash. It's not dash and slash. It's dash and... Did that kill her? She's already dead? Jeez, man. I don't know if we'll be able to defeat this guy. But we're definitely gonna have to revive, though. Man, that hurts. I honestly have no idea how we're gonna beat this guy. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Uh, let's go back. Let's use heal all. Because Orla needs to be healed, and so does Surge, so... Riddle should be a pretty good healer. So that's a plus. Hmm. Man, he hits... So stupidly strong. And we're definitely gonna have to... You know what? Hmm. Maybe we'll leave her alone for a minute. Don't miss. I really need no- ah, I really need nobody to miss right now. It's literally the worst thing that can happen. Is missing. Okay. Sonic Sword, just don't hit Orla. Okay, hit Riddle. Okay, good. As long as it doesn't hit Orla, that's literally all that I need to happen. All that needs to happen. So, I don't want to use a full heal, so let's just use one of the heals over here. Once again, as long- Okay, well, he can't Orla now. But, yeah. Or, oh, I missed. Don't miss again. Okay, the second one hit. And, and I need to get, I need to get Riddle's, oh no, he's gonna attack right away. Man, and he hurts Surge really badly. I need to get Riddle's, you know what, I guess we'll just use an element right now. Uh, Cure Plus, right? Let's just go ahead and use that on Surge. Once again, Surge out of everybody is the most vulnerable since he is white. And he's also the strongest in my party, so I'm gonna have to take, like, very, very good care of him. Make sure he doesn't get himself killed. At least he doesn't have a revive anymore, so even if he dies, um, the revive is on Orla. But at the same time, Orla is fairly weak too. She could also get killed. Dash and gash, just don't hit. How much health? Oh, she survived. She did survive this time. And I guess we'll just heal all. At this point, I just need her to be healed. She might need a bit more healing, though. Let's hit... Uh, you know what? Let's maybe just... Uh, let's maybe just use a... Oh, a Cure Plus on Orla. Yeah, make sure she doesn't die. That sucks, because I need a Surge to attack. And we're putting him in kind of debt. But you know what? It's fine. Once again, I need Riddle to hit her shot so I could get a spell ready. Now let's go ahead and just defend with her. Defend. And defend. Okay, and he's gonna go attack. It's good. Orla's defending, so that's good. Let's go ahead and go with Surge. Please don't miss. Good hits. Good hits. Good. Okay, and let's go with Orla. Oh, I was trying to hit Sonic Sword. This shouldn't hit hard. 76. Good, good. So I didn't hit too hard. She could probably just heal herself. Yeah, she, uh, I don't know if this is going to take her to full. Okay, it did take her to full. Good stuff. Please. Okay, good. He didn't miss yet. Let's just do a couple little love taps. Oh, he's going to hit Surge. This is going to hurt. Oh, oh, he missed. Okay, good. Um, let's go back to Surge, I guess. Try to pull off one. Okay, and we could... Hmm. I'm debating. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I really probably should be saving heal for Surge. 
But this move should do quite a bit of damage, and I kind of want to just do it already. So let's go ahead and pull it out. 500, yeah, that does a... Con oh, don't kill Surge. Oh, of course it's on Surge. That's gonna, that's gonna kill him. Yeah, he that went above his health. Okay, so let's get Revive out. Yeah, let's get Revive. Hopefully he doesn't get hit like that again. Man, this battle's gonna suck. And with Riddle... Uh, let's go ahead and... What do these abilities do? Use... So, that's heal the party. What is this? Use the power. Cobra for protection. Do I have... Man, I don't have a single heal anymore. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna use a heal all. At this point, I have to heal, so... I'm just gonna use a heal all, and that should take Surge quite out. I mean, if he gets hit by something like that again, he's gonna die no matter what. Ugh. Don't hit Surge. Surge is dead if he gets hit. Okay. Oh, Riddle's dead. That's not good. I don't know how we're gonna defeat this guy, honestly. I don't think he's even low. Oh, he's low. We're gonna have to, like, kill him quick. That's basically the strat. We gotta kill him quickly. Um, go to Orla. Let's try to do as much damage as we can before he does something crazy. You know what? Let's just... We gotta go all in at this point. Missing would be... Missing would be devastating. Oh, no. He's gonna hit Surge. Surge is dead. No! He's not dead. That's so good. I I really need... Right now, missing is... If we miss, it's over. Good. Good hits. Free fall. Don't hit... Okay, it's Orla. Honestly, I don't care. I just need... I need Surge to maybe not get hit. That killed her. Ugh, she was full health. Is that it? We beat him. Oh, that's such a relief. I honestly don't even care that Orla didn't get it. Imagine if he would have killed us with less than 35 HP. I would have flipped. That's also kind of annoying, though, that he was... Like, seriously, Orla couldn't have killed him. Man, that, that, was, that was quite a fight. Hmm, it appears the mouse immune found a new master. What, Surge? Do not panic. Look around you. Birds. The birds that fled are coming back. I no longer sense the slightest bit of malice from the Masamune. There is no there is no more fear of succumbing to the enmity. Mune. Ha. You awake, Masa. Masa. But looking, I think we've done something terrible. Mune. Ha. No one will know if, if we don't tell. <sighs> hey, what are you two up to? Yikes. It's Dorian. Nothing. We don't remember a thing. Dorian, I see. Well, just make sure you're not up to any mischief. I'm coming along. All right. How many centuries has it been since the three of us got together? Okay, then. Let's go. Hey, so the Masamune seems like it's chill now. Cool. Surge's Sea Swallow transformed into the Master Mune. Look at that. Where, where am I? I also heard that the Master Mune is actually the best weapon for a Surge in the game because of its high critical stats, so it's pretty good. Riddle, is that you, Riddle? What happened to me? Dario, thank goodness your memory has returned. Memory, oh yes, I had taken a hold of the Master Mune when, forgive me, Karsh, for what I have done to put you through. Oh, forget about it. Although your memory has returned, let us not forget the harsh reality which lies in wait. Come. So, you will be leaving. I have been prepared for, for this day. Hmm. Farewell, I wish you all the best. Okay, so she seems to take a pretty chill, so that's good. Every, everyone is hurt and separated, inexperienced and incomplete. However, by living as such, we may change for the better into something bigger. Something more gentle. Oh, now we're back. My goodness, what has happened during my absence? Where have the general and the others gone? They're dead, my dude. Riddle, you said that you all came from another world. Then where are Karsh, you, and the others in this world? Unfortunately, no one from Viper Manor who went to the Dead Sea will return. 
Why did the general and the others go to such a dangerous place? In search of the frozen flame. They were swallowed up by a terminated timeline and have perished along with the Dead Sea. So how ironic that it is I who have survived. Eh, a little bit. But Dario, you still have me. Riddle. We may be from different worlds, but you... We may be from different worlds, but you are not I, and I am I. Yo, that's right. I'm live and kicking too. There ain't no one who can take my life. Zoa and Marcy are here too. We can also call the old dragoon stable keeper. Thank you, everyone. Does he join the party? Yes, you're right. I am alive and I will do whatever I must do. I do not know how many years it will take, but I will re... No, he doesn't join. Okay. I will rebuild Viper Manor. It is my duty. My might. Perhaps it's about time I came out of retirement. Time for a one last hurrah. Ho ho. Oh yeah, bring it on. Even though we may be from different four worlds, the four divas are back in business. But maybe minus one. I don't think you're fit for battle yet. Forgive me. Four years of isolation have, have taken their toll. Are you alright? Riddle. I want you to take this. Snake Fangs. That is another move. Please rest up and just concentrate on rebuilding Viper Manor. Thank you. I shall do so. Of course. I will help you too. Plus, I have an idea. Does this mean Riddle leaves the party? That wouldn't be cool. So is that it? So I guess that's it. Um, I'm pretty sure we have, let's see, what does he say? Hmm, well I did say I would open the doors to all the children who lost their parents during the past struggle. However, this remodeling job is a little too. We have to bear in mind that children will be living here. We, we why not officially make this place an orphanage? Okay, so this place is an orphanage now. Let's check it out. I just accidentally... Okay, please let me get out of that voice line. So, I guess... Actually, this might be hard to believe, but I've never actually... Or, is this it? Can we not go back in Viper... Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know why it wouldn't let me back in Viper Manor. Okay, so... I'm guessing we can't go in. No entry. Okay, so the interior is still... Under construction. Is there something over here? Okay, so basically the thing is just being built. I don't think there's anything to actually do. Obviously, these are little orphanages. Orphans. Can we go down here? So this explains the noise that was coming from above. We can still go down there. That's interesting. It's a track and stables ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the island, and we'll be able to get Kid back, I think, now. Alright, so, um, I took everything off Riddle because, like I said, I think we'll be able to get Kid back after this last mission. By the way, real quickly, I know this is, like, in the middle of the episode, but I'm gonna turn on my lights here because I want to see a bit better. Okay, so let's head over to the island. We're in the wrong world, though. I think we have to... Yeah, we have to go to the other world quickly. All right, we are in the right world. Let's go ahead and head to Hermit's Hideaway. And uh, let's see. I know with this, though, we are going to have to do like a little mission. So we're not going to just like wake her up and uh, she'll be with us. We're going to have to do a little side quest, but it's really cool, in my opinion. So hopefully you guys should be able to enjoy it. We're gonna get a little bit of a uh, little bit of backstory, which is gonna be nice. Huh? It's the princess, Mewn. Let me see. Whoa! I think you're right. I wonder what happened. Did you think we should help her, Mewn? Or yeah, not. Nah, it's not our job. Yeah, I guess so. It's probably out of our league anyway. Yep. Hey, aren't we heartless? Ah, sis, but the princess is bound by the past, and even we can't bring her back here. Look closely, see that? Hey, it's the the time egg. Yes, although it's not in, in its complete form, did that girl with the glasses make it? Probably, even though it's in its incomplete form. If we can focus our powers into it, then maybe it'll work. Yeah, okay, new masters. <laughs> Who's talking? Yep, it's you. Uh, we're going to lend you our powers for a little bit. He's talking to Serge. We're sending you back to the past where the princess is bound. We only have one chance. Take care of the princess. Master. Alright. We're going back in time, boys. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure only Surge gets taken, right? 
Oh no. Oh, all three of us do get taken. Okay. Okay, so this is the orf Luca's orphanages. Um, Miss Kid and Mistress Luca are stuck in the back room. I'm sorry that I lack the power to help you. Fizz. Looks like we're gonna have to beat this lava boy. Alright, so I did make a little mistake. Riddle does not have her items. Uh, but it should be fine. Riddle will be fine. We should be able to beat the crap out of anything here. With Surge, right? Hopefully. Man, these lava boys are a little bit tougher than the other ones. Let's just try and kill this one so he doesn't attack. Yeah, these ones are definitely tougher than the ones at Mount Pyre. I'm not going to bother with the riddle. No, nope, don't bother. just want to kill these things with some raw damage. I was like, does this thing, is this thing going to attack Lava Rush? Oh, okay. And this shouldn't hurt too badly. Man. One. It did a single one damage. Oh, come on. Don't miss. That's so tilting. I just want the thing dead. Ah, there we go. I want to get these battles over quickly. And it is kind of annoying that I took off all of Riddle's stuff in preparation, but I forgot that we still do need to do a couple battles. Let's try the middle room. Let's see what's up in here. Um, well, there's a lava boy blocking the door. Stardust cape. I wonder what that does. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight another one. All right, there is another lava boy down. Uh, let's check the two rooms upstairs and downstairs, left and right. Um, is there, this floor looks like it can be removed. Yes, let's remove that. Let's jump in and see what is over here. Um, what is over here? Oh, we got to the other part of the room. Well, let's just check this room, whatever. Might as well, let's just get it over with. Okay, a beautiful view of of space. So this must be Luca's science room. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. Let's check this room though real quick. Oh, this is the upstairs. Some diva dress. And I can't get over here. Alright. Let's go back. Uh, I think we could save that kid, right? Is it the other room? I guess let's take a look. If we go back up. If we... Okay. Oh, we just ran past it. Okay. I think we can save the kid. Alright. There goes... That lava boy. Let's see. Let's talk to the kid. What's up? Whoa, mister. You sure are strong. When I grow up, I want to be just like... Oh, yeah. Here, mister. Take this. Nostrum. And there are other kids hiding. And there are other kids hiding in this room. Also, I saw another one of us in the bedroom. Wait. Where? Oh, I was like... What do you mean in this bedroom? Where is this bedroom? Uh, real quick. Let's go ahead and... Uh, get rid of the burn, though. Okay, so we saved that kid. Apparently, I don't know how just leaving him in the fire is saving him. No, I didn't mean to hit him. Okay, guys, so there's a couple things that we missed. So let's go back. Um, if we go back here, there should be a kid hiding. Um, is it in this room? Where is the ice? We're supposed to get an ice gun. Just got to figure out, is it? Oh, in case of fire, use this ice gun. Okay, yeah, okay, let's take the ice gun. Cool. Sorry, but this is all the power that I have. Oh, God. Okay, there was, like, a ghost kid. Creepy. Oh, there's the kid. Thanks a lot, mister. I didn't make it out in time. Uh, there's still in other rooms. You gotta... Okay, yes, it's going to be okay. Gee, thanks. Take this. Rainbow shell. Cool. Okay. So, we did get the rainbow shell, so that's good okay so 
Yes, under the bed, there is another kid. I knew it. Thank you. Or uh, here, take this. So we got another rainbow shell. Cool. Um, yeah. So we got three kids. I think that's all of them. I do think that is all of them. So we basically just have to defeat each lava boy. Uh, okay. And I don't want to defeat this one again. I already defeated this one like a thousand times. So now we only have one. You know what? Two characters have already disappeared. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna run away. Try to use the ice gun. I don't feel like taking three of these things on with only surge. It's gonna take forever. So come on, let us okay. Let's see. Can I use the ice gun? Bam. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, well please let me just get through. Bam. Okay, and there's um I think that's kid on the floor. And maybe that's why Kid wants to kill Link so badly. And it poofed off. But that's definitely Kid. It's burning. Our home is burning. Luca, all my friends, they're, they're... Why? Why did this happen? You. Are you going to go away? Are you going to leave me? I'm going to be left all on my own again, aren't I? Everybody I've ever loved has gone far, far away. I won't leave you. Yeah. Really? Do you mean that? Ugh. Your cheek, it's wet. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Will I will ever see you again? Oh. Oh. So when she was little... Did she see me? What? Where did you go? No, come back. Don't leave me. Ugh. Man... Making me sad. No, no, no. This is making me sad. Come on, Links. Why do you have to do that, man? But I think I think we got Kid back. Serge, how have you been? I'm right here. Hey, kids are in the party. Let's get it. Thank, thank goodness. This must be the power of Serge's love. Ah, yes, kid. Lucia is waiting for you in her lab in Viper Manor. She wanted to give you something. Anyway, there's no rush. I suggest you rest here for a day. So, Lucia is waiting for us? Oh, we'll definitely check it out. But yeah, what, my wound? Link stabbed me? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, she's still back at, all the way at uh, Viper Manor, or uh, uh, Mount Pyre. Oh wait a minute, not again, I lose my, but whatever. I'm in dangerous situations where I might get, I just seem to disappear and vanish. And when I come to, I wake up somewhere safe without a single scratch. But that thing is, I can't remember what happened. I don't get it. Anyway, it's happened to me plenty of times in the past, so it's nothing to worry about. Come on, mate, let's go. Yeah. Apparently I saved her in the wild. I don't know, this place is confusing, man. All right, coolio. So, the is that it? Do we have kid back? Okay, so let's let's check. Do we have kid back? And if we do, I'm putting her right in. Yes, we do have kid. Cool. Okay, well I'm putting her in. 
Uh, real quickly, I'm gonna do her elements and her equipment. All right, everybody. So we are here at Viper Manor. We're gonna go talk to Lucia real quick uh, because that's what uh, whatever the person's name told us to. So yep, let's do it. I've been waiting, kid. There's something I want to give you. Hmm, me, I was told to give it to you when the time was right. It's for you from Luca. You knew Luca. Oh, it's Lucia knew Luca. Here. What is it? My dear kid, how are you doing? I wonder how old you are as you read this letter. Perhaps you have matured into a beautiful woman, raising a happy family. Ugh, I don't think so. I was hoping to talk to you in person when you were old enough, but just in case something happens, I'm writing my feelings down on paper and leaving it with Lucia. Perhaps you already know, or perhaps you yourself are... You are also now caught up in some historic crisis as a result of all this, but anyway... Long time ago, we, my friends and I, that is, changed the future in order to save our planet from being devoured by Lavos, monster from some unknown planet. We still feel proud of our role we played in saving our world and how we are so freely able to change the flow of time. But sometimes I think that the darker side of what we did, what has become of the future that was once supposed to have existed, where did the time that now is no longer allowed to exist to go? It is true that thanks to our altering the flow of history, we are able to save so many lives and prevent so much sadness and suffering. But when you think of it, we also caused the deaths of many that were meant to have come into existence in the timeline we destroyed, and also caused new sadness and suffering further along in the new future we created. That is why I worried that someone might seek revenge on us for what we did. I have had a constant dread in my heart that someone in our new future will travel back in time just like we did and try and kill or capture my friends and me. So even if something dreadful does fall, fall on me, kid, know that what was meant to happen will happen, and that I was always prepared for the worst. But don't you dare think that great Lucia is going down- Luca is going down without a fight. Rebel eyes waiting for us around the next corner. Better watch out, because it's going to find a pretty mean counter. Kid, when I think of you, I remember someone I met once a long time ago in the distant past. But she was the complete opposite of you in this timeline, so quiet and gentle. Talking about uh, Scala, uh, or Shala. Someday I'll also tell you about her when you are ready to know of your real name and heritage. I'm not, the, I'm not the slightest bit worried about you, kid. I know that no matter what happens, there will always be there looking for you. Or per perhaps he has already found you and is there by your side as you read this. If so, hello, Janice. Please take good care of my little sister for me. There is so much more I want to tell you, but I must leave it for another time. Don't worry, everything is okay. We will overcome whatever rules. May occur, that's for certain. So basically, uh, later when you're all grown up, I'll come visit you and we'll talk over to you. I look forward to that. So what was she was talking about? Well, anyway, kid, until we meet again. She was talking about s that she's met someone like her forever and ever your friend, no matter what timeline it is. You're sincerely, Luca Ash here. So it's a very long story, and I don't want to... P.S. Cut the tomboy act. Believe me, you'll become a beautiful thing when you one day, or my name isn't Luca the the Great. Uh, so I don't want to do it, like big spoilers but basically Lavos sorry but I like to be alone for a while becomes the dream devourer which we're gonna fight later basically that is Lavos combined with Shala and Kid is uh, basically a clone of Shala I can't believe you sis you're the one who always laughed about how there's nothing definite or certain in this world sis received rainbow shell hey there's another rainbow shell cool so that is more material making material I like it Alright guys, so that is basically it. Now, once again, I'm going to recommend you guys, if you want to know more about like the timeline, because it's a very confusing game and story, go look it up. And again, I don't want to like be a spoiler, but basically, if you guys know what's going on, Kid is a clone of Shala. Shala was a person that uh, Luca met in her travels with Chrono in, obviously, the game Chrono Trigger, which was the, the prequel, not prequel, whatever, the game before this. Uh, but I'm not going to go deep into it. Like I said, you guys should research it yourself. It's very interesting. I highly recommend it, although confusing. But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as support the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today, we're going to be kind of prepping for entering the Terra Tower. So to do that, we need to get a couple of things and just do a couple of things. So let's get... One of the more obvious ones out of the way. Let's go ahead and grab the Chrono Cross. Uh, so this is an item needed to get a good ending at the end of the game. 
And obviously, the game is named Chrono Cross. I think it is in this world. Now, I read somewhere that you need Stina with you, which I don't think so. But if we do, that's fine. If we truly do, I will go and get Stina in our party. So yeah, let's... These two pedestals. By the way, we could have came here earlier in the game, but obviously there's no reason to, so I just didn't bother. If this is an altar of the Divine Dragon Worshippers, then maybe Stina knows something. Ah, we need Stina. I'm pretty sure we have both the tears, the dragon tears that hate and love, right? So we should be able to make the Chrono Cross. By the great dragon gods, the Sacrium of the Divine Dragon Fall still exists and seems functional. Let's just... As the legends of old said it would be, what a blessing. Utilizing its power, we just may be able to create the Chrono Cross here. Try placing the two pieces of the Dragon Tear, the Tear of Hate and the Tear of Love on these stands. Let's go over here and... Tear of Hate. And... There's a little animation with it. And the Tear of Bad Analog Sticks. Oh. Um, I guess I wasn't close enough. And that should make the Chrono Cross. And these things are just going to fly around forever. Search received the Chrono Cross. Look at that. Is that it? Do we, do we just have it now? Oh, we have the Chrono Cross in our thingy. By the way, let's go to equip. So does he have... Okay, so we didn't equip the Master Mune yet. So let's go ahead and obviously... Bam. Uh, it's the best swallow of the game other than the Spectre Swallow. Uh, but the Master Mune, most people consider better still just because of its critical. And then elements. I'm pretty sure... Chrono Cross is an element. Uh, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, replace Fireball with... Oh, oh, oopsies. Replace Fireball with, if my controller would work right, the Chrono Cross. So you guys might be saying, well, it's on the wrong level. It actually doesn't really matter what level it's on. Uh, if we want to beat the game with it, we just need to cast it. It doesn't really matter what level it's on. So that's all good in the hood. So, next, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some actual prep for the Terra Tower. So, if you guys were here an episode or two ago, Fargo did say, well, how are we going to get inside the Terra Tower? It's not like our boat can fly. So, what we're going to have to do is make our boat fly. And to do that, we're going to need to get, uh, like, a gravitational device. That's kind of like a little bit of a spoiler. So what we're going to be doing is traveling to the other world. We're going to be going down into the El Nido Triangle, gathering uh, this uh, star piece thingamajigger, then going to the Sky Dragon Isle, fighting something, and then bringing him with us down back into the other world, and that should get us the item that we need to get up into the Terra Tower. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the El Nido Triangle. Now, my memory is a bit rusty and I actually forgot where this was. But I'm pretty sure I know. I'm pretty sure I know, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it is down here. Never mind, I do know where it is. This is the El Nido Triangle. Kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, if y'all know what I'm saying. A lot of weird stuff going on here. Oh, I can't go fast, okay. Uh, go in. Yes, let us go in. And once again, I could have done this way earlier in the game, uh, but I just didn't bother. And a lot of these fish I could fight. I think I'm so over-leveled for these fish, there's actually no reason for me to fight them. So I'm just gonna run past them. Mithril. See, this place still has Mithril. I'm like two steps above Mithril already. So I definitely don't need this stuff. We're just gonna try to go straight for, uh, what we need straight for what we oh I was like is he not climbing down come on buddy climb down all right now we should oh dodge these fish 
we it maybe it's the other it looks like it is the other one maybe well either no okay so let's see what's in this chest oh no the fish is gonna fight us but we did get the star fragment and i think that's what we need all right everybody so let us head out of here and head to the sky dragon isle and we are oh almost hit that we are in home world so not the another world because obviously in the other world the sky island doesn't exist anymore uh it was basically blown up and now it is the terra tower but in this world the sky uh Sky Dragon Isle still exists. That's where we're going to be heading to to fight a little somebody. Also, I still have Stina in my party by accident, so I should probably switch her out quickly. And you know, I'm just going to do this on camera since Orla. I didn't bother to take all their items off because I know I need her just for like one little sequence. Where is Orla at? Oh, she's over here. I was like, did I lose her? Bam, there we go. And we should be good. So let's head over to the Sky Dragon Isle. Bam. So let's head up here and we're going to have a little battle. It's going to be great though. It's it's one of the cooler characters in Chrono Cross in my opinion. I personally don't like them that much. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but you guys will see in a minute here. And anyway, I was hoping like I might... I was kind of in my mind thinking that I might just not do this quest uh, but then once I read up on it and saw that it was necessary I'm like oh, okay well um I'm okay with that and that's a little what is that <laughs> there was a little thing running on the ground Let's see what's in the chest it's empty oh give me star fragment so that's what we needed to get we needed that star fragment um, without that star fragment he wouldn't have came so now that he's here, we get to fight him a little bit. And he should be pretty easy. He's not like a hard boss or anything. Let's go ahead and try to get a few hits on the guy. Okay, so he's fairly tough. So yeah, I don't know how much HP he has. I didn't really look up that part. But, once again, we'll just keep hitting him. And he'll die eventually. Because we do hit pretty hard at this point. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Does it do a lot? Aw, oh, it literally does nothing. Even on Surge, who's a... Wait, this guy white or dark? I forgot, I didn't look. Yeah, we're, just gonna... we're not gonna even bother with elements. We're just gonna keep hitting them. With normal basic attacks. But his attacks are cool. Kind of like little cute animations. Man, how much HP does this guy have? Here, okay, so he is a white innate. Well, yeah, so I guess we don't have anyone weak to that. We don't have Grobot nor Lynx anymore. Or Harl. So I don't really have anyone with that type. Actually, I'm gonna go to Surge. Surge hits harder. Whenever I can attack with him, I will, because he's the best, hardest, hardest hitter. There we go, he's low already. So this guy should be done in a second here. over to surge you know let's just go for that three. Ah, oh, you missed ah oh, you missed two in a row that's bummy oh well that'll just add like 10 seconds onto our battle that is fine you know what let me turn my headset down man the headset is loud or i had it up loud for some reason oh man you missed you know let's go to surge again I'll just attack with twos, I guess. There we go. Good hit. And then switch over to Orla. I think Orla hits a little bit better than Kit. But that should be it right there. So, no problemo. No problemo. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So, now we... Yeah, I think he joins our party, correct? So the real body of the monster was this small. Nah, a uh, mysterious creature. Uh, star fragment mine. Catch him with the X button. Okay. Oh, God, we gotta, like, chase him. <laughs> we literally gotta chase him down. What a... Starkey shocked. 
Starkey got caught. You win. Who are you? Starkey come from far away stars, but Starkey's ship fall from the sky. Star fragment is Starkey's ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really, whoopee, Starkey will come with you. Let's bring Starkey on in. Damn. Coolio. Okay, so let's take a look at his stats. Yeah, he's not terrible. His attack is a bit low. But, yep, there is Starkey. Now, we have to go, like a kid said, let's go ahead and go over to the other world. Now, this next boss... Uh, I'm just going to give it a little spoiler just because we have to prep for it. And in case you're playing, I want to get you to be prepped for it. So it's going to be like a jellyfish type creature. The trick with this boss, though, is that it only get hurt. It only, it only get hurts. It only gets hurt by red innate elements. So basically what I'm going to have to do is put on a bunch of red elements. So I'm going to switch worlds and put on some red elements. Okay, everybody, I went ahead, saved, switched um, some elements around, and I'm at the other world. So let's go check it out. Let's see what is going on. What do y'all want? I've discovered a mysterious object down below, but there's a nasty creature. Okay, well, we're going to be taking down that nasty creature, I guess, right? That is our only option. Okay, so let's once again try to juke these bad boys. Juke, juke. Oof, this one might be... Oh, we made it past... Woo! We made it past all of them. Look at that. We're geniuses. Great at this. Alright, let's go see this mysterious monster. Which, once again, it's gonna be like a jellyfish type creature. And it can... Oh, but there's the ship. Uh, I don't think I can... Oh, I can run past this. I just gotta make it. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and... uh beat it up let's go ahead and beat it up so of course it's gonna be a, a blue in it right it's a jellyfish it's gonna be blue so we can only hurt it with red in this case and you'll see even here I'm pretty sure my attacks yeah they don't do anything so basically let's try to get everybody like their ability up and then we're gonna be able to use our um, elements on it oh it hits fairly hard actually Ooh. Does hit fairly hard. Let's go ahead and use a two. And then let's go to surge. Let's use a magma burst on it. Let's see how much damage this does. Guys, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'll maybe even have enough elements to kill it. Hopefully I will. Hopefully I will. Let's go ahead and Uh would red pin hurt it? I mean it is a red element. Okay, so it's a red element, so it would hurt it. That's kind of cool. Go ahead and hit it a couple times, and why not? Let's just use Magma Burst. And if you guys are wondering what's going on with the like, little blue balls on the top of the screen, well, uh, that is for the Chrono Cross. So the way the Chrono Cross works, to use it, you need the elements in a certain order. So right now, we're not using the Chrono Cross, so basically it's just up there for nothing. It'll just make a bunch of weird noises. Uh, but just know, at the end of the game, when we're going to be using the Chrono Cross, that's how we're going to be able to do it, by getting a certain order of elements and then using the Chrono Cross. Let's go ahead and keep using some of these fire elements. Oh, okay, that one, that one did quite a bit of damage. No, 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 no. We might need a heal kid, maybe. Although, uh... So we'll, we'll revive her if we need to, I guess. Let's go ahead and use Inferno. I wonder if this thing has any big spells. If it does, it hasn't shown. Oh, okay, so it's getting weak. So yeah, we'll have way more than enough fire elements. That'll be great. I, I hit it a couple extra times for like no apparent reason right there. Okay, let's see, do we... Oh, we do have enough time. Um, Can we... Oh, I was like, can we use a Chrono Cross? I wonder what it does without it. Like, without us doing the thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and use Inferno on it. I should probably test it out, honestly, but... I'm scared that it'll, like, heal the opponent. <laughs> and then I just don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. But it is dead, so that's good. Bum -ba -dum -ba -da -bum -ba -da. Bum -bum -bum. 
All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves in case we get into another fight. But that is what we needed to do, I think. Now we can actually go on the ship. It won't open. Is a Starkey ship? We have to bring. Oh, bro, we gotta bring Starkey. Bro, I got... okay. Well, we defeated the jellyfish monster thingy. But let's go ahead and switch out Orla for Starkey. All right, now that we have Starkey with us, let's see what he does now. Wow, Starkey ship in this world is not broken. Starkey am happy. <laughs> Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative, Starkey ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground but still working. Psst. Yeah, it opened. Yeah, let's go in. Yeah, everything is in order. Navigation system's operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy. Can this take us to Terra Tower? The ship is only big enough to fly Starkey, then what do we do? Leave it to me. <laughs> Love the little noise when he wants. Dun, 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 dun. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that, hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does not What's this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Alright, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. Okay, so now we must head to Chronopolis. So, that's... Oh, it just automatically takes us there. Coolio. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. <laughs> Oh yeah. Or, oh yeah. I, I don't. I don't really know how I'm supposed to say that. This should do the trick. Oi! All you have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? We need to attach as a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it, but just hurry up, okay? Time to get to work. Phew. Starkey, am done. See, all you did was load it onto the boat. Negative. You just don't understand. So this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this. Did just surge. Why are we born? Why do we live? That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Alright, bam. Now, wait, does this take us directly to Terra Tower? Let's do this. I'm hoping this doesn't take us directly there. I guess we'll see, right? But this is a cool animation right here. That is the Terra Tower. Let's get into it. Now, hopefully... Man, does it take me just directly here? That's a little bit bummy. I wanted to get some other things done before this. But, oh well. Maybe maybe we'll be able to get out. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So, let's see. Will we be able to leave Terra Tower? Yes. Okay, so we can leave if we wanted to. Uh, we're obviously, I don't think we're going to finish it because of time. But we're definitely going to go in and get started and see what is up. And uh, surprisingly, I don't actually remember this place that much. So, 
Um, I'll probably remember it once we get inside, but at this moment in time, I'm kind of going in blind. Just like you guys. Okay, there's a blob. Do we have to fight you? The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Oh, sure. It is your will to choose destruction. Okay, so we do have to fight something. I have no idea what this thing is. But you know what? Whatever it is, we're gonna kick some butt. That's all I know. Okay, so it's not a yellow blob. It's an actual... Terrator. Terrator. Alright. Woo! He missed. Wave of fear. Nah, bruh. Miss me with that. Spirits up. Hit me with that. Okay, well... Let's just go over here. Try to get a few hits. Oh, she's so weak. Jeez. How hard is he at? Ah, he hits pretty hard. Wow. Well, kind of sucks that Surge missed his three. Man, he does some damage. Jeez. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. Is that going to kill her? That sucks. Right, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. He's going to heal himself. Oh, for only 80? Oh, okay, well, how many capsules are you gonna use here? Come on, buddy. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna hit up, uh... Hit up a revive real quick. You know what I'm saying? So, I kinda let her die prematurely. But, I'll try to not let that happen. Let's go back to Kid. Go ahead and use a heal all real quick. And Kid is okay at healing, I think. About 250, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and just defend. Defend. Wave of fear. Uh, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Spirit's up. So he's going to raise his own defense. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a few hits. Man, search hits hard. Jeez. Go ahead and hit with Orla. I think Orla hits a bit harder. Actually, I don't think so. Ah, oh, I didn't get to... Bam. Okay, so he hits Orla for a little bit less. But man, those hits are brutal. Um, come on. Ah, that sucks so much. I was really hoping to hit that. Okay, well, let's try to get a few hits with her and then use a heal all. Oh, my God. Man, people are missing. All right, this shouldn't kill him. People are missing left and right, and that is so tilting. Like, y'all have to stop missing, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's try to hit a two. Mmm, stop, please. It's really not that hard to not miss. I don't get why they keep missing those shots, man. And you could be saying, well, you're using the three attack constantly. Well, it's at 90%. Like, the 90% should be able to hit. It seems like my other ones that are 80 hit, and then when it comes to 90, they don't hit. Like, this guy would be dead by now if I just hit my stupid shots. Oh my gosh. I mean, this guy has to have some, like, crazy agility or something. Oof, that is some that is some hits right there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull out another heal all. You know, I'm not gonna say mistake. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Kid is still not at full health, but that's fine. Is that it? Seriously, he was below 19 HP. It's a little bit tilting. Or I could have just hit him one more time instead of using an ability. Alright, there goes the Terrator. That wasn't really a hard fight, actually. Other than me letting Kid die once. You know what? It's all good. It's no issue. Alright, so that, that was actually a boss. That was like a fairly easy boss. So that's, I'm okay with that. And I would save, but you know what? If I die ahead, I'll just redo that boss. That's not a hard boss. Might be just a little bit annoying. Okay. Clearly can't get past here. Looks like we're in for another puzzle, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and skip these dudes. Uh, if I find myself not strong enough for the boss, I'll just come back and fight them. Um, let's see. We got... Can't carry any more nostrums. Yep. Real question. How... Do we get up there? Am I lost? Oh, well we can do this. That's that's a thing. It looks really unstable. 
why you know what we'll walk across then uh please mr ghosty man stay away Does that do anything it doesn't look like it ah, that's keep moving on that's just for decoration then boop, 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 boop. looks like we might have to fight this ghost man Ooh. maybe we can dodge him maybe we can pull some of our sick reflexes out going kaha we got a juke. I don't think we'll be able to juke these two. That's for sure. Maybe. Actually, maybe we'll be able to juke it. Let's see. Let that guy go over there. Bam. Can we run in before the other ghost comes by? Okay. There we go. We did it. Juked in everybody. Is there a thingy over here? Doesn't look like it. And over there, there's something over here. Oh, did they, I'm, I'm just going to guess that they all go to the same place. Probably not. Oh, yeah, the other two places went there and there. Okay, well, real quickly, let's grab this chest. And I guess the other chest we just won't be able to get for now. Wait, there's not a chest up here. I'm delusional. Um, That's fine, though. Being delusional is fine. Let's go over here. Try to digi-dodge these left and right. Um, There's a door over there that I need to get to. Let's go up in here, up in here. Uh, oh! Did I dodge you? Oh, I think I could have dodged him. Alright. Oh, can I not go up there? Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to travel through here. Try to... Man, I am so good at dodging enemies in this game. Uh, okay, we can't come up to that candle, but I don't see why we would need to. Let's go through this door right up in here. And then, do we go up? Is that where we're supposed to go? I'm starting to not think so, because it won't let me any higher. Alright, well, I don't see the point of that, but you know what? Let's check out the rest of the place. Let's see what is over here. And there's stuff... Dude, am I just bad? Maybe I am bad. Maybe my earlier statements are baloney. Let's go down here see what's going on I legitimately am completely like lost a little bit I'm like I'm not lost I just like I don't really know what to do I don't get what the point of all this is well let's try it out oh okay we didn't hit that thing and now do we got to go down well we're gonna also gonna have to fight this thing so let's go ahead and do that real quick no problem all Let's go ahead and just demolish. Let's see how tough these things are. Ah, why? Man. Oh, okay. They're not tough at all. Except, Insurge even missed a shot and still killed him. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, cool. But we'll be able to kill him with Surge. There we go. Okay, these things aren't tough at all. Okay, no problem. No problem. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't think, like, I'm over-leveled or anything, so... Actually, I think I'm under level considering the way I've been dodging these fools, you know what I mean? Let's keep going down. Is this. Oh, no, okay. I was like, is this only. Oh. Bro, why y'all. Why y'all gotta do this to me, man? I was on my way. Chilling. And y'all broke a thingy under me, man. I guess we got no way. No way but up. Surge. Surge. There's a face in the wall. Finally made it this far, Surge. What is that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here and have been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient Reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragoo dragons, not the, not the dragoons. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed abnormally to three times the original size in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with the Lavos flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos' offspring. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, will you fight, Surge? Yeah, boy, let's get it. I will definitely do a little bit of fighting. Fighting sounds like fun. Uh, I guess we gotta climb on more man. I don't even know what these things are. It's like red plants. It's creepy. 
Let's go up in here. And we gotta go down. We gotta keep going up and down and up and down and up and down. And fighting these things that are so, so annoying. And By the way, guys, have we ever used our white summon? Is this the first time? Let's see. Or what is this? Is this just healing? Or is this an actual attack move? Yeah, we've never actually used this attack before. Just a bunch of spears. Oh, okay, it is an attack. 908, jeez. Okay. So it basically kills everything and it heals everybody. That's kind of a cool move, actually. It's kind of cool. Also, let me see if I'm correct. Shiny Salt, okay. So you guys also m might be wondering, uh, the last episode, I think, I showed off the rainbow, the crafting, and you guys might be wondering, well, how do you get those prism tools, which are the best tools in the game? Well, basically, you need to get those shiny things, and I told you guys that I didn't know how to get those. Well, pack of lies. Well, basically, how you get those is you have to finish off enemies with those summons. And, with, and if you kill an enemy with that summon, you basically get... Um, the material. So if it's a red summon, you get the shiny red stuff, and if it's a blue summon, blah blah blah. So in this case, we got the shiny salt, which is the white element stuff. So if we do want to grind prism materials, we basically need to get one person from every color and grind stardust with them. So we could do that. I, we don't really need to. I might do it anyway. Who knows, but real quickly. Oh god, don't follow me. Oh, we're gonna have to fight this thing. No, we're not. Okay. Huh. Uh, please. Oh, wait. Okay. We don't. I guess we are gonna fight this thing. Let's go ahead and see what is up with this guy. Do, do, do. Let's see. We haven't fought one of them before, so let's see how strong he is. I'm guessing he isn't that strong. Ah, oh, why? Surge. I'm telling you, Serge always misses his last shots for like no apparent reason. Okay, so the guy isn't uber strong. We actually just didn't even give him a chance to attack. He did have a good like 1000 HP though, so that's not terrible. That ain't all bad. So let's keep heading on. I'm definitely gonna keep dodging them though. Uh, I don't really care. If Dude, is this guy seriously gonna chase me? Let's keep heading up the ladders. Keep heading up. Oh, I don't want to fight. Ooh, he's chasing. He saw home dog. Don't want none of that. Now this guy might be a little bit harder. Oh, okay, we made it. So that guy might have been a little bit harder to escape from. All right, so I'm guessing. Oh, okay. There's just this thingy over here. Let's go see what is going on. In this giant oh we're up here okay well cool let's keep going what let's try to dodge this guy let's go ahead and drop that bam so now we got oh can we just go straight down hey look at that cool all right bada bing bada boom was that the entire by the way guys this is really sad to say but this is actually, I think, the last dungeon in the game. Okay, so don't let the f looks fool you. Those little cupids, they are actually dangerous. Don't don't get it twisted. Don't 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 fool yourself. Those things are dangerous. What's in here? Heal plus. Let's try to swiggity swiggity past this thing, and let's go fight this this red blob. Now I didn't save. So let's just hope we don't die. Many have blood suffered and perished. This is your turn to die. Not really. Sadly, it is not my turn to die. It is your turn to die. Alright, so we got Mr. Uh, Redfire Centaur over here. Let's kick some butt. Bro, Serge, how you about to miss? Ah, oh, but good hits. Bro, how you about to miss? Sadness wave. Dude, this dude's trying to hit us with the feels, man. Get that out of here. Get that feels out of there. 
Um, let's go hit him with that punch drug. Good thing is Orla is... I think she's blue, right? She's blue. So, and this guy's red, so this will hit quite hard. And I gotta clean my glasses. Alright. Ugh, my glasses are so dirty. Tablet. Bro, that's not gonna do nothing. That'll heal you for like 30 health. My mans, what are you doing? Bro, this guy... This guy seriously didn't stock up on anything but tablets. Come on, bro. Real come on, bro, is why Search keeps missing his first shot. That's 94%. What's this guy doing? Search, man. You, you need some accuracy training. Actually, that's a good idea. I should probably put something on Search to increase his accuracy, low key. If he's my main hitter, I need him to start hitting some shots. So after this battle, I might look into that. See if I can give him like a silver loop. Omega Red. Okay, as long as it didn't hit Orla, we're actually fine. This would only really hurt. Oh, that still hurt a bit. That would only really hurt if it hit Orla. But this guy should be dead. These guys aren't very hard. They have some hard hitting, like, Omega elements. Other than that, if we can survive one or two hits from that, we could out heal it and beat the crap out of this guy. And this was another opportunity to use Salamander, but once again, um, that'd be. That might heal him. And I'm not looking to lose because I accidentally heal the boss. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Go ahead and heal up. I don't know if there's a second boss straight up ahead. But don't want to take no chances up in here. Oh, and real quickly, like I said, let's take a look at Surger's Equips. Does he have a silver? He already has one on. Improves hit percent. And I might need two of those on. My man's over here. Does not know how to hit his shots. Man, I'm really hoping he gives us a save point here. Come on. A save point is needed. I don't want to die. Okay, we made it past that thing in Majigger. Right up here. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get that chest just because I'm curious. Honestly, most chests in this game don't really give that don't give that good of stuff. Rainbow shell. I take it back. That was some good stuff right there. Bro, can you move? You go away. Thank you. Wait, get Cupid out of here. Alright, let's keep going. I don't want to fight no little Cupid. You little evil Cupid. Get out of here. Let's wait until... I think if we go down the ladder, we'll hit it. Bro, go. Get out of here. Oh, we hit it. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Uh, we never fought one of these yet. Let's go ahead and fight one. See how strong they are. See what kind of moves they have. So let's go ahead and hit them with the... Bro, Surge. This guy's got to stop missing, my dudes. It's going to hurt us so much late game if he just doesn't stop missing. Holy healing. Jeez. Bro, these dudes are trying to heal each other. Okay. Slash all. Bro, little Cupid, why you gotta do this to me, man? Okay, that only hit really kid for a little bit. Bro, Cupid, get out of here, bro. Slash and dash you. Let's go ahead with Orla. She should be able to hit pretty hard. Okay, back to Surge. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. If Surge doesn't miss all his shots, at least. Okay, these guys aren't that hard either. So they, if you're a little bit like under or have weaker characters, I would see how they'd be quite annoying if they just keep like holy healing themselves. But they were no problem, no problem, no problem. Now let's try not to hit this next one since we've already fought one. I don't, I'm not really in the mood to fight another one. But, no. All right, let's continue on past that guy. See what's up in here. Spectral glove. What is that? Oh wait, it's a glove. It's an attack weapon. Okay, well we can't use that. So yeah, we don't really have someone with gloves on our team. But that's a cool item, I guess. If we ever decide to switch out Orla for a glove user, we have one of that. So that's pretty cool. Now. Okay, guys, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to leave the episode off here, and then next time we'll go ahead through the rest of this Terra 
uh, Terra Tower and do everything we need to do. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment, add support to the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we are in the middle of the Terra Tower. And yeah, it's the last episode. We're going to continue through this little dungeon. Sadly, the last dungeon in the game. Oh, that's really, really sad. Rainbow Shell. Okay, we do need those to craft the spect Spectre, Spectral items. Yeah, I'm really trying to avoid those things because they're really not strong at all. Don't provide much XP. But, bam, there we go. We found the way we solved this puzzle very, very quickly. I like it. I like it. Oh. Could this be Viper? Where where did we go to? Huh? What's going on? How do we get to Viper Manor? What what what, what is this foolery? Well, I guess we'll see. We might have to fight some bosses here, boys. Oh, there's Chrono and Luca and all of them peoples. What up, Balthazar? Welcome, or oh, Prophet? Welcome. It's good to see you. Finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but don't mind that. More importantly, I have something that I must explain to you. Who are you? Oh my, my name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as the Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Just Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was unable to apply that knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make a huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and the time crash. You might think, you might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis and Fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. So, by the way, this guy was basically the mastermind, like the mastermind behind all of this. Terra Tower is really a city of the Reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, castle of Azala descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more important now is the role of the dragons in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon god resided, but then fate sealed away the dragon's powers in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame, rather it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while the fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural, the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon entity into six weaker plasma life forms, then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearances are just disguises. Temporary, temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragon gods, who have been rendered almost powerless and forgotten, traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single en entity. Seven dragons. I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that once was lost, but later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now, and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons, ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white dragon, and another darker, daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, 
the Sky Dragon, and one more, the final dragon, the Dark Moon Dragon, which is the one who was to work free the other dragons from their bondage by fate. The child the others created on the night of the electrical storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you know her as Harley. So yes, I think I said this before, but Harley is actually a dragon. She was helping the dragons get their things in order. Unbelievable. The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as ours, as our plan is vengeance on us to finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet, or vice versa. But either way, you look at it now. That now the time to set things. Now it's time to set, set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet. Everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey, Mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another, but careful now and good luck. This next fight is hard. It is a hard fight in general. I don't think it's the hardest in the game. I'm going to stick to my uh, vote that Dario is the hardest fight in the game. Unless you come at him really late game. In my opinion, he is the hardest. But let's go. Oh, the door just disappeared. I love that. But please give me a save point. Uh, uh. Uh, bro, give me a save point, my dudes. Okay, we might not have a save point. Let's make sure all of us are full health. We might just have to play uber safe on this one. There has to be a save point, though. Come on, we're not gonna fight. Don't. Oh my gosh. Maybe this guy. Maybe if we kill him, we'll be that. He'll become a save point. So let's do this. Return our trees. Give back our green forests, bro. How about you give me back my gold that you own? That uh, was terrible. Uh, Alright, let's beat this guy up. Give him a little bit of a, a thumping. Good misses, good misses. Oh, man, I hit hard. Let me move this over here a bit. There we go. We're gonna thump this guy, my dudes. Actually, Orla should hit this guy pretty hard. Info scope. That's fine, my dude. He can get the info on all of us. Doesn't really help him out. I wonder if Orla. Sh okay, maybe she doesn't hit him that hard. Bushwhacker, that really does nothing. Actually, it might hurt her though. Four. All right, my dudes. Bush Basher. Okay, this one hurts a little bit more. Arrow Saucer. So this dude's just hitting, hitting Orla with all of the green elements. Oh, he's just hitting her with all of them. What a guy. Well, what we're gonna do is... Okay, okay, he's just gonna heal himself. Shouldn't be that much. Ooh, 500. That's actually a decent amount of health. Even though we basically just took it in one... <laughs> in one shot, we took all his health away. Let's make sure to heal ourselves. I don't want to get in some weird position where Orla dies. Orla is one of the members that is holding a revive. Omega green. Okay, that was good. I don't know if this hits Orla. Orla. Oh, that hit hit pretty hard. Okay, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to go ahead and attack. No, I'm not. I'm going to heal. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, heal it up. Only problem is, kid is so low, this probably won't fully heal. Oh, okay. Well, apparently Surge is... A devil light healing, so that healed quite a bit. Okay, he's gonna go for kid. Ugh. Those are some tough hits. I'll try to get at least this guy low. Okay, he's low. Sanja. Oh, that's not good. 
That is the summon for the green element. This is gonna kill Orla for... This is gonna kill everybody but Surge, basically. Whoa! Okay, maybe not. Okay. If we can get... Ugh. I was gonna say, if we can get some good hits, we can basically win right here. But no. Uh, in good old Surge fashion, he doesn't like to hit his shots at the end of fights. So we're gonna go ahead and play it safe and do a little bit of healing. Carnivore. Though so we've gone up against this move before at uh, the Green Dragon. Oh. Seriously, once again he was below 34 health? Man, I could have just hit him one more time. That's... Uh, once again. Alright, but there goes the green guy. There he goes. Disappearing into the wind. Bam, bam, bam. Let's make sure to heal everybody up. Oh, we're poisoned. Let's make sure to use antidote. Get that sickness out of here. Where do we? Oh, I guess we just click on this, right? Yep. Yeah. So this is the tele. This is the type of teleporter that was used at Mount Pyre. We kind of just go up. Oh, and there's a safe point. Thank you. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So we have to go left and right. Oh, I was like, hello. I'm not moving. Search up there. That is where we must go. That must be the summit. Look, these two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some sign of sealing device. Indeed, they do. On the left and right are two bosses. And if we get past them, those things open up. So, let's go ahead and beat these two bosses. Let's go ahead and bum rush right in there. Take what is ours. And go ahead and fight that dragon. Okay, once again, I'm going to be avoiding these stupid Cupid things. I don't feel like fighting them. I got no time for this. No time for this. Yeah, and he should be right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Or at least I think there's a boss fight. Yes, okay, there- yeah, we get teleported oddly far away for some reason. Alright boys, let's go ahead and beat it up. Now these bosses are fairly tough. They're not they're not anything to take lightly. They are tough. So we're not gonna be able to just play around. We're gonna have to actually battle for realsies. For realsies, for realsies. Forgot to check what in what color he is. Man! Okay, so he's black. Dude, Surge hits hard. This might kill Surge. He's white. And this... I'm really hoping it doesn't. This might hit him pretty hard, though. Wow, that hit like... That hit literally like six above. That is so tilting. Alright, well, let's go ahead and revive him. That literally hit like six above his HP. If he was wearing a gold earring, he would have survived it. That's kind of tilting a little bit. Nice hit. Nostrum. Okay, that's only going to heal about 200. But I'm pretty sure he's going to do that multiple times. No, he won't. Okay. Nice, dude. Surge is hitting so hard. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and use a heal all. I know it's literally only Surge that's in bad shape. But I do want to make sure he don't die. Especially because he is the most vulnerable right now. Let's go to Orla. Orla hits a bit harder. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't be missing all your shots. Uh, let's see how hard did he how hard he hits. Okay, that's not that bad. It also depends on how many times he hits. Alright, bro, 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 stop, stop, stop. Chill out. Alright, let's go ahead and get a few shots though. We'll use heal on her. Oh wait, okay. Well I was gonna use heal on her, but then apparently not anymore. Um he has a high chance of using Omega Black. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Man, Surge hits super hard. It's unbelievable. These bosses are supposed to be tough, but Surge is just like... Just plowing through them, man. Let's go ahead and make sure to heal. 
they're just straight plowing through them. So there goes one of the beams. Bam. Now he's got to go ahead and get the other beam. Can we? Okay, let's let's obviously look here. Can we get anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's head back. And we're going to do the other one. And I think this other fight should be almost as quick. But, man. Okay, actually, it won't be as quick. Uh, Surge is obviously white innate. That thing was black. So, of course, Surge was going to hit uber hard against him. Uh, this next one will not be black. If it was, that'd be really weird to have two black innate bosses in a row. Especially the game knowing that we're most likely going to have Surge. But... It should be an easy fight either way, a longer but easier fight. And just in case something spooky happens, I will save one more time. Uh, better to be safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and do a quick save up in here. I've kind of gotten good at saving really quickly. We can just kind of run back out. I'm not going to even cut for that. Let's see what's going on with this boss. Is there like wind in this one? All right, guys. So we are able to dodge these guys. We just gotta, we gotta kind of like dodge the wind. But there we go. All right, no, no problemo. I did have to kill one of them, but that's just because I got tired of him and I wanted him dead. But let's try it over here. And our next boss will be right over around this corner. So this guy should be a white innate. And we should be able to kill this guy easily enough. Um, he's not going to kill Surge right away. And Surge is my hardest hitter. So basically, we're going to have a lot of constant pressure on him. Which is going to be nice. Let's see how hard Surge hits. Okay, once again, not as hard, but pretty hard. 200 is pretty good. And I do not have any black innates on me, but I'm not going to need them. This guy isn't going to kill anybody too quickly, except... And kids' defenses are low. He keeps hitting like that. He's gonna kill her. Oh, okay. So right before she died, he stopped hitting. It's pretty good. So let's go ahead and try to get another hit in. And use a heal all. This won't heal her to full, but it'll heal her pretty darn close. And even if she dies, she's the only member without a revive on. So we'll just go ahead and revive her up. You know what? I'm gonna hit with Surge first since he's the hardest hitter. I'm just going to hope he doesn't miss. Okay, 300. That's pretty good. Actually, 400. Uh, let's go back to Orla. I'm just going to go lucky with the threes. Holy healing. Okay, how much will this heal him? Oh, 800. That's a good bit. That's a little bit annoying. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for him. I'll take, I'll take all that healing back. But that's just kind of... Yeah. Basically, his healing is gone right there. But I don't know how many times he's going to use that. That might get really annoying if he uses it multiple times. Magnify. Okay, so all elements have a 1.5 increase. Omega White. Who's he going to hit? Okay. This should not hit him, like, at all. Surge is a white innate. So, although this is a big move, it'll definitely hurt him for a couple hundred. But this shouldn't kill him because it's the same color. Yeah, so that was pretty close to killing him, but... Um, not close enough. Let's go ahead and just use a heal all. Give Surge a little bit of health. If he gets hit with that again, he's definitely going to need some health. Okay, now let's go back to Surge. Let's try to hit two threes. Good shots. And this guy's low. And you know what? Just, just to be safe, I'm going to heal once again. Just for the sake of being safe. Anyway, the guy is probably going to use a Holy Healing. So, I want to make sure I'll be able to survive for at least a couple rounds for sure. Meteor Shower. Okay, that's not going to hit too bad. It might hit Orla pretty hard, maybe. I think she has I think she has low magic defense. I think. Yeah, okay, I guess I hit her and Kid like about the same. Let's see. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Not too hard of a battle, not too hard. Like I said earlier, it took a little bit longer than the black one just because Surge doesn't hit as hard. With the black one, he ended up hitting like 800s. This one he hit only about 
400s. It took about double the time, but nonetheless, a fairly easy fight. Bam. And we got Ultra Nova, which is like a really good element. So bam, there goes the second beam, and we should be able to go up into the tower now. What are I gonna do, guys, real quick? I'm gonna turn on my light. I did this like a couple episodes ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing it again one more time. Just turning on my light. There we go. Right, let's continue. Oh, I missed the platform. Come on, David. And we're gonna be defeating this next boss is, I think, the final boss of like the dungeon in general. So we're gonna for sure save it up a bit. And yeah, this next boss fight should be a good one. Although we do gotta get past these things. Sure, uber annoying. Just let me pat No! Alright everybody, so I did a quick save. Now let's go ahead and enter what I think is the final boss room, if I'm correct. I think this is the final boss room. No, it's not. We got one more to defeat. Disrespecting the origins of life. Mother C suffers. You must pay the price. Alright, bro. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I should be able to defeat this thing quite quickly. Now, uh, this one's the blue innate. Kid is red, but Kid doesn't hit very hard, so I'm not gonna really depend on her. I'm just gonna depend on hitting my own shots here. Vigora. He's basically just gonna buff himself up for no apparent reason. Bro, you're gonna be dead in the turn. Just stop. Let let me kill you. Nice, we get a, we get hit a good one there. Hit a bunch of quick attacks. Bam. Okay, so he the guy hits pretty hard. Jeez, okay, chill. Chill, my dude, chill. Let's go ahead and go with Surge. Can we hit- Oh. Man, he didn't- mm, He didn't let me hit, hit him again. 400, that's quite a bit, but it's basically how much we hit in one shot. Real quick, just for the sake of Orla, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. I don't want her to die, I want her to get the XP, so she'll be stronger for the next fight. Okay, good hit. Omega Blue, if he hits- oh, this might kill her. Yeah, she's dead. That's fine, though. We can- let's go ahead and revive her. Bam. She's revived, look at that. Wham, wham. And then he hits me with an icicle, bro. Why you gotta hit me with an icicle? Is he gonna hit Kit again? I was gonna say, if that hits Kit, she's dead. That wouldn't be cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a heal all, I guess. Make sure she don't die. There we go. One hit, two hit. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, okay, the guy's dead. Okay, cool. Nicely done, nicely done. So yeah, these bosses really aren't hard here. I don't know if they're supposed to be or they're supposed- Like, they were specifically made to be fairly easy, but... We're breezing through these. Left and right, left and right. Oh, well, we've defeated all the colors, I think. Green, blue, and then the black and white ones. There we go, and I think that is the final destination. Now, before, I'm gonna go save real quickly. And teleport up to the final room, and I swear, guys, this time, it truly is the final room. I know it 100%. Because we've defeated the six elemental bosses. So now, we are finally, 100% sure, we're going to the final room. So let's go see. And by the way, you guys should probably know what the final boss for this is. I think it's fairly obvious. We're at the Dragon Temple place. We fought all of the elements. 
We watched a cut scene a couple episodes ago where the dragons became one. So if you put two and two together. Arg. Help. Stop it, bro. Who are we trying to help? Kill me. Okay, bro, I'm trying. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Hmm? Welcome, humans. Okay, I was like, well? And then come? Like, it doesn't really make... Those who know the turn in the green also know the pleasure of pain and destruction. Therefore, all that passed through here must be prepared to share the burden that I carry. Let's do this. Y'all should know who this is. Y'all should know. So this is the true frozen flame. Hold on, don't touch it. So that is the actual frozen flame, guys. That's so cool. Is everyone okay? Everyone should be okay. Bugger you. Oh, I moved it. Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer. Come, show you your bloody self. Hey, there's my boy, Mr. Dragon. And again, my I said this in one of the episodes. My biggest complaint about the game is literally that they made the dragon look so dumb. How can you add six cool dragons together and make that thing? Come on, you gotta make them look cooler. In order to survive all living things in this world, fight desperately and devour things they defeat. One must kill other living things in order to survive must destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue the wounded in turn wound and torment those weaker than they themselves are there are only the killers and the killed the sinners who are judged and the victims that do the judging what meaning is there to such a world whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know. You got no right to deny that. I shall cleanse this blue planet of you filthy humans once and for all. Alright, bro, let's get started. Alright, let's do this. Now, I'm not going to deny this is a hard fight. It's not an easy fight, not like the other ones. But I believe that we'll get through it. Bum, 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 bum. And this hype music will get us through it. All we gotta do is not miss our shots. Alright. Oh, he's like dive bombing us. Okay, he only did about 100. Not too bad. What color is he right now? Okay, right now he's white. Back to Orla. Okay, well, it doesn't hit super hard, but it's hard enough. Oh, yeah, Surge has got to really not miss. What is he going to do this time? Oh, he's going to hit us all again, ain't he? Yeah, well, that's fine. That's actually a good thing. I wanted to heal all, but I didn't want to heal only for 100. Now they need it for 200. That is actually perfect for a heal all. So I'm actually glad that I waited right there. That actually helped us. They gave me basically like one extra turn with Orla. I missed one with her. Let's go to Surge. Good hits from Surge. He's gonna hit with oh 40. That's not even that bad. Depends how many times he hits though. Okay. Um You know what? Let's go to Kid. Let's just go ahead and use a heal all. Make sure Orla... Actually, Kid needs some health anyway. Actually, so that's fine. Let's go back to Orla. Orla, Orla hits pretty hard, actually, so... 
We can use her. Oh no, I meant to go with Surge. Okay, I'm gonna need Surge to hit a sh You know what? I'm not gonna even go for the three. I'm too scared. And anyway, I think. Okay. So I think how this bass bottle works, he's basically gonna rotate through each of the elements. So first he started off as white. Now he's gonna go to a different element. Okay, so now we're in the yellow element. Let's try to get some hits in. And we hit a little bit harder, it seems, in this element. So that's good. Because, of course, white doesn't hit white. And Surge is white against white. So now he's going to hit a little bit harder. Hit that three. Good stuff. Love it when I hit my threes. Uplift. That really shouldn't hurt that much. Uh, only about... Yeah, it's eight. Eight damage. Fireball. Uh, this shouldn't hurt much. Yeah, actually, it'll hurt a little bit more. Just because Orla is blue. Hitting her with red hurts a little bit more than yellow. Shouldn't do more than 10 though, yeah. Bushwhacker. That shouldn't hurt too badly either. Not more than 15. Not even 1 actually. Bam. I'm just going to go for a 2 because I'm really not confident in the 3s anymore. Aqua Beam. Why is he using all of these when he's yellow? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Gravity Blow. Okay, that shouldn't hit too hard. Uh, it hit Surge, though. Okay, yeah, it's not going to hit him too hard. I wonder, what is the order for the Chrono Cross? Seems like he's using spells in a certain order. What is the... I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, guys, so this is weird. The element order on screen is right for the Chrono Cross. I don't know what this is going to do. You know what? Let's just try it. I, I want to know what it does, honestly. What does it do? Okay, maybe just does nothing. All right, never mind then. Let's just continue with the fight. Forget that I said anything. But it looks like we're going into the next phase here. Good stuff, good stuff. What is the next phase? Looks like we're in fire, right? Looks like it. Try to hit. Okay, good. We hit it. Let's go with Surge. Let's just try to hit two threes. Ah, oh, missed one. Hit the other one, though, which is good. Let's go to Kid. Let's try to get a couple Magma Bomb. Okay, that's not going to hurt too much. Yeah, it's not going to hurt too much. So then, no, he's going to keep using... He's just going to keep using Magic Elements. This is going to take forever. Bam. Alright, uh... Good with Orla. Ah, right, come on, bro. Dude, Orla, man. How can you miss that many? Maybe he just has really high evade in this form or something. I don't know. But either way, let's go hit him a few times. Hell Soul. Ah, uh, come on, please don't kill her. Don't kill her, don't kill her, don't kill her. That's such like a weird... Come on. Okay, she seems still alive. That's good. Okay, let's go back to Orla. Bam. And let's use... Punch Drunk, right? He's red, so... Punch Drunk should do a little bit of damage. And it's just kind of a funny move that Orla's drunk. You just give him a good old whacking. 400, that's a pretty good hit, actually. And that'll take us into the next one. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I didn't realize that he was that low already. I did not realize he was that low. Alright, now we're at the green place. That's good. Let's just go for two threes. Nice. 
Ooh, almost a thousand damage straight away. That's good. Okay, and even red hits her two. Red, why do I call her red? Kid. I mean, kid hit her two threes. Now, this should hurt a little bit. This should hurt a little bit. Ooh. A little bit more. It's a lot more than a little bit. Um, back to Surge. Let's go ahead and do a little, a little bit of that heal all. I want to make sure none of us really die. At least not yet. And that should heal us for full. Yep. Because it's so far along the ability tree, that does quite a bit. Miss. Miss. Bro, how do you miss 280s? This game is busted. Will that take us into the next element? It, it will. No, it won't. <laughs> I thought he was going into the next element. He Really, he was just turning around and whack us with his tail. Alright, come on, bro. gonna beat you up okay and that will take us into the next element let's see where are we going next where is our next destination all right looks like we're going to blue uh, let's go ahead and let's just use heal just because I really have nothing and no, nothing else to do since Surge isn't ready to attack. We're just gonna use a little heal real quick. Make sure. I know his dad. Let's go ahead and use maybe a couple small attacks. Okay, he missed one of them. That's cool. I hit a couple. Orla's gonna be fairly weak in this one. Just because of the fact that she's also blue innate. Okay, so he's gonna hit us with that uh, AoE attack. Doesn't it too hard? Let's go ahead and oh nope I meant to attack. Let's go with the two. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. I'm just gonna hit that other two actually. It's gonna push that damage real quickly. Okay. Two good hits. Deluge. Oh no. This might kill two of us. No. Good. No death. I like it. No death. I, th I, I was literally almost 100% sure that I was going to kill a kid. So I am happy about that. This should take us to the next one. Two good hits like that. Oh, wow, really? Doesn't take us to the next one. Okay, well, he was under 60 health. Alright, time to go to the next element. What's the next element? Is it... We already went through green, yellow, red, blue. All we need is black and white. And we already did lack in the beginning where are we now oh did we did we not what color is he oh now he's black okay so we didn't do black so this should be the last one um let's go ahead and attack with orla let's just only do let's only do a two and then go attack with surge hit please nice oh two solid hits and just for safety, let's use a heal all. I don't want this guy to use like a huge move and wipe out. Basically only kid. But you know what? Better safe than sorry. Free fall. Okay. This shouldn't kill her. But that did do quite a bit. Maybe I could have waited one for healing, but oh well. If Orla does at this point, we do have a revive. Hit two. Nice. And then let's just use heal. Uh, just for Orla's sake. Uh, that's not what I meant. Let's use heal. Just so Orla doesn't get even killed by his like physical attacks. I want to make sure. Holy light. Okay, this shouldn't hurt that bad actually. It will probably do 100 or 2 to each one. Not even that. Okay, good stuff. Back to surge. Oh, oh, he did hit it. Good. Oh, do we have another element? I thought that was. Unless we're going to like a Chrono Cross element, which I never heard of. Let's see, where are we going now? Or are we fighting like the real dragon? Okay, we're back in the palace, so this must be his last form. Let's just go ahead and defend with him. This must be his last form, though. Okay, miss. Let's just defend with her. 
and go... Actually, you know what? We'll attack with Surge. I'm not going to go hard with the two attacks. I'm just going to try to go slow here. Alright. Looks like he's going with his AoE attack. No problemo. We'll just come to Kid. There's another heal all. Just in case. Just in case. Ah, missed shot. Let's go to Surge. Come on, hit. Good, good, good. And then... Wait. Let me, what element is this? Oh, it's white. Okay. Let's say we could use a special ability, but he's white, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, let's just hit in a few attacks with Kid. Why not? Ultra Nova. This might suck a little bit. Just a little bit. This is a big attack. It'll kill Kid, probably. Oh! She survived with 50... Oh, my God. That is way too close. Let's, let's hit up a cure-all. This should cure us a lot, actually. Yeah, 500. That is back up to full for all of us. That's some good stuff. I'm just gonna hit a 2. Of course, I mean, hit, hit... I wasn't confident in the 3, and I still missed. Okay, uh... Let's try to hit 1. Okay. Hit another one. Good. Okay, he's gonna turn around and try to show off his butt. That's interesting. Alright, come on, my guy. I'm just gonna try to get a few hits, just for giggles. I don't think this guy's gonna finish this off. Let's sh you know what? Let's just go for two threes. Damn, is that it? I think that is it. Man. The dragons weren't as tough as I thought they would be, man. I guess this game is getting easier and easier every time I play it, because that really Man wasn't hard at all. None of us even died once. I even I even played dumb most of the time and we still didn't die. How shall I... Now I shall truly awaken again. This too is destiny. <gasps> is he not dead? Where is he? That thing. The dragon god is only a quasi-existence. A temporary form that the real dragon god uses in order to appear within this dimension. The actual dragon god was consumed long ago in the distant past. Integrated by the entity known as Lavos in the time... On the other side of the dimensional darkness, the frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being Lavos. The one who connected with the frozen flame in effect links with Lavos himself. As the mediator between Lavos and living things, the one will gain extraordinary powers by binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. <clears throat> what in blazes is the Devourer of Time? Now go to the place where this, where time became divided and weave the threads of time together again. Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form, born out of the fusion of the life form from this planet with Lavos, who nests on the far side of the dimensional void. In the far off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. And the Devourer of Time will begin to consume all time space continuum, despair and hatred, to return all things to nothingness. That is what it desires. Here, take this with you. Surge received the Time Egg. Hey, we heard about that one. A time egg will enable you to travel beyond space-time. The world is in your hands. Go release the life that is imprisoned. Oh, the place is flooding. We gotta get out. Like, now. Can we, like, uh, run, please? I mean, I guess we could just jump off the terror tower, right? I mean, the place is... Wait. Ugh. I don't know what's happening. Tell me. Cripsy, what? Oh, Cripey. <laughs> this place is going to crumble to pieces. Alright, Sergi, let's go. Shaky, shaky, shake.
And there goes the Terror Tower. I really don't... Well, okay, I was... See, I really don't know why defeating the dragon just automatically place makes this place fall apart. But I guess we saw the dragon kind of dip into the middle, so that maybe broke it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing you can break the tower. But, yeah. Ooh, that's... That's colorful. Oh. It's growing wings. Okay, so uh the the thing is a giant bird. No idea why it does that. No idea. But you know what? It looks sick. So that's the Terra Tower's final true form. And then we're all the same. Everyone dreams of being greater and more powerful. We've come this far. All that remains is to defeat the Time Devourer once we wipe the Devourer of Time off the face of this. It's all over. Hopefully everything will go back to normal again. You're wrong. Things won't ever go back to the way they were. Destiny, fate is dead. From now on, us humans have to choose our own way in life. We also have to take responsibility for the choices we make. And something's got to be done about... The way we're gonna go on hurting and killing one another. We've got to settle our differences once and for all. Listen, what's really important now is what we do. The issue ain't whether we not defeat the bastard or not. I'm afraid that, depending on how we go about it, we could lose out on gaining something real precious. So the issue is the way we fight it. So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key to finding it lies at the beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's also probably where this whole thing will end. And Kid is right. That's where we're going to be heading to next. So, guys, sadly to say, next episode will be our last episode. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to go to status. So, next episode will be our last episode. Uh, what do we need? Oh, yeah, we need medicine. So, guys, one thing I probably should add is this game does have multiple endings. Basically, the two that we could get now because we skipped a lot of the other endings. The good ending, the bad ending. Bad ending, we kill the Time Devourer, and basically everything sucks. I'm not going to go through that ending. We are going to go through the painstaking of finishing it the good way because I do want the good ending. But we will do that next episode, guys. So the next episode is the final episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today is the final episode. Today we are finishing it all because we're going to be battling the Time Devourer and we're going to be good at getting the good ending. I said this in the end of last episode, but basically we've kind of ruled out all the endings except the, the two main ones, the good and the bad. The bad is you just defeat the Time Devourer and... Everything sucks, basically, or you can get the good ending and use the Chrono Cross on it. I'm going to be using the good ending because I obviously just don't want the bad ending. Uh, so basically how we use the Chrono Cross is we got to get a certain order of elements and then use the Chrono Cross to defeat the Time Devourer. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I could use, like, big strategy, but you know what? I'm just going to go into this fight and we're going to just try to do it. You guys know what I mean? So real quickly, uh... Uh, I kind of want to save. Okay, let's go ahead and save right here. And let's go ahead and try to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I guess we saved our memory there. Let's go ahead and I should probably pull up the order real quick. No, maybe we do use the astral. What do we use? Do we use the time egg or the astral amulet? I'm confused here. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it is a time egg. I just screwed up. Let's try this again. Oh, maybe we have to go to the... We have to go to our home world. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess, right? It makes a little bit of sense. And I'm guessing... Let's just talk to each of these kids real quick. New a new sea species is about to be born on this planet, an alien life form even more evolved than the old Lavos. At the darkness beyond time, the weekend Scala became 
came under the influence of Lavos and the two became one entity. It is now up to you, the one whom the Frozen Flame has chosen as the Arbiter. You alone can decide how the new Lavos, which has encaged Shala within it, it will evolve from here. Your actions will determine whether in the future all time is devoured by Lavos, sending the world into everlasting death. Balthazar foresaw this world going to happen in this in this in his world in the year 2300 and he was determined to prevent it from happening no matter what it took so balthazar is the mastermind behind all this and the chrono cross it alone can combine the sounds of the planet that the six types of elements produce the melody and harmony that brim within all life forms using the song of life to heal her empty and suffering we entreat you surge please save shala Where even angels lose their way. Ten years ago, you died at this very spot. There's no mistake, you drowned. The truth is, this world in which you are still alive is the irregularity. This is the false reality. Ten years ago, it was Lynx who tried to kill you at this beach. After Prometheus broke the link between fate and the flame, fate tried to eliminate any obstacle that stood in its way. In the meantime, the six dragons had sent Harl forth to try and gain possession of the flame. Harl made contact with the fate's biological incarnate Lynx and tricked him into temporarily joining forces. Eliminate, the elimination of the Prometheus circuit lock on the frozen flame was everyone's top priority. Lynx and Haro abducted Luca, who alone could release the Prometheus lock that guarded the flame, but the whole attempt only ended in failure. Then, they just waited for you to appear instead. You see, fate calculated that you would one day cross the dimensions and try to make contact with the flame. I don't know how to break this to you, but Lynx was actually your father, Wazuki. Drawing closer to the flame caused them to become unstable, and the image of you dying in terror changed him completely. Finally, after having his psyche totally eroded, he lost his soul and was easily integrated by fate. Fate turned Wazuki into a biological interface, modeling him after your worst fear at the time, a panther. Although Wazuki managed to escape from the Chronopolis with you, he later completely succumbed to fate. Humans are such fragile, disjointed, imperfect things, love and hate, life and death. Perhaps even fate itself dreamed of using the flame to one day reincarnate itself into a new species. It is quite sad, really. It's like when you gaze into the frozen flame, the flame gazes back at you. So you finally made it, Serge. When you did this, when did this sorry tale all begin? Was it 10 years ago when you were almost drowned here? Or is it 14 years ago when you were wounded by that panther demon that attacked you, resulting in you being carried to Chronopolis? where you came in contact with the fate and the frozen flame, or perhaps it was 2,400 years in the future, when the time crash hurled Chronopolis back to prehistoric times, or even it could have been 12,000 BC when an ancient magical kingdom met its end after trying to use Lavos. Each is close to being correct, and yet at the same time so far from the right answer. The true beginning was during the description this the destruction of the ancient kingdom of Zeal, as the palace collapsed around her, Princess Shala was sucked into the dimensional vortex along with the Lavos Mamma machine. Scala and Lavos became unified into one even more powerful entity that would evolve into the Devourer of Time. Filled with the hatred and sadness of Lavos, half of Shala's mind became set on destroying all of existence. Yet at the same time, the other half of her mind desired to save the universe and to be rescued herself. As Shala fell through the time gate in this condition, she heard your crying echoing through time. That is when her story and yours began to intertwine. It is also when the past and the future began to intersect, and when the world became divided in two. Led by the pity crying, the young surge made as the panther demon poison took hold of him. Princess Shala traveled 10,000 years in time to try and make contact with this dimension. This caused a raging magnetic storm that resulted in fate system malfunctioning, which led to surge, which led surge to the frozen flame. Yes, surge. The sound of your crying touched the heart of Princess Shala before the destructive mindset could become dominant. She cloned herself and sent her copy into this dimension, which was Kid. Shala left her baby daughter clone with her ancient pendant possessing magical powers. This was to safeguard her daughter clone in life and death situations. The pendant would rewind time a little, sending her daughter clone into a saver point into the immediate past, which Kid talked about. That's right, Kid is Shala's daughter clone. Kid, you're wrong. I'm me. I ain't no Shala daughter or clone. Well, you are. Yeah, that's right, kid. If that's how you feel, I think Princess Shala would have wanted it to be that way, too. And now about Project Kid, the time control project Balthazar planned out. The whole project existed to lead you to this one. A special point in time, the founding of Chronopolis, the time crash, and the battle between fate and the dragon gods. 
It was all coordinated so that you would end, so you would get your hands on the Chrono Cross and come to this place. Of course, Kid was not to know anything about this whole plan until later, when all this will finish. Further in the future, Kid is meant to travel back ten years in time from now to save Surge from drowning. Then Kid was also meant to call Surge into the other world as he spoke with Lena here on Opasa Beach. You're our last hope, our final chance. Only you who came in contact with Shala and Kid. Shala's clone, daughter, can do it. In the darkness that exists on the other side of time, Shala has been integrated with the Devourer of Time. Please, Surge, release Princess Shala from the binds of that monster and her own hatred. Show us that life forms that exist on this planet, what our new future will be. Alright. So, let's go ahead and do this. Time Egg. Right? To no beginning and no end. To the darkness of time. The final gate which leads to the darkness of time. Looks like this is finally it. Come on. So here, no one can stop my raging fists of joy and sorrow. Come on, Serge. Me, mate. You don't want to keep the girl waiting any longer. She's been waiting for you, and only you, and for over 10,000 years, I might add. If the world's going to be destroyed, then let it be destroyed. If history is going to be changed, then let it be changed. I'll show you what radical dreamers really dream about. Final got final boss, guys. And this is barely even a boss. We're basically going to try to save Shala. So the point of this fight is not to defeat the Time Devourer, but to save that little girl inside of there. By saving that little, little girl... Lavos, which is the red thing, will be destroyed. Let's just get a few shots in. There we go. Up to full. No, almost full. Omega green. That is fine. So basically, what the Time Devourer does... So obviously, we need to get a certain order of elements. What it's going to do is use the opposite element that you're trying to use at the time. So it's a little bit annoying that it does that, but that's kind of just what it does. But I needed to stop hurting, so I could just like, you know, continue without dying. That'd be great. Okay, uh, we're going to do, we're going to heal with Orla real quick. Um, let's just heal all. I'm going to need everybody up to full, basically. Okay, so we'll do that, and then try to get everybody up. Okay, Omega Green. Man, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to get like everybody at seven with full abilities. Let's just defend, defend, defend. Okay, there we go. Wait, don't kill Kid. I swear, if Kid dies. Out of all people, you have to hit the one that's weak. Why? That's so that's so tilting. Why do you gotta hit the one that's weak? You could have hit any of the other ones. Okay, uh, let's retry that again, I guess. Let's go ahead and use a heal all. Let's go ahead and use a heal all. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this fight, honestly, but well, through experimentation, I guess. Go ahead and defend. 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 We're just gonna keep defending until he uses something. Okay. Now, hopefully this won't kill anybody. It really, really shouldn't kill anybody. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the chain now. So we need yellow. Uh, yeah. Let's use yellow. So yellow is first. And then it's red. Then it's red. Bam, bam, bam. And then it is green. Let's use Bushwhacker. Green. Okay, we're halfway there. And then we need blue. Blue. Excuse me on somebody. I probably should have put it on Orla, but oh well. So we need blue. 
and then black and white. Now, I don't know how we're going to get these next two because I'm pretty sure it's going to attack. We need black and then white. Okay, so she doesn't have that. Oh my god, we don't have any of them with black. What? Okay, um... Oh wait, she does have black. What, what am I going on about? She does have black. Okay. Now, we just need the Time Devourer to not attack. We need her to not attack. Please don't. Uh, she doesn't attack. Now, I just need to use white. Is this going to work? This might work. I don't know, though. Surge needs to... <gasps> I think we did it. I think we did it. Chrono Cross. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. That's it. That is it, guys. We finished the game. I have been waiting an eternity just for this very moment. Meaninglessly hurting one another to disappearing life forms. The words that become deleted, the thoughts that become buried, the pools of cells that slowly evaporate, the echoes of consciousness that slowly fade. Love to hate, hate to love. Why are we born? Why do we die? Evolution. The survival of the fittest. What is there to be achieved from harming one another, killing one another? The eggs that we call planets and the innumerable spermatozoa which gather around those that we call life forms. When one of these countless seeds inseminates a planet, a new universe is born. But until that occurs, hundreds of millions of years will pass and innumerable life forms will be born, then die. That is the be all and end all. Everything exists for that one moment, all, all so that the universe can evolve into the next dimension. Does that make us all just pawns? Are each of our short lives nothing but a cheap sacrifice just so that the chosen one, the chosen life form, can be born? No, that is not the case. Each and every one of us has a chance of becoming that one chosen life form which emanates a planet. Yes, it could be you. Genes and environment, each of us- oh, I skipped that one by accident. If one link is missing, there will be no future. There is no such thing. Thing as a useless life form, no such thing as a pawn. Every single thing in the whole of nature is perhaps just dreaming 
of a dream of life. All of them are also perhaps nothing more than a dream dreamt by the planet before it is born. Oh, but yes, eventually all dreams will return to Zervan, to the Sea of Dreams. Surge, don't go yet, Surge. It's alright, everything is alright now. Time which has been divided will be unified once again now. The time for farewells has come. You will lose all memory of this whole adventure and return to your own time. But this time you will be able to live your own life. Orla, I guess this is goodbye then, Serge. I'm glad I met you, even though our worlds are different. I will never forget you. Thank you, Serge. We alone do not have the power to heal the world's woes or to solve all of its mysteries. And yet, even then, it was bloody good knowing you, mate. Thanks for being born, Serge. I guess now's the time to say see you later, mate. But I'll find you sometime, somewhere. I'm bloody sure of it. No matter the time period, no matter the world you live in, I'll find you. I'm sure. I am sure I'll find you. Surge. Surge. Hey, Surge. And we're back at the beach, guys. Time to start a new game. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. But we are back at the beach. This is all the way back in the beginning of the game when we were trying to collect uh, Komodo Dragon scales. Are you alright? What's the matter? Don't scare me like that. He just passed out all of a sudden. Hmm? What? Terra Tower. Fate. What are you talking about? We just got here. You got some Komodo scales for me, don't you remember? You should. You sound confused. Come on, Serge. Get with the times. Our summer's just started. We're back. At the beginning. We have saved space and time as a whole and uh, if you guys did watch um, the latest CSGO major from this when Cloud9 won what Skadoodle said I'm not crying you're crying so I think that's kind of the moment here thus the curtain closes on another tale an eternity has passed fleeting dreams fade into the distance all that is left now is me and my memories But I'm sure we'll meet again. Someday you and I, another place, another time. It's just that we might not realize that you are you and I am me. <laughs> Say, me are me. <laughs> Hold on. Let us open the door to the great unknown, come across another reality, and live another day. Even when the story has been told, life goes on until we meet again. Take care of yourself, my friend, wherever yours. Shala, Kid Zeal. So Kid was a clone of Shala, which was back in the day. Long history. Uh, I recommended this many times throughout the series, but guys, I highly recommend... Go look up the history of Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. Obviously, they're one in a series. Go look it up. This game's timeline is very confusing, very fascinating, and very long. So, I can't sit here and explain the story to you guys, because I know you guys probably don't understand. The story is way too big. People have multiple videos about this story going into theories, because this story isn't all planned out. We have the core story of what happened. But like really deep, there's still a lot of theories going on, and I would really recommend looking it up. So I've obviously done a bunch of research, and I'm still not even 100% sure myself. But yeah, um, usually at the end of games, of course, I, I give like my opinion on the game. 
Uh, but I did say at the beginning of this game, the only reason I'm even playing this game is because this is my favorite game of all time since I was a childhood. Since I was a childhood. Since I was a child. So, of course, I had to play it on my channel eventually. So, what'd you expect? I'm gonna give this game a 10 out of 10, 100% best game ever made. But that's only natural because it is my favorite game. So, in this instance, I can't really give my opinion on the game other than... I think the Dragon God could have looked a little bit cooler. That's about it. I, I really think the Dragon God could have looked a bit cooler. That's just me though. But really, I want your opinion on this game because, like I said, this is already my favorite. I don't really need to give my opinion on it. I think the game's perfect, other than the Dragon. So I want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you think about the game, the characters, the story, the plot line? Obviously, this game is a bit old. It's from 1999. That's when it was released in Japan and released in America at 2000. So this game is a bit old, so don't roast on its graphics or gameplay, because, I mean, it's an old game. It's almost, literally, it's 18 years old. It's 2018 when I'm playing it. I don't know when you're watching this, but right now it's 2018. This is actually, this game was made on my, on, when I was born. I was born in 1999. So, basically, this game is as old as I am, which is really, really cool. But yeah, uh, 10 out of 10 gameplay. Once again, I would, I want to explain this game to you guys so badly. But I can't, so look it up yourself. And you might be wondering why I keep repeating myself. Well, I'm trying to get through the credits here. I have to speak long enough to get through the credits. Because, of course, with the greatest game of all time, I do want to give thanks to, obviously, all the people that worked on it. So I'm not going to be disrespectful. I will show all the credits because I think they deserve it. They made a great game. Also, to point out, I would really pay attention to the picture at the bottom left because it does tell a little story. Uh, you'll be able to see a, a girl, real life. I'm pretty sure, actually, a little bit after the credits, there's going to be a video be, that, that's going to play. But there's one little cinematic that it'll show that's kind of important. You can see here, right? That's a girl in real life. What that's supposed to represent is kid. If you remember, in the, one of the voice lines right at the end of that fight, the last fight, kid said, I will find you no matter what world you're in, no matter what time. That's Kid right there basically looking for us. But uh, once again, I'm repeating myself. There's going to be a clip that shows it. And there's the dragon on screen right there. Come on, man. Y'all could have made a better dragon. Come on. And uh, there's Kid once again looking looking for us. There's the Terra Tower. So yeah. Oh, the opening theme, Corner Cross Scars of Time. Best song soundtrack in a video game ever made. Down pat. I still listen to it very often. It is the go go type that in right now. Go to Google. Corner Cross Scars of Time. Best track ever made in a game. Chrono Trigger comes close, and Zelda Wind Waker comes close, but nothing can beat Chrono Cross in my opinion when it comes to soundtrack. In my opinion, that's one of the greatest things about this game. In most art, especially JRPGs, because they have that grinding element, which by the way, this game doesn't have. The one thing that gets really annoying is the music. After you've grinded for so long, the music is just kind of boring and dull. This game, the music never gets dull, and I really have to give it to them that. And I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but even near the end of the game, I was still singing along with that ending theme. And guys, here's where we need to pay attention. If you can see here, Kid is in the middle of the road. Right here. This, this is kind of, it's not super important, but there's Kid in the road. At least that's supposed to represent Kid. With her necklace. And by the way, I got a missed call, so I was looking at my phone. Square. So, Square, that is, people who made this game. Kudos to you. Is that it? I will find you, even I, even, even if I have to search the world over, sometime, somewhere, I'm sure. There's a lot. There's a lot of theories about this scene. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why she's in a wedding dress. Uh, I'm digging it though. It's fine. But yeah. Finish. That is the end of the game.
Man, this breaks my heart. Why does the game have to be done? I don't want the game to be done. Save game, yeah. So the cool thing about this game is... Save, save over the third one. Once you're done with the game, you can actually start what is called a new game plus. Which is basically you start from the beginning of the game, but with the materials that you ended off with on your other save file, you could keep going and I'm pretty sure the monsters are a little bit stronger and stuff. And you could get all the other items because of course, like I said earlier, some characters you can only get depending on what decisions you make. So like in, in our game that we played, we couldn't get Nikki or uh, Pierre because we took a different timeline. Basically what this does is you can continue on the game, have a little bit more fun, gather up all of the characters and stuff. So it's really, really cool. I'm not going to be playing it because there's no reason to. I don't want to repeat the same game. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream it or something. Who knows if I even stream. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's not really much more to say. Um, I basically poured my heart out at uh, uh, the credits. This game is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Favorite game of all time. I recommend you guys looking up its history. I truly think it deserves it. Yeah, ah, uh, man, I'm trying to, like, find the right words. I'm just, I'm really, really sad that the game is done now. I mean, basically, it's all downhill from here. This is the greatest game of all time ever made. No other game in the world is going to come close to this. So, basically, any game that I play from now on is downhill. So, maybe, this, it, maybe the, my channel is just going to go downhill from here on out. But, either way, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching me. Once again, give me your opinion in the comments what you thought of the game. I'm going to keep skipping these. I'm really hoping you guys do like it. So, yeah. But that is it, guys. I think this is the last time. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a supportive channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.